you already know this is Pong, Strong, Boxer, a.k.a. Mr. Mo Shine himself. Ladies and gentlemen, you already know, man, we doing commentary, baby. Commentary today. Commentary. Boxing. ESPN top rank. Right now, we're going to watch Steven Nelson versus DeAndre War. Where? War? Hope everybody, I hope everybody out there having a good Saturday. Having a good beginning of the weekend. Well, midweekend now. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, man. It was a good week, man. It was a good week with your boy Punch. Yo, yo, shout out to Luis Calazo. Shout out to Victor Ortiz. Shout out to Peter Corden. Shout out to Amanda Serrano and, and, and Jordan. Shout out to all the people that came out with the interviews and show the pay, the, the, the channel love. Hold on, hold on. Y'all already know y'all got Jamel hearing. Hearing, 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 hearing. If y'all want to call him, but the champ is going to prepare. Mr. Beating coronavirus for the third. Nah. Third, third time is a charm. Third time is a charm. Glad that he's healthy. Glad he tested negative. For all the people out there that have been struggling with the coronavirus, man, my heart goes out to y'all. My prayers go out to y'all for the people that lost their loved one. In reference to the coronavirus, man, hope your heart gets lighter and lighter every day, each day. What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? Yo, smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. You already know, man. I'm the best. The best. Yes. Yes. You usually don't got no ego on this one. But I'm very highly confident that your boy is the best when it comes to live commentary. I count, I'll count every punch, every punch landed, every punch thrown. Y'all already know how we score it. A lot of people don't like to score it, but this is what I love to do is scoring boxing bouts. That's what I love to do. This is what I love to do. Yo, smash the like button. Smash the like button. God bless each and every one of y'all. Hope you're having a good Saturday. For those who are going to start rocking with me, God bless. God bless. Man. Until the fight um starts, let's talk about what's going on recently. So y'all already know, Javante Tank, not Javante Tank Davis, but Devin Haney. Devin Haney, 1.5 million proposal to Gary Russell Jr., who's been trying to chase Bud Crawford. And a lot of people feel like, you know, what the hell is Gary Russell Jr. doing? Come on, man. But you know what? A proposal was made by Devin Haney. Gary Russell Jr. said, nah, 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 nah. You got to give me two million. You got to give me two million. Devin Haney was like, oh, my God, this guy's uh, uh, overpricing himself. Yo, Chad, good looking out, my brother. Good looking out. Good looking out, son. Thank you very much, man. Thank you. Thank you. Support is always, man. Humbly, humbly, humbly. I appreciate it. Appreciative. How's everything going out with you, Chad? How everything going out with you, my brother? Let's get it. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm not sending no notifications, but it is what it is. I know. I think I, I dropped too many videos already today. So I ain't sending no notifications and stuff like that. So that's what's up, man. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. Yo, it was a wild, it was a wild day yesterday, man. It was a wild day yesterday, right? It was a wild day yesterday, huh? Let's get it right here. Wow. I'm just sending a couple stuff, man, you know. I forgot I was going to do this live commentary. Yo, what's good, Six? What's good? What's good, man? Damn, Punch, you've been live three minutes and you got two this. 
It's all right, man. I wasn't even going to go live anyway. I wasn't going to go live. I'd rather do it. I was going to join other people's live and stuff like that because I wasn't really going to be prepared. Like, I ain't even send notifications. They didn't even send notifications. It don't matter, man. They could dislike me all they want. Whoever dislike it just ain't like what, what was preaching yesterday. That's what happened. <laughs> Whoever ain't like, whoever ain't like it was, they just couldn't handle the truth yesterday, right? That's okay. That's okay. I don't care. <laughs> hey, you know what, Six? I ain't done, though. I'm not done. I got more. I got more. Wait, for, wait, wait till later on. Wait till after this live, live, live commentary after these fights. I got more coming. I got more coming. <laughs> hey, this ain't ready for you. You know what I'm saying, right? You're damn right. Ain't nobody paying attention to me, right? If you go, if, if you go down the block or whatever, you see a, a homeless dude or, or a bummy dude, or, a, a strung out dude. Ain't nobody paying no mind to them, right? They ain't even worth to hate. But if you hate me, hey, I'm doing something right. I'm doing something right. The hate comes with the love. The love comes with the hate. But you know what? Got to take it. I come. Got to take it. I come. <laughs> they mad. They mad. Hey, everybody. Me and Six ain't the haters. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, man. We know, we know, we know, man. Gonna stick to this boxing right now, man. Y'all already know, man. I love doing the commentary. Love doing the live commentary. Like to count each and every punch. Punch by punch who landed. Y'all already know what's primary. I already know what's secondary. Primary is power. Punches landed. Secondary is the jabs. Y'all already know clean effective blows. Ring generalship. Who controls the three-minute intervals of the ring? Of the round? Defense, defense, defense. If it's a closed bout, we're going to look at the defense. Bo Mack, having a busy day, having a busy day. <sighs> yeah, it was my fault, man. I wasn't. DeAndre Ware from Ohio. 10 wins, 2 losses, 832, 168, super middleweight, super middleweight, super middleweight. But y'all already know, man, after all these fights, man, I got more surprises, yo. I got more surprises. I ain't get my apologies that day. You feel me, chat? I ain't get my apologies the other day. So when I say I'm going I'm, I'm to keep their foot on their neck, I'm going to keep their foot on his neck. Jeff, what's good? What's good? I told you, man. I they should have never messed with me, man. Man, forget all that humbleness, man. That humble humbleness for this weekend is going out the window. Forget that. Forget it, my friend. Forget it. Forget that. Here we go. Here. We go. Y'all already know how to do the commentary. Y'all already know, man. Round number one, about to come. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. Here we go. This is Nelson. This is where. Let's go. Round one. Here we go. Jab. Jab to the body by where. This is where. This is Nelson. Let's go. Where. This is Nelson. Here we go. Let's go. All right, they in the center of the ring, nothing happening. They in the center of the ring, nothing happening. Smash the light button, smash the light button. Block by no, by, by where? Here we go. Here we go. Uh, fainting, nothing. Here we go. Trying to touch the nothing, nothing. Missed. Here we go by where? Here we go. Oh, go right by where? Go right by where? Go right by where? Here we go. Nelson on the attack. Nelson ain't like that. Nelson did not like that. Here we go. Another right by, by where? But here we go. Counter by with a left by Nelson. Here we go. Jab to the body by where? Here we go. Here we go. This is the first round. Here we go. Jab to the body by Nelson. Let's go. Um, Two minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go. That's how we count. Y'all already know. Jab primary. Power punches secondary. Uh. Here we go. They in the center of the ring. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. Good check hook right there by where? Good, 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 good. Here we go. We're looking right. Looking sharp. Hit double jab. Missed. Controlling the range. Who's going to control the three-minute intervals of this round? Let's go. Look like where's doing more. 
They're like, oh, good, 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 right, good, right, good, right, by where? Good, right, good, right, good, right. Good, right, they step on each other's foot, but that was a good one landed. He would go, oh, 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 good, good, right, by Nelson. Good, right, by Nelson. He was going six, six, three, three, six. He would go jab to the body by Nelson. Jab to the body by Nelson. Uh, nothing. Wow, block. Nothing, nothing. Six four, six four, six four, six four. He would go six four. Let's go. He would go good jab by where? Good jab by where? He would go boom to the body by or right by to the body by Nelson. He would go. He would go seven to five, seven to five, seven to five. He would go nothing. Stay swinging. Nothing. Body shot by where? He would go and look the sloppy and smother the just might not even count it. He would go. This is eight five, eight five, eight five. We're gonna take this round. Uh, Nelson in the middle. Nothing, nothing. Jab, nothing. He would go. Let's go. Punch on boxing, aka Mr. Moonshine himself. Y'all already know, man. Smash the like button, smash the like button. The best live commentary, the mortal mouth from the from, from New York City. Here we go. Watch heist stand up. Uh, nothing. Here we go. Good jab by Nelson. Here we go. Another one connected. Here we go. Eight or seven, eight or seven. Who's gonna win this last 30 seconds? Well, 50 seconds. Here we go. Jab, jab, nothing. Nothing. Controlling the range. Here we go. He's under attack. Now, now Nelson's on the attack. All right. Feigning, nothing. Uh. Nothing, nothing, nothing landed on that one. I don't care, judges. He was going still seven to eight, seven to eight, seven to eight. Ooh, good, that go two piece by Nelson. He would go. I think he's he's coming along. Oh, go right by 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 where? All right, it's nine and nine, 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 nine. Let's go. I count every punch, every punch landed, every punch. Y'all already know how I do. Let's go, let's go. This is where this is Nelson. Nine and nine. Who's going to take this last twenty seconds? Here we go. He's on the inside. Nelson probably Nelson's winning because he's on the inside. It looked like he's doing more work. Oh, uh, nothing, nothing. Good one, too, but nothing, nothing. Control the range by where? You know where he at? He go, oh, uh, boom. Control. Both of them landed. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. I'm going to give that one to where? I'm going to give that one to where? I'm going to give that one to where? War, where? However you want to pronounce it. Let's go. One zip. Don't show me. Don't show me how that's of Nelson. Boom. Yeah, his knee did touch. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to give that one to where? I'm going to give that one to where? One, two, one, two. One zip, I mean. Let me write that down. We don't cheat here in, in punch on boxing. We count everything. That's my, my, my scorecards always, always on point. Look, I'm using my kid's stuff. <laughs> Frenchman, Cali, what's good? Vancouver, state to state, state to city. Here we go. We're going to round two. Round two. Here we go. This is Nelson. This is where? Here we go. We throw punches. Nothing landed. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Nothing. What you going to do, Nelson? What you going to do? He got the Black Lives Matters attire. Got the Black Lives Matters. Oh, good, good, good by Nelson. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. I like that. Here we go. What you going to do? Here we go. Good check by, by Nelson. He will jab to the body. Oh, good left hook by, by. Oh, no. Good left hook by, by where? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is 3 2 3 2 3 2. Here we go. Here we go. Where? It look like he kind of tied now. Uh, both trade the punches right there. Both trade the punches. Four to three, four to three, four to three. This is Nelson. This is where. Let's go. This is a punch on boxing, aka Mr. Moonshot himself. Let's go, baby. Support your boy. Smash the like button. Here we go. This is round two. We got two minutes and what? Ten seconds. Ooh, good jab by where? Good jab by where? Ooh, good sneaky one. Good sneaky one. Nelson couldn't catch him. Couldn't catch him. You got to be faster than that. He's smothering his own punches. The judges don't see it. Let's go. Let's go. Got to be clean, effective blows. Clean, effective blows. Here we go. Here we go by Nelson. Good by where? I like the good, good though jab by where? Good right by where? Ooh, baby. Let's go. You already know this is punch. We're on boxing. We into the minute and 45 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. This is Nelson. This is where? This is seven to five, seven to five, seven to five. Here we go. Oh, go right, go, go right by, by, by Nelson on that second combo. Mr. Jab, but hit him with the right. Here we go. Oh, uh, he's fainting. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh, uh, nothing. Here we go. Good, good job by Nelson. Here we go. Good job by Nelson. Oh, good level by Nelson. Here we go. That's good. That's good. That's good. Where we went to the body, but that miss smothered. We ain't see it. Oh, oh, woo. Where? What a nice right. He's already bleeding. Nelson is already bleeding. Here we go. Jab. Jab by Nelson. Nothing. Nothing. He look like he more calm. He think he's more comfortable. Here we go. It's 88, 88. Here we go. Jab by Nelson. Jab by Nelson. We got a minute left. Oh, uh, to the body by Nelson. Here we go. This 10 to 8, 10 to 8, 10 to 8. 
um, jab, nothing. Oh, right by where? Oh, man. Oh, oh, Lord. Oh, he got the Black Lives Matters and where got with All Lives Matters. All Lives Matters. Oh, oh, good body punch by Nelson. Oh, another good body punch by Nelson. Him go jab by where? Him go 12 to 11, 12 to 11. Nothing. One, two, nothing. 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 And like where is very, very calm. He got faith. He got faith. That's what I like. Oh. Uh, Oh, good body by Nelson. Good body by Nelson. Nelson got the Black Lives Matters and where got the trunk that says faith. Here we go. He's about God and the other dude is about his race. Let's see who's going to win. Let's see who's going to win. Uh, nothing. Nothing. They smother their punch. Here we go. It's 13. 13. Let's go and see. Let's see. Jab. Nothing. Here we go. Uh, uh. Boom, smother in his punch. We gotta count one of those. Here we go. Oh, good, go one, two to the body. Here we go. 14 to 3. 14 to 3. He's gonna win. Oh, jab by where? Let's go. Uh BI to the body by Nelson. Oh, baby. Woo! Oh man. Ladies and gentlemen. That was one crazy score. Brown to score. That was one crazy round to score, mate. Can't wait for the play by the slate card in three weeks. Got a big lick. Boom. Boom. I'm going to give that one a wear, bro. Boom. I'm going to give that one a wear. Boom. I'm going to give that one a wear. I got two rounds. Two rounds. And he's already bleeding. Two rounds. Here we go. Third round. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. This is where versus Nelson. Here we go. Tip of the jab. Nothing. This is Nelson. This is where. Oh, what a he make by where? Oh, man. One guy. Yo, Nelson got the Black Lives Matters. Um, Trunks. Where got the faith? It's all about faith. Is he thinking about all lives matter? All lives matters versus black lives matter. That's what it looked like with the trunks. Here we go. Oh my God, Nelson's going. He's going to deep. Here we go, man. He said, damn, you made me bleed. I smell blood. I tasted my blood. He's bleeding again. Oh, I don't know what's happening with the cut, with the cut, man, bro. I don't know what's happening with the cut, man. Here we go. Double to dunk. Double, double. That's it. Three to zip. Three to zip. Nelson, let's go. Nelson came on here and he said, yo, I got to get him. He already won two rounds. He will good body shot by where? Good body shot by where? Oh, good jab by where? Oh, by Nelson. Here we go, baby. This round is getting, yes, he's bleeding more. I smell the blood. Yo, you smelling it? Yeah, good body by where? Here we go. It's four to three, four to three. Nelson, where? Let's go. Uh, to the body by Nelson. Good, good. He's bleeding from the eye. He's bleeding from the eye. He got a target. He got a target. Smell that. Taste that. Taste that blood. Here we go. Nothing. Blocked by where? Here we go. Where? Look, very, very. Blocked with, block with the elbow. Look. Very oh good by Nelson. Good, 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 good. good. Oh, good by Nelson. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, let's go by where? Oh, jab by where? Here we go. On oh, to the body by Nelson. Oh, job to the body by um where? Here we go. Here we go. Eight to six, eight to six. This is Nelson. This is where? This is Nelson. This is where? Here we go. Where? Four, however you want to pronounce it. Here we go. Jab to the body by where? Good, good, good. Eight to seven, eight to seven, eight to seven. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Here we go. Jab by where again? Here we go. That's eight to eight, eight to eight. These rounds are close, but where it looks like uh, he's on the outside. He's not bleeding. He ain't sweating too much. Jab to the body by where? Easy, easy. This boxing. He's very, very comfortable. He's very, very comfortable. He's very, very comfortable. And that's what looks uncomfortable. He don't know what to do. Could he adjust? Let me see. What you got? Nothing. Here we go. Body shot by Nelson. One of them got in. Double the jab. Nothing. Miss. Let's go. It's eight, nine, to eight, nine, 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 nine. This is wild boy. You a wild boy. You a wild boy. Uh. Let's go. Show me something. Nine, 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 nine. 30 seconds left into the round. 30 seconds left into the third round. Let's go. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. And after this fight, not this fight, but the next fight, oh, man, I got some surpri surprises for y'all. Because the roast does not end tonight, baby. Oh, it just, oh, I told you, it's only the beginning, baby. Here we go, both landed. It's 10. Who's going to take this round? Who's going to take this round? Where it looks very, very comfortable, though. Oh, uh, oh, good, good combination about where. Oh, I like what where is doing. Oh, go boom. Boom by where. Here we go, Nelson with the body shot. Here we go, baby. He's bleeding. Nothing. Nothing. He's controlling the range right now. He is controlling the range. Where is controlling the fight? Here we go. 
that's three rounds to zip. Give it away. Three rounds to zip. Three rounds to zip. Y'all know we don't listen to three rounds. Three rounds of this. Three rounds of so. ESPN Plus in the U.S. Yes, sir. September 26th going to be a burner. Yes, it is. TSN Canada, probably ESPN in the U.S. What network is the fight on? I'm, so, I'm sorry I didn't reply to that. ESPN Plus. ESPN Plus. Not ESPN Minus. Not ESPN Times. Not ESPN Division. ESPN Plus, baby. And you rocking with Puns, Drum Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moon Shine himself. Y'all already know round four. Round four. World, where is winning all the rounds? Here we go. Good body shot by Nelson. This is Nelson. This is where. Here we go. We count every punch. Y'all already know primary is Primary. Oh, we go good right by, by Nelson. Primary is jab. Power punches. Uh, nah, well, primary is, is power punch. Oh, where is coming? Oh, where? Where to the body? Here we go. I like this. I like this, Nelson. Nelson, I'm sorry. That was Nelson. My fault. My fault. My fault. Oh, jab to the body. Right to the body by Nelson. Here we go. Here we go. But that was a jab by where to let's go i like this i like this energy i like this energy let's go come on show me son nelson here we go good counter by nelson good counter by nelson good counter by nelson good jab by nelson here we go all right he got some rhythm oh now oh yes now he's feeling himself that's what i'm talking about baby that's what you're gonna do yes he got the black life matters in trunk he got the black oh two piece he got the black life matters trunk he got the black life matters trunk and work out the fake good body shot by nelson oh i like that i think he got hurt on that one i think he felt that one i think he felt that one let's go what you gonna do what you gonna do man nine to one nine to one nelson the king he out, out here with the energy like he drank like red bull in the corner oh coffee something he's woken up uh jab landed that was pity pat though here we go now they hugging good we haven't seen a lot of clinches in this fight we haven't seen nothing clinches in this fight uh Oh, uh, now he's not. Now he's doubling on his punches. He's doubling his punches right now. He's doubling his punches, but he's smothering it. You got get, got clean, clean, effective blows, clean, effective blows. Work it out, Nelson. Work it out. Oh, good, good body shot by 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 where? Uh, here we go. Good by Nelson. Oh, they both go into the body. Here we go. Now anybody on the inside? Let's go. Don't find him leverage. Smother his own punches. Here we go by Nelson. Now he's accurate. He's accurate in this round. He's accurate in this round. 12 to 4, 12 to 4, 12 to 4. Boom. Boom by Nelson. Now he's doubling everything he throws. He's doubling everything he throws and he's landed. If he's not landing a two, at least he's landing one. The beauty of it is mathematical, baby. It's mathematical. Here we go, 14 to 4, 14 to 4, double the punch. Here we go, good work, Nelson, good work. Body by where, good work. Now you outworking him. Now Nelson is outworking where. He got this round, let's go, 40 minutes, let's go. Let's go, He's if he's burning himself. Good catch, good catch, good catch. Ooh, good right by where, good right by where, good counter by where. Ooh, good luck by Nelson, ooh, yes, by Nelson. Oh, by Nelson, here we go. Oh, to the body by Nelson, here we go where? I think, oh, man, baby. All right, Nelson is back, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Nelson, Nelson with the Black Lives Matters trunk versus the Faith trunk in where? Ooh. Who who's more comfortable? Oh, another jab by Nelson. Now he's for the now he now he got now, now he got comfortable. Now he got comfortable. You already know, man. This is Nelson. This is where he we go. 16 to 7. 16 to 7 to blame. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay. Nelson came alive that round, ladies and gentlemen. That's the the first round he won. That's the first round he won. You got Buck Crawford doing the commentating. He better sign that contract. Let me see what he says, ladies and gentlemen. Let me see.
here we go. Bud Crawford just answered the question and said the guys on the uh, the guy that he might fight next is gonna be Kell Brook. That's what he's saying. That's the one they got on top of the list. But I don't like it, ladies and gentlemen. Thurman did not ask for ten million dollars. Report says that Thurman asked for ten million dollars with incentives. So I don't even know why Bud Crawford and Keith Thurman might not get it on. Oh baby, good double the punches by Nelson. I'm sorry, damn it. Here we go. We in round five. Nelson is back alive. Round five, and he's alive. Eva. Yeah, baby, this is Punch Rock Boxing. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Here we go. Now he looking smooth. Now he looking smooth. Ooh, one, two again. That's four. That's four. That's four. Where is wearing down? Where is wearing down? Oh, man, that's dirty, man. Let me pull, pull on that one. Here we go, man. Let's go. Four zip, four zip. Yo, he has to land the net on where? Some other is punching. Damn, he punches thighs. Relax, Nelson. Relax. Relax. Oh, good check hook. Good check hook by Nelson. Uh, as soon as he got he, he got cut, that's when he gained everything, man. He got that confidence. It's about his oh, he tastes his own blood. Now he's talking shit. Where he's talking shit to him. Uh, nothing. But he ain't throwing no punches. He's not throwing no punches. But the thing was, Nelson, he's not accurate. He's not accurate. <laughs> Look like he overtrained. Feel me? Like he overtrained. Probably. Not overtrained, but he's overthrowing his punches. Oh, good, good counter, good counter, good counter, Nelson. Here we go, man. Come on, where you're not doing nothing this round. You're not doing nothing. There's seven to zip, seven to zip, seven to zip. Oh, oh, connected on that right. Look like he tired. He tired. Oh, good by Nelson. Oh, 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 body. Oh, body. He's going to the body. Oh, good left hook. By where? That's his only first punch. Uh, where is going to be done? He's too tired, bro. He's too tired. Oh, uh, he can't even block. Oh, uh, here we go. What happened? What happened? What happened? His eye. Yo, ref, you can't stop it like that. Yo, what the hell is that? Okay, my fault, my fault, my fault. That was a headbutt. 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 Okay, Nelson is back. Nelson is back. The hell you headbutting me, baby? Who the hell you think you are? Huh? Use your damn gloves. Use your damn gloves. Here we go. Where? Oh, good body shot by Nelson. Here we go. 13 to 2. 13 to 2. Double the jab by where? Nothing. Double the jab, nothing. Jab to the body by where? Here we go. Nothing. He is tired. He can't even keep his arm up. He's tired. Now he's tired. He got no footwork. He is tired. Where is tired? Where is tired? He will 13 to 3, 13 to 3. He might make it. He might, he might not make it in two rounds. I'm gonna tell you like this. Here we go. He's just gonna fall because he's tired. Gonna remind me of Yardy. He's gonna fall because he's tired. He's too tired already. He's too tired already. Nelson got a lot of energy, man. As soon as he got cut, yes, yes, Ron was good. Ron was good. Snoop was good. Chat was good. Jeff, Glenn was good. Jay was good. Yeah, but in the, he's commentator, but he ain't, he ain't doing nothing special. You know, he's he's boring, but it is what it is. But should be there. His stable mate is there. Yeah, that was a heavy headbutt right there. Nelson won that round, though. He's getting it back right now. And Ware's getting too tired. Here we go. Round six. I don't see Ware surviving two more minutes. Not because he's getting... Oh, wow. Nelson with two good shots. I just don't see him fighting for two more rounds or probably a round. Oh, man. It looked like he got a burst of energy, Nelson. Got a burst of energy. Got a burst of energy. Got a burst of energy. Three to zip. Three to zip. Here we go. Double. They, they both connect at the same time. Four to one. Four to one. This is Nelson. This is where. Here we go, baby. This is Punch Roll Boxing. Let's go. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Smash the like button. Let's go. 
Make love to the like button. Let's go. Make the like button come. Let's go. Double by Nelson. He's batting by Nelson. Here we go. Six to one. Six to one. Where now is trying to survive? He's trying to catch his breath, but he can't catch it. He's trying to catch his breath. Oh, one, two. I told you that one last. Here we go. Nelson got him in the ropes. Boom. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, boom, boom. I damn. You're going out, bro. Where you going now? You you got faith in your trump, but you ain't got no faith. Uh. Oh, uppercut by where? Oh, by, 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 by Nelson. Here we go. Nelson got the burst of energy, damn it. He got like the energizer. What the hell? They gave you a bunch of Red Bulls in the corner after that cut. Damn it, man. Got energy. He's prepared. Here we go, Nelson. Here we go. He's bleeding. Here we go with the left foot. Now where is coming? Oh, nothing. Where is tired? He's hurt. He's tired. He don't know what to do. He can't keep his arm up to defend himself. What the hell is going on here? Oh, boom, boom. Here we go. He's stumbling. Let's go, Nelson. On to the kill. Nelson on to the kill. Nelson on to the kill. Yikes. Yikes, but he's fighting back. He's fighting back. Ain't no more counting on this one. He's hugging. Get off of me. I don't want to hug you. I don't want to hug you. Here we go. Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, uh, he's trying to hold, he's trying to survive. I will survive. Oh, there's nothing going I know I stay alive. I got all my love to give. I got all my love to give. I can't survive. I can't survive. Hey, hey. <laughs> and he stopped the fight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, Lord, man. <laughs> Damn. Look like the, 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 the Black Terminator. <laughs> Yo. Look like it could be a wrestler or something, man. Look like the Black Goldberg. <laughs> Boom. Drum. Look at this eye of the tiger. Damn, you gonna cut me. How the hell you gonna headbutt me? You know who I am? Damn it. I am Nelson, the Black Terminator. <laughs> One round, that was round six. I knew he was, I knew he could have last no two rounds. He was tired, man. He couldn't keep his hands up. He's a four-round fighter. He's a four-round fighter. But God bless to these men. Make yo say your prayers to these guys on modern day warriors, modern day gladiators. They put their life for the line for a pure entertainment. Entertainment. Jay was good. Camo was good. Yo, and after these fights, I got a surprise for y'all, man. I got a surprise for y'all. Not the type of surprise that that other dude be having on his on, on, on his channel. Not that type of surprises. Nah. You know? <laughs> but I got a surprise for y'all. After the hearing fight. Damn, I picked KOA. Woo! And he was doing good. 216 landed. 50, no, no. 216 thrown. 56 landed. That's a lie, though. That's a lie. He landed more. Than, well, I don't know. 14 body shots landed. They crazy, man. ESPN don't know how to do nothing. Glam was good. Everybody was good. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Jamel Hearing is going to be next in the main event. God bless Jamel Hearing that he didn't test. Positive for coronavirus for the third time. Three, three times is the charm. Woo. Beast mode, man. Look at your beast. Yeah, he is a beast, man. Mention, I'm just being a heel for the fights. I won't. I got everything behind you. Yeah. France, my brother. What's good, man? Everybody smash the like button, man. Ooh. 
So, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Lisa, what's good? Lisa. Lisa. Like Hakeem in, in Coming to America. Lisa. I go to Queens. Salute, my brother. Rooting for the veterans. What's good? What's good? What's good, man? Good fight, won't see the main event. Hey, yo, man, smash the like button, man. Tell everybody, man, I got a surprise for them, man. I found something out, man. I found something, man. But it's, it's kind of interesting. Black and brown was good, man. Tell everybody to come out here, man. Come to the come to the punch drunk channel, man. I got a surprise for people. I found something, man. The roast don't stop today. <laughs> Hey, yo, don't stop today, man. I found another, I found something else, man. I found another video, man. Dun, 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 dun. Let me read the comment box. They're not fine right now. Here we go. Here we go. Yo, how everybody doing out there, man? What are you doing, bro? No. Dun, 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 dun. I found another video, son. <laughs> After the hearing fight, man, you gotta let people you gotta let people know, man. If it don't reach the, at least if it don't reach to 50 people in here, I ain't gonna show it, man. So you gotta <laughs> But that was my fault though, my fault, because I did I, I uploaded a couple videos. And when you upload more than three videos in a day, it don't, it don't send the notification on the fourth one. So that's why. But I'll share with my peoples. Hold on. After the, after the fight. After the fight. Another, another video. Hey. Don't worry. This one, this, this one is like. I just found. I just found. I, I found that he got a, a a new a new a new theme. A new theme. You feel me? You know how everybody got their intro. You know how everybody got their intro. Like y'all know my intro. You already know this is Punch on Boxing, aka Mr. Moo shine himself. And y'all know the other dude. He got his intro, but now he all oh, he switched it up since the dude came out. He switched it up. And I'm I'm actually happy for the dude, man, that he's had to switch it up. You know, he came out. And you know it's time for people to support. Don't bring him down. Support, support his um, um, sexual orientation. You know, it's all right. But he came, he came out with a with a new intro. And at least, at least, I just want to share it with y'all. You know, I just want to share it with y'all. That's all. But after the after after the hear, after the hurrying hearing fight, hurrying, hurrying. Smash the like button. If it don't reach 50, we don't, we ain't gonna see it. <laughs> Smash the like button. <laughs> new intro after the fight. Yo, nah, dude got a new intro since he you know he switched everything up. Black and brown. Yo, he switched everything up. He came out. He came out. You know. I'll take closer. And you know he switched it up, but you know what? It's I, I support you know, support people that want to live their life happy. You know, so it's not about bringing down, but it's just sharing light for the people out for for himself. So I'm just going to share his 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 new intro. You got a new intro to his videos, y'all know that. And more alphabet su um su stuff. Nah, nah. Uh, 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 I I just got to show it to y'all. I'll share it to y'all. I'll sh I will share it with y'all. I will share with you. He got a new intro. Oh, who's this? My girl, Christina. Christina. Dile como tu. Dile como tu. Eh. 
Smash the like button, y'all. Smash the like button, man. It does not end. It will not end. Keep the foot on their next punch. Keep the foot on their neck punch. Ron, was good, bro? Robert Garcia is the greatest. Yo, Robert Garcia got the best, the best gym right now, man. Robert Garcia got the best gym. If I'm a fighter, I'm going to Robert Garcia. Not even just because of the training, just because of the, the people in the gym, the preparation. Because in fighting, in life, it's all about preparation, right? In life, it's all about preparation. It's all about having a good team around you, having positive people around you, you know? Look at how they look at look, look at Bo Max uh, uh, um 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 Jim. You got Heron, you got Crawford, you got Nelson. All these dudes coming out of there, you know. Nine two, nine two, nine two was good. Dile como tu, dile como tu. Dile como tú. So yeah, man, what y'all think about Gary Russell Jr. accepting the fight is not it, it, it still got in submission right now. Um, but what y'all think about Gary Russell Jr. right now? Gary Russell Jr. accepting, accepting, telling Devin Haney, I accept the fight. I accept the $1.5 million. Just send me the damn money. Send me the damn money. What y'all think about that? Is it a good fight for Devin Haney? I think it's a wonderful fight with Devin Haney. It's a wonderful fight for us. It's a wonderful thing that what these young men are doing. Devin Haney finding Gary Russell Jr., that's a great fight. A fight that you that you know that Devin Haney will have to come 100% to be a, a Gary Russell Jr. You got Tiofimo Lopez versus Vasilo Machenko. A fight that they got to come 100%. Can't shortcut nothing. It's going to be a hard fight. It's an underdog type of fight. Luke Campbell versus Ryan Garcia is an underdog type of fight for Ryan Garcia. Who was Javante Tan Davis, Leo Santa Cruz. That's his best, best experienced fighter that he's going to step, in the sign, step inside the ring with. Yo, I'm liking these young dudes, man. I'm liking what these young fighters are doing. These young fighters are doing. I'm liking it, what they're doing, man. Great fight for Haney. That's a great fight for Haney. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. So think about it. In the end, in the, in the end of 2020, we going to have, we going to have, I hope we have, I mean, Devin Haney called for that fight, $1.5 million. Ladies and gentlemen, also, I didn't want to do a video about it because I really wanted to get my sources right. But sources say, source is saying that Keith Thurman never, never asked for $10 million. He asked for $3 million plus, plus incentives. So Bob Avram is a liar, the source says. Bob Avram is a liar. They lying to us. Keith Thurman asks for three million dollars plus incentive if he wins. So there was no excuse for Keith Thurman and Buck Crawford not to get it on. Again, punch just checked out the video there. El pájaro had me die. <laughs> es un pájaro, mi hermano. Es un pajarito. Es un palomazo. Es un pájaro. Pájaro. If you don't know what's a pájaro, go check Urban Dictionary. Go Google it. Translate it. And that's what that dude is. Un pájaro malo. Woo!
Shout out to Wash Heights in the building. Y'all already know. Shout out to Wash Heights in the building. Manhattan, Uptown Manhattan. Let's go. New York City. State to city. State to state. State to state. State to city. State to county. Salute, Roberto. What's good, Robert? Salute. El pájaro palomazo. Es un pájaro malo. Buena rugio. <laughs> Buena rugio. Jamel hearing two and O oh in championship fights. No KO. So are we looking at this going to the 12 rounds? Vermont on the roof. Orlando, Florida. Orlando, Orlando. Is in Orlando here. He's here. He's here. Orlando. <laughs> you was barking on El Palomo yesterday. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, man. Uh, hey, but there's some more. It is more. It is, it is more. It's more. It's more coming. You know, it's just more. Yeah, I heard he got a new intro. And I'm going to share with y'all. I'm actually going to help him. I'm going to help him, you know, advertise, help him on my marketing. I'm going to share y'all his new intro, his new intro. Long Island. That's what I'm talking about. New York, New York, Long Island, Tampa, Florida. King was good. Richmond, I said that. Georgia, Georgia, Dakota, Georgia. The kind of Georgia. Yo, you know what's funny? That they haven't said nothing about Oquento. Oquento, they haven't said nothing about him. They have not said a word in the last like hour and so. They have not said a word about her um herring's op opponent. <laughs> That's how upsets happen. What about me? What about me? I fight two today. Well, what happened here? He's a PSPN. No name for me. Eh? What happened here? What about me? No exposure? Coño. This Bucci. This is Bucci. Georgia. B-A-B, sack in the building. Sack in the building. Yo, smash the like button. It got to reach at least 50 for me to share y'all the new intro. Come on, so y'all got to tell people, yo, y'all got, yo, tell your friends, tell your cousins, tell your mother, your daddy, tell everybody, go check out Punch Drunk because he got an intro to show and I'm helping this, I'm, I'm helping El Palomazo out, you know, you know, since he came out, since he came out, he has a new intro now because he's full blown Frank Ocean type of come out. So, just want to he, he changed his new intro. Y'all know y'all y'all know his intro, but now he got a new one, and he just letting the whole world know. And I'm just you know probably having an awareness for those for those for the alphabet people. You know, because we're not putting our alphabet people down. We're not putting the alphabet people down. Damn, Punch, you got a new... I don't got a new video. They got a new video. I'm just sharing the video. That's all. We don't, I, don't, I didn't make no videos. They made the video. I just share the video. That's all. You know, us people in the YouTube world have to help out one another, you know? You feel me? We have to help out one another. You know, we do a lot of, you know, we get, we, we're busy doing this job, trying to create the content and show it around the world. You know, show it to the people that mean it, show it to the people that want the content. And I'm just trying to deliver you, you know, I, I, you know, I, I help, I, I'm a helper, you know, I am a helper. That's all. <laughs> I'm just a helper, you know, just helping them out. You know, the alphabet people, the Skittles, the Starbursts. They even changed. They even got their own. They, they got their own 
pledge. You heard of their pledge before? Have you heard of their pledge? El Palomazo pledge. I pledge allegiance to the fags of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under balls and the liberty. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. <laughs> that's, that's El Palomazo right there. He'd be like, I love my country. I love the color of my flag. And that's the red, white, and blue, and orange, and purple, and green. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's El Palomazo. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man, that's classic, man. Yeah, they should that's classic. Es el pájaro, ese pájaro, pájaro malo, right there. The new pledge allegiance. The new pledge. The new pledge for these dudes. They be like, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the... No, no. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flags of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under balls <laughs> in liberty and justice, and I fall. Then there fall. <laughs> Oh Lord, oh Lord, I love my country. I love my country. <laughs> I salute to the red, wild, blue, green, purple, yellow. <laughs> oh man, let's go. Coming inside the ring with the hoodie on. The one they didn't even want to mention his name. Why are you going like that? There's no fans, bro. There's no fans. <laughs> Yo, these boxers, I think they think about something. I think they got an imagination, right? He goes inside a ring and he's and he's going like, you know. Yo, why have all these attire? Bro, there is no fans. What are you going like this for? <laughs> Ain't nobody looking. <laughs> Ain't nobody damn cheering. <laughs> Yo, what the hell is going on with these boxes? Ain't nobody in the stadium. Just go inside the ring, take your, day, take your shit off, and that's it. Lord, man. Damn. <laughs> Give me a drink. Or <laughs> Make me a drink, honey. Smash the like button. Why Buck Crawford got a mask on? I thought he don't believe in coronavirus. Jamel Hearing is in the ring. Everybody versus racism. He got the shirt. Everybody versus racism. Everybody. Everybody on deck. So if they say everybody versus racism, does that mean that racism... People is included with the everybody to hate racism. I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> right? It says everybody versus racism. So that means everybody, including the racist people versus racism. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Mask or mandatory punch? I know, I know, I know. So you, so you trying to say black and brown that he submit to the power, right? To the powers that be. Yeah, wear that mask so you're not coming in. Wear that mask, buddy. Wear that mask, bud. We don't give a damn what type of champion you are. <laughs> Yo, what's good? Been watching your channel. Yo, what's good? Good looking out, my brother Mar Marlon. What's good? Been watching your channel. Like what you're doing. I'm a pro fighter from Chicago. Hey, yo, living in Minnesota. A0, 126 pounds. Got a big fight coming up. Let's go. Promote that. Everybody. Everybody. Let's go. Support your boy, Marlon. Support your boy, Marlon. Support your boy, Sims. 
That's what I'm talking about. Modern day warriors, modern day gladiators. They put their life on the line for a pure entertainment. We got you out here, son. We got you. We got you. And we pray that every time you step inside that ring, man, you come out healthy and alive, man. More power to you. I respect fighters to the fullest, my brother. Good looking out, man. Everybody, man, subscribe to your book to, to, to Marlon. Everybody support the fighters out here, man. They entertaining us. They put their life on the line. Let's go. Let's go, my brother. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody. You, you don't got a date yet, Marlon? Let us know your date. Let us know your date so we can, you know, show love, man. So we can show love. Let's go, yeah, man. Interview or something, man. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta give you all that, all that shine, my brother. We gotta give you, we gotta give you all that shine, man. But good looking out, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate, you, and I appreciate what you do in the ring. I appreciate the sacrifices and stuff like that, man. You're a warrior, bro. Don't let nobody tell you any different. You're a modern-day warrior, modern-day gladiators, my brother. Keep doing your thing, man. Keep striving. Keep making you, your family proud. God first, everything second. You already know. October 10th, still getting paper. I, right. everybody, stay tuned. October 10th, maybe. But he go, he, he's going to update if it's, if it's another date. Let's go. This is the first round. Let's go. 12 round bout with Jamel Hearing versus Guando. Let's go. Here we go. This is the first round. This is Jamel Hearing. This is. Oh, already on the floor. Oh, oh, what? Slip. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn. Hearing's already on the floor. Oquendo. Here we go. This is Oquendo. This is Jamel. Let's go. Y'all already know how we count it. Jab, secondary, power punches, primary. Clean, effective blow. Who controls the three-minute intervals of the rings? Green generalship, defense. Let's go. No punches landed yet. They're in the center of the ring. Jab by hearing. Here we go. That's one. One zip. Let's go. Uh, to the body. Nothing. They clinch it. Nothing. Nothing. We're not counting those. Nothing. We can't see it. We can't see it. I don't have the angle. Here we go. They're clinching each other. They're punching each other. Here we go. Let's go. Now they're in the center of the ring again. Let's go. This is Gwendo. Oh, jab by hearing. Here we go. They clinch it again. Come on. This ain't the heavyweight. Too many clinches already. Let's go. Two zip, two zip, two zip, two zip. Let's go. We count every punch is landed. Let's go. Jab by hearing. Here we go. Nothing about going. Oh, man. Too many clinches already in the first round. One minute and 55 seconds. Let's go. Smash like button. You already know this is Punch Run Boxing, a.k.a. Mr. Moonshine himself. Let's go. These are modern-day warriors, modern-day gladiators. Y'all already know. Let's give our prayers to them after the fight. Then they come out. Safe to their family. Damn, they fighting dirty, man. I can't. We can't even get no clean punches. Remember, it's clean, effective blows. Secondary jabs, power, um, power punches. Primary. He sneaked the uppercut in the middle by hearing. Here we go. By hurrying. I'm sorry. Oh, counter by hurrying. Oh, man, this is an ugly fight already, man. It's an ugly fight. Oquendo is just out there trying to grab. I think there's going to be some excessive holding. I think you got to referee, got to say something, got to warn somebody. Oh, oh, by here, by hurrying. Here we go. And Quendo, here we go with a body shot. Let's go. Puerto Rico in the building. America. Y'all already know X Marine. Hearing is an extra, an extra warrior. It's because of men like that and women like that, that we, that we, that we live in a freedom country like this. Gives us the opportunities in the world. Thank you. Thank you, Herring. Thank you. Thank you, Jamel Herring, for fighting for us in it. Oh, man. He called. He called Herring. Yo. Yo. And he's like, oh, he's a little wobbly. I don't think he got his legs. Oh, Quinn don't even know that he landed, man. You can't go over there. Let's go. Oh. I think he's a little hurt, though. He's a little hurt. Jab by Herring. He would go. Oquendo, you got to let that fly, man. Oh, man. You're going to let it. Oh, man. He, oh. oh, man. That was an ugly round, y'all. That was an ugly, nasty round, in my opinion. That was one of the ugliest boxing we've seen yet. But it is what it is, man. Sometimes it, get, it, it, sometimes it gets rough. Sometimes it gets dirty.
It's never, it's, it's not always going to be a clean bout. It's not always going to be a clean fight. You got to make an adjustment right now. Bull Mag giving the instructions. I give that round up to Herring, but he did stumble him, though. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all hope everybody's having a good Saturday out there, man. Thanks for rocking with your boy, Punch Run Boxing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Let's go. Let's go. Round two. Round two. This is Herring. This is Oquendo. Let's go. Every punch is landing. Like, you already know how I do it. Uh. Let me see the inner center of the ring. Here we go, jab. Here we go, jab. Another one to the head. He's been hitting him back of the head. This is the second time. This is the second time, Oquendo. Stay a little clean, man. Stay a little clean. Stay a little clean. Oh, he hit him in the back of the head. Here we hit him in the back of the head. The referee ain't seen nothing on that one. Hey. Got to keep it. Got to keep it. Got to keep it consistent. Man, this is an ugly fight, y'all. This is going to be an ugly one, man. This is going to be an ugly fight. I want Hurry to step back and hit him with the one-two or something. Counter him off the one-two. Step back, show him an angle, and, and, and like that, because it's going to be ugly. He's going to fight like this the whole fight. He's going to fight like this the whole fight, Hurry. And Oquendo is doing what he needs to do. He's going to make this ugly. Oh, oh, okay, good. Good by Hurry. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Be patient. Patient. Step back. Shoot the uppercut. That would be a good one. Step back, shoot the left upper, uppercut. Step back. All right, slip. Slippage. That's a, another good counter that he could hit him with. Oh, to the body. Good by hearing. Good, good. Okay, now he's trying to counter him coming. Oquendo's, oh, man, Oquendo's just real dirty. I don't even know if he want to throw punches or just want to hug him. I think he's rushing to hug him instead of rushing to punch him. He's rushing to hug him instead of hushing. Look, again. Come on, referee. Some excessive, too many excessive holding right now, man. Tell him, tell, tell Quendo something already. Good jab by Heron. Good to the body by Heron. Good, 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 good straight. Here we go. Now he's containing him. Here we go. Good jab, good jab. Now they're clinching again. They're clinching again. Let's go. Smash like button. Here we go. Man, slippage again. Slippage again. I think he's gonna kind of he's gonna he's gonna catch him with that counter. Harry's gonna catch him with that counter. Nothing blocked. Damn, this is an ugly, ugly fight, y'all. This is an ugly, ugly fight. Jab I hear hurrying, nothing. Yo, the it, o, 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 Quendo is like he just wants to like hug him. Like, I don't even know that does it doesn't even look like he knows what he wants to do. Oh, a head, but I seen that one. That was ugly. That was ugly, man. This is an ugly fight. But you need these type of fights. Every great fighter will have these type of fights. Every good fighter, every champion have these type of fights. Oh, good by Quendo. Good, good, good to the chest. I like that one. Ja uh, another, another straight left. Oh, see, I'm telling you, if you shoot that uppercut, that uppercut is right there. He's coming, and when he's coming low, boom, shoot that uppercut. Step back and shoot that uppercut. I'm telling you, it's right there for the taking. It's right there for the taking. You the counter, the counter right on top of the head, or step back and shoot that uppercut. Every time he's coming, he's coming low. It's there for the taking. It's there for the taking. I'm her and one that round. This was not this what expected. Let's see if Herring can weather the storm. Exactly. Exactly, Ron. Exactly. Shout, shout out, um, shout out to Marlon out there, man. Marlon Day Warriors out there, man. He's having an upcoming fight, maybe October tenth. Stay tuned, stay tuned, stay tuned. Marlon Day Warrior, Marlon Day Gladiators, man. You gotta show respect to these, to these ladies and to to, to the men and women step inside that ring. Look at his headbutt, boom. Told you it was a headbutt. Look at this. Look at this. Look, it doesn't even know what he knows what to do, though. This is dirty, dirty fighting. This is dirty fighting. Let's go. Round three. Hurry got two, two rounds in. Let's go. Let's go. They in the middle of the ring. Let's go. Jab, jab by Hurry. Jab by Hurry. Here we go. Now they a little rough again. A little rough again. Let's go. Ocuendo, mi hermano, que tú estás haciendo el cuerno. Ve que vamos a pelear bien y esto. Huh? 
He's dirty fighter. He's dirty. What happened? Yo, he's coming with his head. This, that, come on, man. That's too dirty, my brother. Hey, hey, this is boxing. Oh, I told you. I told you. Herring is right there. He's bending the too low, man. Shoot that. Step back and shoot that uppercut, man. There you go. He missed that one, but I'm telling you, it's going to be right there. It's going to be right there for the taking, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be right there for the taking. This is a dirty-ass fight. I'm telling you like this. Oquendo said, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to go inside. I want to go inside the house. I don't care. No clean punches. I just want to throw. I don't care. Like I see him. I just throw and I go inside. Boom. Making this ugly. Making this ugly. The referee is going to have a rough, rough time. Here we go. Jab by hearing. Here we go. Let's go, Cuento. Nothing. Nothing. I don't care what I do, nene. You know me importa lo que hago. I do. I go inside. And nothing. I don't care. I just punch and hug. And that's what I do. Oh. Woo. Good straight left. There's another straight left by hearing. Oh, I told what I told y'all. What did I tell y'all? 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 I, I told you, man. Step back and shoot that uppercut. It is right there. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Herring. Herring, let's go. Let's go, Jamel. Have I been saying it? That's what I'm talking about, man. I love the sport of boxing, man. I call shit, man. I see, I see, man. I see it. I see it. Step back and shoot that uppercut. That left uppercut and what he did. He was listening to me. That's what I'm talking about. Salute to Jamel. He's a listener. That's what I'm talking about. That's why he's in the army. He know how to listen. He hear me. He listened to me. I'm telling you. He said like that, yo, punch. I feel you. Here we go. Boom. Double the jab. Here we go. Oh, I told you the uppercut again. The uppercut again. Uppercut again. Even though he lost the first fight. Yo, Marlon. What I've been saying though, right? I said, what I said? Uh. Let's go. I ain't even going to count the punches no more because he already had a knockdown. That's what we already know. This is a 10, 10 8 round. Uh. Let's go. Ja oh, good right. And top of the head, I tell you, boom. Yo, check the replay. What's good, Ron? Man, I called that a long time ago. I've been calling for that punch for two rounds. I've been calling for that punch for two rounds. Look at this one. Look at this. Look at this. We step back. Uppercut. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. Show it again, ESPN. Step back. Uh. Uppercut. Boom. I love my sport, man. I love my sport, man. I love it, man. I love it. He could have capitalized off that, too, right after. Hmm. <sighs> Here we go. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, man. End this dude right quick. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Oquendo, it look like you just dead, but you too, too, you too sloppy for me, man. I can't even give you credit for nothing right now. Oh, you are a warrior, though. Whoever step inside that ring, you got to get credit, man. You are a warrior, man. But I think he just doesn't have any plans. It doesn't have any, it doesn't have any plans. He's going in with the head. I'm going to see you like this. It's going to happen again. It's going to happen again. This time, it might be the right. He might counter with the right, though. He might counter with the right. He might counter with the right on top of the head. But I'm going to tell you like that, 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 up, that uppercut is right there for the taking all day. Oh, uh, again. Oh, uh, to the body. Here we go. My four, I ain't count this round. I ain't count this round. But it's because um, Cuendo's not even landing anything. He's not, he's not punching it to land anything. I think he's just flicking his jab. He's pointing the jab just against the inside, inside, inside. Here we go. Good jab by hearing. Good jab by hearing. Let's go. By hurrying. I'm sorry. Here we go. One, two. One, two. To Quen, o, 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 Quendo. O, Quendo. Jonathan. ¿Qué tú vas a hacer? ¿Qué tú vas a hacer? ¿Qué tú estás haciendo ahí adentro? 
Séñame algo, lo que tú tienes. Yo sé que tú tienes corazón. Yo sé que tú tienes bola, pero dime si tú tienes puño. Si tú tienes puño, tú tienes bola, tú tienes corazón, pues seña a la gente que tú tienes puño. Vamos a ver. Yeah, man. That's what's up, Marlon. It's true. Oh, okay. Good job, Aquendo. Okay, good, 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 right. Good, right. Good, right. That's the cleanest punches he ever landed. Oh, I another left. Another left by Herring. Another left. That right is going to get him right there, too. That right is going to get him. If he uses the angle, he steps back, he uses the angle, he pivots. If he pivots and then uses and uses that angle and hit him with the right, with the counter right. Oh, another left. Another left. Mouthpiece. Took that. He, he punched that mouthpiece out his head, out, out his mouth. Oh, he punches my peep out. Oh, man. Good jab by Oquendo. Oquendo. Jab to the body by, by, by Herring. Jab to the body by Oquendo. Jab to the head by, by I mean, straight left to, to um by Herring. That, see that punch right there? You see that punch right there? That's going to get him. That's going to get him next. That's going to get him. He's just, he's just overthrowing that because he's not stepping back. If he steps back a little bit, When he comes in, step back, and then shoot that counter right on top of the head, boom, I'm telling you, that's going to get him. That's going to get him to the floor. That's going to get him to the floor. Pivot, yeah, yeah. Out, uh, another uppercut right there. Another uppercut. Feign him, good. Now nah, he's comfortable. That's it. He's too comfortable now. Hurrying is too comfortable right now. Trainer, check your boy. Hey, you already know, man. Gotta be bilingual, man. It's two fighters fighting, man. I gotta be bilingual in this. Uno es español, el otro es inglés. Para que me entienda la gente ahí, puertorriqueño, borico, ¿qué está pasando hoy? Están, están, están perdiendo en ustedes. Están perdiendo ustedes. Vamos a ver lo que está pasando aquí. Tenemos Jonathan. Jonathan, ¿qué está pasando? ¿O cuándo? Dime. Ooh, He's one every round. Let's go. Let's count it again on this round. Let's go. They listen to the instructions. He's all bruised up, bro. He's all bruised up. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go, Quando. Let me see what you're going to do. Oh, Quando. Dime lo que tú haces. Dime, dime, dime. Borico, Quando. Dime lo que tú haces. Let's go. You see that? You see that right? You see that right? But watch when it catches flush, y'all. Watch when it catches flush. Y'all already know what the punch I, I, I love. Look at that right, that straight right. I mean, that straight left. That You see that? I'm going to tell you that's the knockout punch right there. If he commits to it, if he commits to it, if, if her and commits to, 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 to pivoting and then shooting that right and shooting that right when he's coming in, oh, that's going to work too. But that uppercut is going to be right there, that left uppercut. Now he's in there with the jab anytime he wants. He's getting bruised up. Look, anything he throws, her in his countering. Everything what I told you. That's what I'm talking about. Boom, again, boom, step back. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Let's in the punch. Let's go. Let's go. It's easy work now. It's easy work. Paint, Picasso. Paint. Paint, Picasso. Let's go, Erie. Let's go. Let me see your artwork. Let me see your artwork. Let me see your artwork. 55, 55, 55, 55, 55. Who you want to all work? All work. We got a painter. Give me a painter man. Painter man. Painter man. Painter man. Painter man. 55, 55, 55. No, no, no. 65, 65. Painter man. Painter man. Painter man. Painted man. Hurt man. Hurt man. Is the name of the Quendo. The name of the Quendo. What you want to know? 65, 65. Selling, selling, selling on 70. 70. What you selling? 70, 70. Is that paint on the paint? Selling, selling, selling. 80, 80, 80, 80. You want 80, 80, 80, 80. The painter man. The painter man. Yeah. The bruised up man. The bruised up man. We got a bruised up man. Who you want to know? 95, 95, 95. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, man. Smash the light button, ladies and gentlemen. Man, the mouth from the east. Punch strong boxing, baby. Call me the Bobby Brain Heenan of boxing. Bobby the Brain Heenan of boxing. Let's go. Jimmy Hart. Call me Jimmy Hart of boxing. The headbutts, man. 
See, the, these are the fights. These are the type of dangerous fights. Look at it. Look, look at that. Oh, that was a good body shot. But another up. See, that was a good. Uh, that was a good body shot by by um thing. Yeah, he did hurt him in the first. He did. But it's gonna be dirty. Sometimes when you you when you want to put your fighters, but you, but you got to be careful also when you're doing a matchmaking. When you put them fighters in, they're gonna put them where the fighters gonna hurt them and gonna cut them. It's not gonna help them out when they go in the champ with, with them type of fights that we want to see them in. And then they're gonna be all bruised up. Look at this. Look at this. Oquendo is some. Oh my goodness, man. I don't know if this guy want to box or what. Uh, he let's go, Oquendo. That's it. Let's go. Animar, coño, que tú un animal. Dile, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come. You buy his ear, do something, yeah, because that's the way that you fight it. What you gonna do next? Step back and shoot that uppercut. I think he could do a little something, but if he thinks, if he thinks a little, if he, if he gives himself a chance, or maybe that's just the nervousness, or maybe that's just the blood rushing, and maybe somebody need to calm him down. Think you could go inside the body. Ay, 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 one, two, in between punches. <laughs> Yo. Another cut. Another cut, man. Yo, this is crazy. Yo, this, this guy is dirty. <laughs> oh, no, he's not gonna be out yeah, right there at one point. You doing live stream for no more, Nick D? You know I'm doing it, Nick. You know I'm doing it. I hope we can have some fans, and I'm shooting out to 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 Las Vegas quick. Yo, trust me, I was gonna be the first one in that box office. I was gonna be the first one on Ticketmaster, cause I cause that fight they were it, it was brewing to be in New York City, the Lumachenko. The Lumachenko and Teofimo Lopez fight, if it wasn't for all this coronavirus, that was going to happen to Madison Square Garden. That was going to happen to the most famous arena. New York City, everybody stand up. Watch heights in the building. Let's go. Uh. Uh. Let's go. Uh. The hearing hurt his hand. Let's go, Quendo. If that's the only way you got a chance for yourself, then fight your fight. The referee ain't saying that. Oh, uh. Yeah, you know what? This is the type of fighter that people love, though. This is the type of fighter that people love. Rocky! Yo, Rocco! Adrian! A Quendo fighting like, like Rocky, but his first fight in Rocky won. When we was looking at him in the in, in the what was it? The bar, the, the bar fight. Mm. Uh. Here we go. Here we go. Double is the punches. Here we go. Going to the body right now. Go to the body. He's going to open up the head. Uh, shoot the uppercut. Here we go, man. Go to the body. And then the hands will fall. And then you got an uppercut. You got a counter uppercut. You got a counter right. If you commit to the counter right too and then move away, he will fall. Get some leverage in it. Get some leverage in it. We in the sixth round right now, man. We in the sixth round. Yo, I, we in the sixth round. What's the scorecard looking like, man? We got five. We got five. Five rounds to zero. Shut out. My opinion. This is just one of the dirtiest fights, bro. This is just one it's one dirty fight. Here we go, man. But it's a hard fight, man. Oh, I told you what I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. You see that over right? If Harry gets some leverage, he's gonna go down. He's gonna go down. Get some leverage on that one. That's the other, that's the next counter I'm calling out. I already called out the first one. Step back in the uppercut and shoot the uppercut. But that right hand, he's gonna connect. He's gonna connect, and the dude is gonna go down. Well, that's gonna open things up when he connects the right and then he shoots the left, the straight, the the the, the, the straight left after that one. Uh <laughs> that was a good sneaking one by Harry. 
That was a good one. <laughs> for, for Jojo Diaz, yo, I'm thinking so because Jojo Diaz is going to be accurate on the inside. And he's going to, that would be, I'm telling you, yeah, I got Jojo. Man, that, that's a good fight. That's a good fight. That's a good fight. But JoJo, I think he got that underdog spirit right now, man. He got that underdog spirit. I like JoJo. I like JoJo. Uh, step back. Here, hurry, man. Step back. Step back. The counters are right there for the take, and he's coming low. He's not covering up. Look at Bob Arum, a.k.a. Dinosaur, a.k.a. Jurassic Park, a.k.a. I got five more years to live. Bob Arum. What about Shakur Stevenson? Mm, man. That would be a good fight. Because Styles made fights also, you know. I think Shakur Stevenson, I, I, you know. And he's elevating, he's elevating his power as well. Look at the damn dinosaur. That dude got more hair than me. Damn dinosaur. How I lose my hair quicker than you? Yeah, damn dinosaur. Yeah, damn liar. Again, ladies and gentlemen, there was a, re a source says that Keith Thurman did not ask for $10 million. He did not ask for $10 million. He asked for $3 million plus incentives. So I don't know why Bud and Thurman is not a fight that's happening. Because, yeah. Oh. We in round seven right now. Two minutes and 35 seconds left. Here we go. Let's go. Let's count the punches. Here we go. Hurry his punches. Here we go. Coquendo. Yeah, he's just keeping it grimy. He's grimy. He just want to get. I don't care what I hit. I'm just swinging. I'm just swinging. I'm hitting you with the head. I'm hitting you with the left. I'm hitting you with the right. I'm hitting you through the knee. I'm hitting you with my ankle. I'm hitting you with the bolas. The bolas in that other channel. In that other channel. He'll take that one and hit some and hit her in two with it. El bicho, el bicho. Coge el bicho también de esa gente. Oh, man. This is one. Yo. Yo, but Ruff, you got to say something, man. I tell you, damn. Too much holding. I can't even count this fight. Look at this again. Clinch. Punch it behind the head. This is a rugged fight, though. It's a rugged fight. All right. He's letting it rock. The referee letting it rock. Then let it rock. Then you got to make the adjustment, Harry. You got to make the adjustment. You don't want the multiple skills. Step back. Step back, bro. He's coming in. He's not even blocking. This, uh huh. Good. Listen to instructions, man. Yo, yo, Oquendo is by enemies necessary. I don't give a damn. But you know what? That's the type of people that, yo, there's a lot of people that like that type of fighting. For them, it's not boxing, it's fighting. Like, yo. He's getting it in right now, man. And you know what's bad about this one is that he got right now, he got Jamel Heary fighting his fight on this round. Oh, good luck by Heary. Woo! Another headbutt. Another headbutt, bro. Another headbutt. I can't believe he's keeping this up for seven rounds, though. Guido, he wastes his career. Ooh, 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 ooh. Worst ref the history of boxing. <laughs> Man, he letting this dirty thing rock. Vasily Lomachenko, I'm back. Arrive stateside. Marcel Lubachenko. They're showing his tweet that he's back. 
Marcel Lomachenko, Teofimo Lopez, the best fight in 2020. They showing Teofimo Lopez right now. 15 and 0, 12 knockouts. Here we go. Ah. Teofimo Lopez. Basel Lumachenko. Teofimo Lopez. Basel Lumachenko in the back. Teofimo Lopez. Basel Lumachenko. Teofimo Lopez. Basel Lumachenko. Let's go. Teofimo Lopez. Woo. Let's go. Here we go. Round eight. Let's go. Come on. Show us something, baby. Let's show it. Come on. It's look like a bar, like, like a bar fight in Mexico. Let's go. Ocuendo, Jonathan, Jonathan Ocuendo, he is going, I don't give a damn, he's by any means necessary, he just punched himself in the head right now, right now, yo, he's well, he's so wild that he just punched himself in the head right now, that's how wild the dude is, <laughs> let's go, let's go, yo, these ESPN gave Ocuendo the last two rounds, Uh, fighting the fight, fighting the fight. Uh, I'm telling you, hey, right now, I'm right now, Oquendo, this is his pace. This is his pace. And now Herring is not getting no clean looks. He got him in the, he got him in the corner. Oquendo got him in the corner right now. Nothing. I got him on the ropes. Got him in the ropes. Yo, look at this thing. Ah, let's go, Quendo. Let's go. Let's go. The eye of the tiger. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go for, 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 for Quendo on this one. Oh, Quendo's going at it. Boricua power. Daddy Yankee. Let's go. Daddy. 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 Tengo Calderon. Let's go. Boricua in the building. Let's go. No me importa, nene. Yo le voy a dar lo que sea, nene. Le voy a dar lo que sea, nene. Oh, a good right by Oquendo. Oh, no. Oh, a good right. He's hurt. Here he got hurt on that one. I don't get what that one. Anybody say he got hurt on that one. He got hurt on that one. Yo, now he bleed like crazy. That's what I'm talking about, Oquendo. Let's go. I don't give a damn about who wins. <laughs> Yo, Oquendo getting it in right now. He has changed the pace. Oh, got him in the body. Let's go. You got him, Oquendo. Just step back, Oquendo. Step back. Animal, pero step back. Step back, Oquendo. Step back. Go. Jamel Here, you better stop looking at the ref. He already been rocking this for the whole fight, and you're looking for the ref. You better pay attention to the guy in front of you because the dude is right now, he a lion. Tigers and bear. Oh, my. He's smelling blood. He want to lick your blood right now. He's going, look, yo, 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 you see that? This is the second time I see that. Yo, Aquendo was he punched his own head. <laughs> That's how wild the dude is. Oh, that dude got a chin too, bro. It's either that. Oh, pillow, I don't know. Ah, uh, oh, Lord. I'm giving this to Oquendo, my friend. Jonathan Oquendo. Coño, dale, coño, ahí, a pelear. A pelear, bien. Ven, somos. Somos animal aquí, coño. Hey. Uh oh, they're gonna stop the fight. They're gonna stop the fight. You better be up on the scorecards, bro. You better be up on the scorecards. Hi, hi, hi. Yo, referee, step away, man. Step away. Let them make the decisions.
Oh! Yo, time out, 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 time out. Yo, if if if, if Jamal Herring can't go, you can't tell the you can't tell the doctor to stop the fight. Time out, time out. Jamal Herring can't tell the doctor, look in my eyes, stop the fight. If you don't want to fight, then you got not you you is a TKO on you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, 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 yo. Nah, nah, nah. Now, what the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? How Jamal Harry going to be like, nah, look at my eye, look at my eye. He tells the doctor, the doctor was about to let him go fight, but then he goes back to the doctor to be like, yo, but yo, you, you're not going to check my eye? It's not like he wanted the doctor to actually, to actually want to stop the fight because of, this is the politics right now, y'all. This is the politics. Hold on, man. L let me mute it because I got to hear what's going on here. Hold on. what the hell is going on here ladies and gentlemen what the hell is going on here this referee is supposed to be a uh a, 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 you know a seasoned ref a respectable ref asking the commission for some rules what the, what, what is going on here look i respect jamel J J um jamel hearing the doctor was not gonna uh, was not gonna stop the fight you want the doctor to say to stop the fight but to stop the fight because you don't want to fight that type of fight. At the end of the day, not everything is going to be easy, Jamel. You got frustrated by this rugged dude. He stopped his own fight. Am I wrong? Am I wrong, ladies and gentlemen? Let me know what y'all... Which which He's looking at the ref. I mean, he's looking at the doctor. He wants the doctor to stop the fight. The doctor is not going to stop the fight, but he's telling the doctor saying because of the headbutt, the referee ain't taking no damn point. The referee is letting this, the, the, the referee has been letting this type of fight for eight rounds. I want that hearing fight and they won't give it to me. Oh, really? Yo. Get that fight, get that fight, man, get that fight. I don't understand this, y'all. That's the pop. Yo, I'm yo, even though that this dude is fighting dirty, or Quendo is fighting real dirty. But if the referee ain't taking no points, the referee is letting this thing rock for, for, for eight rounds, you gotta adjust. You just gotta adjust. It's a dirty fight. It's an ugly fight. But he's been fighting like that, and the referee has been letting this fight. He changed the pace in the last two rounds, regardless how people like his style. I didn't like his style. I believe it was too dirty. But it happens. These are certain type of fights that do happen that great, that good, great fighters have to overcome. Every great fighter has had a fight like this. It's part of the game, right? It's part of the game. I believe, I believe, 
with all with all respect, Jamel Hearing, who's a, who's a constant professional, but he ain't want to go through through more of those through. He ain't want to go too many of those rounds no more. Not with that guy. Nah. You basically said I'm getting head butted. I don't like this rugged fight, doctor. You don't see my eye. It's not bad enough. Really? You don't see how I feel? Nah, stop the fight. You want me to stop the fight? The referee's looking at it. The referee's asking the commission about it. The referee's looking at it, talking to Bo Mag. Nah, what the hell is going on here? Nah, man. Nah, I know that Asa. I know who y'all, I know y'all want I'm um, hurrying to win, but I don't care how dirty the man was fighting. Look, he's just going at it. The referee, look, the referee's right there looking. The referee's not saying anything. You gotta overcome. You got to go through it. Now look what they're doing. Now they got to make some decisions. They got to make some decisions. Look how long. you. Look how long is this? Look how long are they waiting? This is the corruption right now. This is the corruption right now. Look at that. He just said, yo, Jamel, J J Jamel Hearing just... He, um, Herring just, just, just didn't want to fight that fight any longer. That's how I saw this ending. That's how I saw this ending. Anybody could tell me anything right? Let, let, let's, let's, let's hear anybody's perspective. Say it in the comment box. Let me know if you think I'm wrong. It's a fitting this way. He wanted out. He wanted out. They better not rob Oakland. Yeah. Yeah. They taking too long to decide something. They taking too long to decide something. They taking too long to decide something. This is boxing, y'all. This is boxing. This is boxing. He wanted a way out. He wanted a way out. They warriors and gladiators. Yes, I'm gonna keep on saying that every fighter, anybody that stepped inside that ring, but he wanted a way out. He wanted a way out. It was a dirty fight, but you know what? You gotta overcome, bro. You gotta overcome that. You gonna have. You're not always gonna have a clean fighter in front of you. You're not always going to have the same style. You're just not always going to paint a picture. You're not going to be Picasso all the time. It's going to be rough. Hold on. Let me mute it for a while. I just want to hear if they're going to say something. All right. They're going to say the official right now. Let me mute it right quick. Nah. 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 Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Look at the referee and jump. Nah. Yo, the referee is not saying nothing about it. How the hell are they going to disqualify him for, for, for multiple intentional headbutts? And the referee is not saying nothing about it? Yo, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. This is boxing, y'all. This is boxing, bro. He was rough. He was, uh, I mean, he fought nasty. He fought ugly. He fought, but you know what? Hell no, man. Hell no. It shouldn't end like that. It should not end like that. For multiple headbutts? What are you talking about? There's not even no points taken off. The referee didn't even take a point off. 
So how the hell are they going to stop for intentional headbutts? Under disqualification. What are they talking about right here? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me listen to her. We got to say. My team felt that it was too much and we just had to stop it. That's his words right now, ladies and gentlemen. That my team had to step up and we just had to stop it. That's what he just said. That we just had to stop it. We just had to stop it. That's what he said. He wanted out. His team wanted out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's no disqualification. You just, you, 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 you just said it yourself at your own lips, Jamel. You just said it yourself. It was too much. My team felt it was too much, and we just wanted to stop it. We just wanted to stop it, y'all. You see? You see? Right there, man. Self-incriminating yourself, brother. Self-incriminating yourself. I'm going to make a video about that, too. He quit. He quit. He quit. He quit. I'm not saying it's just what it is. Maybe he just couldn't take the headbutts. At the end of the day, he said it right now out of his mouth. Anybody go back. I'm not sugarcoating anything. I'm saying straight what the dude was saying. Hold on. Let me listen more. No, I feel you, Lee. I feel you. It was, it was ugly. What I'm saying, though, was... Now, nah, what I'm saying is that even I was saying it, that it was he was headbutting him, he was rugged, he was nasty, but the referee is not saying anything about it. So you can't stop yourself and then tell the doctor, I can't go, and, the, and, and, the, and, he's, and they're trying to have a conversation. The referee is not doing nothing to Oquendo. That's the difference. Is that Jamel Herring is saying, I don't want to go through this anymore. And then they disqualify somebody else because you don't want to go through it? Nah, that's not how it works, though. We all know that it was dirty. There was a lot of headbutt. There was a lot of inside work. But you know what? It, you're going to have those type of fights. Every great fighter has those type of fights. Every great fighter has those type of fights. It comes with those guys that are not named or nothing. You're going to go through that stuff. You're going to have to go through the, to, to, through those um um um, um fights. I'm not saying that he was in headbutt. I'm not saying there was no headbutts. All I'm saying is that the referee inside that ring, and he's talking, he's talking to the commissioner. He the re commissioner told him, Oh, you should take one, one, um, one point. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. That's not how it goes. I ain't never seen this ending like this. You want it out, your team want it out, and the other guy get disqualif dis disqualified? Nah. Nah, that's not how it goes, man. I, I, I like these fighters, man, but I, I, I got to call it unbiasedly, logically, and objectively, bro. I got to call it unbiasedly, logically, and objectively. Hearing went for an easy way out. He knew he's in trouble, and he had momentum, too. Jonathan Oquendo had momentum. He changed the pace. Even though it was ugly, but he needed to he needed to make adjustments. The referee let that pace. The referee let that fight be the fight. They want it out. He said it out. Yo, anybody right now, go back to the interview if y'all can. Go back to the interview, the post interview with, J with Jamel Hearing. Listen to what he said. That his team wanted out. M me and my team decided that we, we don't want it. That we want it out. Me and my team want it out. Yo, that's right there, self-discriminated. You, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, y'all, but you quit. Your team quit on this fight. Damn it, veteran quit. 
Let me know, man. I, yo, let me know if I'm going out of uh, blowing things out of proportion. I just want y'all to listen to the post interview, y'all. I want you to listen to the post interview. I want you to listen to the post interview. I'm telling you. I know he didn't want to go through those. I I, I know it was gru grueling. I know it was ugly. I know it was nasty. But those these are the type of fights that you have to overcome. You have to overcome these fights, ladies and gentlemen. You have to overcome these fights. What you think he's gonna he gonna fight Frampton next? And what you he thinks he wanna he, he wants this fight to be clean? How about if it's not clean? Let me see if I could go back because it's stream, but nah. I really want to go back to the interview. I want to show. I want you to. I want you to listen. I don't want to get flagged. That's the reason, bro. I don't want to get flagged. But I. I want. I want that little snippet of him talking. Who did I? Who do you have winning? No, I. I had. I had. Um, Herring winning. You know. I, I I had Herring. I had Jamel win. I, I had Jamel winning, but I'm saying the last two rounds it went to the pace, the pace of of um of Oquendo. The thing is, the referee didn't feel like this fight was a dirty, dirty fight. Remember, the referee in the end of the uh, uh, end of the fight was talking to the commissioner like, if you don't know what to do, the commissioner say, "Oh, you could take one point off." But no, just because Herring is, is is complaining about it, if you complain about it, the referee is just not going to be like, okay, I'm going to take a point off. This is boxing, man. I, I hate I hate this part of boxing, bro. That fight was Fugazi, John. That, that fight was Fugazi. That ending was Fugazi. Yo, I'm one of those dudes, man. I'm a patriotic. I'm a patriotic, bro. Look, American flag. I'm a patriot. I love my patriots. I love my Marines. And I love my the people, my, my, my warriors that serve our country. We can have the opportunity we have in this world. So for me to say this, so for me to even say that I feel like he did quit, yo, trust me, man. I, I don't like to say it like that, but because I respect, uh, 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 um, I, I respect hearing, man. Hearing. I respect hearing, man. But he just ain't want. He just wanted out. He wanted out. He did. He did not want to fight this again. And I'm not saying that he's discouraged. He don't want to get head butted. I know. Hey, Mike Tyson bit an ear because he don't want to get head butted no more. Mike Tyson bit an ear because he don't want to get head butted no more. If anybody, if anybody been in the ring or whatever, and get head butted. Come on, man. That shit hurt. I know. I understand, but. If the referee is letting this fight happen, then that's the pace of the fight. There's some refs that do not let that fight happen. Do not. It will take a point. Off. And remember, remember, I said in the from the from the first second round, he was holding a lot. Was too ugly in the second round. I even said a, 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 a maybe a point might be taken off, but the referee wasn't doing it. The referee didn't do it. He let the fight, and we all felt a lot of people felt right now that the referee was wilding out. Look at the ref. Look at the ref. Why you don't go to the other corner, though? That's what I mean, man. It's too biased, man. It's too biased, yo. Boxing, yo, boxing. I love boxing, but it becomes WWE, man. It's scripted. It feels like it's scripted. Why go to... I, I hate to watch a boxing bout, but in my mind, I feel like, uh, it might be a robbery. Like, that's, that's whack. That's whack. It's not a robbery. But it's not a disqualification on the other dude. I told the ref. I told the ref. I dress it in the ring. I dress it in the ring. All right. All right, y'all. Here we go. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Listen up right quick. I don't want to get flagged, but I want you to listen up right quick. 
Hold on. Let me see. Here we go. He's going to be aggressive with a head first. <laughs> moment, but it just kept repeating. You know, on the inside, it kept, you know, and Tony finally put on to it, but, but I, didn't want, I didn't want to go in like that. So. All right, listen up. He said, I ain't want to end like that. Hold on. After comes over, or after the fifth round says, can you see? <sighs> nah, man, I ain't going to try to do that, man. I got flagged before for that shit. Yo, one no one is paying attention is the fact that we have Tony Weeks refereeing here. Y'all do realize Tony Week is probably the most seasoned ref in the game, and he goes back to the 80s. Yes, sir. I know that for sure. That's what I'm talking about. Tony Weeks is very, but he looked like he didn't even know what he was doing, right? How are you going to ask the commission for some rules? You should know this, Tony Weeks. Is The thing is, Tony Weeks knew that he was just letting this rock. This is not on Tony Weeks. The decision is not even coming from Tony Weeks. He was letting this dirty fight happen. In the first fight, even though Chocolatito fought hard, bleeding all night long, winning by points, he was simply robbed by the judges. Yeah, point. Puerto Rico is for uh, Burchett picks up easy. Damn, Weeks was keeping Herring safe by letting him always breaking up all the action. They came out like WWE. Yep, Vlad. Hell yeah, I agree with that. Smash the like button. Y'all already know, man. We're going to be talking about this, ladies. We're going to be talking about this, man. Because boxing is turning like the WWE. It's like full-blown. Full-blown WWE, man. Full-blown WWE. Full-blown. Full-blown WWE. You said I can see. Right, so I've been there. That was an issue, but you know, my team felt it was just too, it was just too much. So they, we just had to stop or whatever. So you heard what he said? Did you hear what he said? Did you hear what he said? I'm going to go a little back. I want y'all to hear, listen to what he said. Shit. Ricardo, take it away, B.O. Yeah, I ain't like that. I want y'all to listen up right quick. We just had to stop it. My team felt like it was too much, and we just had to stop it. My team felt like it was too much, and we just had to stop it. I'm going to say it again. Come, That's what Jamel just said in the post-fight interview. My team felt it was too much, and we just had to stop it. We just had to stop it. You stopped the fight, Jamel. You stopped it. You stopped it. My team felt like it was a lot, and we just had to stop it. Feel like it was enough, and we just had to stop it. That's gonna be that's gonna be the, the title the title of, of, of the video. The team threw in the towel, and the commission picked it up.
My team felt like it was enough, and we just had to stop it. Yo, Johnny, my phone didn't even get to see. Yo, good looking out, my brother. Motherfucker is trying to bust slam like. <laughs> Yo, motherfucker is trying to bust slam like. <laughs> Yo, good looking out, Johnny, man. Good looking out, man. Thank you for the contributions, my brother. Let me put that up. Yeah. Yo, my team felt like that was enough, and we just had to stop it. That's not my quote. That's not my quote. Y'all heard it. My team felt like it was enough, and we just had to stop it. He threw in the towel, y'all. Glenn, you're correct. He threw in the towel, bro. Good looking out, Johnny. Good looking out for the contributions, my brother, man. What y'all think? What y'all think about what, uh, um, what Jam J J um, Jamel Hurry had to say? Talk to me, y'all. What y'all think? What y'all think, man? Commission seemed to be scrambling. Hell yeah. Tell former out slicks, hurry, easy work. Damn, I don't know if he got enough power. I think Jojo Diaz, though. I think Jojo Diaz, Ron, will have him, yo. I don't know about I don't know about Tevin Form. I just don't. He just can't back a lot of dudes up, man. Can't back a lot of people up with that punch. He don't got enough power. Do they proceed with the Frampton fight? They got to. Because after this, they'd be like, yo, let's get that Frampton fight now. I think I, I think the Frampton fight is, 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 is possible now. I'd rather get that fight now. They in line to get it too. Their team quit. Exactly. Their team quit. Bomac? I didn't expect that from Bomac too. Now, there are certain things where you're trying to save your or you're trying to entice to get a... a the referee to to say that that the fighter can't go. That's what they wanted. They wanted the ref. They wanted the ref to say that because of the because of the cut that he can no longer go. So then they would just go to the scorecard. But the scorecard was so close. That's why they were scrambling. This is what happened, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm gonna say it like that. Let me be my my. Uh, this is what happened. This is what happened. So you saw how long it took, right? Remember, let's say the ESPN scorecard had him three rounds. With all that ruggedness, maybe a referee, maybe a judge had him winning. Regardless how we have felt. Yeah, Jamal Hurry was winning. Jamal Hurry was winning. But let's say the judges had, had Jonathan winning. So this is what happens. They wanted to stop the fight. The, the, the team, the team in the corner, Bo Mack and, and Hurry Wanted to stop the fight. Didn't expect a surrender, but that's exactly what happened. Yep. Yep. Yep, we're coming back. Exactly. This is what happened. The team in the corner, Jamal, Jamal Hearing, Bomac, wanted the, re the, wanted, wanted the doctor to say that my fighter can no longer go because of the cut. Then they will go to the scorecards. Yet, this will happen. They figure out they went to the scorecards. And it was probably ref gave the fight to this dude. They found out. And they'd be like, oh, hell no. Wait, 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 wait. We need to, ch we need to change the rules right now. He lost because the fighter was disqualified. The referee never disqualified the fighter, nor the referee took a point away from him. How the hell did this disqualification came about? How the hell did this qualification came about when Weeks didn't call for not even a point to be taken off? I ain't never seen this, this one before in boxing. Not this one. I've seen enough robberies. I've seen enough um, shenanigans and stupidity. But this one was even out there in the open, bro. It was out there in the open. This not even behind the scenes type of stuff. Jamal Hearing, and in the post interview, he 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 incriminated himself. He said, "My team felt like it was enough." Yo, 
you're in a C-class fighter show. I, 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 I'm very, very, I think Harry wanted out the fight. He did, Raider. I think Harry wanted out the fight. He said he couldn't see, but his eye was not swollen where it was shut. I look like it had no obstruction from swelling and quit, in my opinion. Yo, and that's hard for me to say, but I agree. It's hard for me to say that, man. Y'all know, man, I always say it. My modern-day warriors, modern-day gladiators, they put their life on the line for a pure entertainment. I keep on saying I say it all the time, but, yo, it's hard for me to say it, but he quit, man. The, a Marine quit, bro. A Marine quit. A Marine quit, man. We need Harry Bell. Who is winning on the scorecards? Any that um, who's winning on the scorecards? I don't. We don't know. We don't know yet. Because I thought that at least it was going to go to the scorecards. They disqualified him for 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 for, for con, con, what he said continuous headbutts, but Weeks never called any headbutts. He never. I mean, he never took a point off any headbutt. That's crazy. Disqualification. This is boxing, y'all. This is effing boxing, man. This is effing boxing, y'all. Yo. No way you can criticize him. I yo to be Josh. I don't want to. Who I don't want to criticize him, man. I don't want to. I know her, man. He's a marine, bro. I have my utmost respect, yo. I, I got a soft. I got a, my my heart, yo, goes with the marines, with people that serve, man. I put them out there, man, like that, up there, yo. It's hard for me to say what I'm saying. I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it, and I know he didn't want to fight. With the headbutts. I know. I know. I know he probably was getting headbutt. I said from the beginning to the end it was dirty. It was nasty. But these are top of these are the type of fights that every great fighter have gone through. Yo, that's crazy, man. Fangirl, fangirl. Bang girl. What's this? Why are you spamming? Oh no, no. Let me tell you this one out. <sighs> Yo, what y'all think, man? They serve nothing but terror. <laughs> B-Roy. Damn, man. You go auto live at the truth is the truth. He quit. No mas finito. Yo. Yo, Jose, did he quit like did he quit like um like Jeffrey and Fresh Prince when he thought he won the lotto? I quit. <laughs> Yo, did he quit like Jeffrey and Fresh Prince when he won the lotto? I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> yo, 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 you remember that episode of Fresh Prince when Jeffrey thought he won the lotto, the butler? I quit. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a rough night, man. Damn, Jamel, Jamal, man. Damn, how you going to do that, yo? Forget what I said, bro. Forget what I said. Just listen to the post interview, bro. Listen to the post interview. Harry quit and got the win. That's crazy thing, man. Damn. Damn. Damn, man. You telling me that he's going to be walking around with that one? <sighs> Hit 
His interview said it all. His interview said it all. His interview said it all, man. His interview said it all. Yeah, it was a prank on Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey! Yo. So forget about how we feel for a minute. Forget about this. Forget about if you feel like he has he, he was he he was getting hit with excessive excessive headbutts. We know it was dirty. We know it was dirty fight, a dirty fight from the beginning, bro. I was calling it a dirty from the beginning. From the beginning. Even by the second round, I said, damn, the referee might have to take away the point because of the clinches. They were just, yo, it was holding, it was rugged, it was, it was like, yo, it was like two Sean Porters fighting. Fighting one another. I'm talking about the Sean Porter when he fought Berto. That type of Sean Porter fight. <laughs> Smothering of subjects. Nasty. Ugly. Yo, Chad, what's good? Good looking at <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> Yo, Potts, pump the, the lake me guy. I got you. I got you. Give me what? Yo, Johnny, I got you. Give me, give me, give me, give me a few. Give me a few. I'm gonna let everybody cook. I'm gonna let everybody cook because I we gotta talk about this, yo. We gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. And I want to know if it's wrong. But like I said, yo, even if even if if anybody disagree with me on this one, if anybody does disagree with me on this one, I'm disappointed he didn't fight through adversity. Yep. World combat sport. Exactly, bro. Every great fighter, every, I could say like 98% of the great fighters have a fight like this, where it's rugged, where you don't even want to be there, where the, when the, the opponent looks like he ain't even there, he's just in there to be dirty. But every great fighter goes through that, bro. Every great fighter has to go through that and they overcome. Not every fight is going to be clean. Not every fight is going to be clean. Not every fight totally agree with you. I'm disappointed. But I'm disappointed that is, is Jamel hearing. Like, come on. A guy with his background. It's hard, it's, it's, it's hard for, for people to put themselves in those fighter shoes. And look, I'm not saying that people should, it, 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 there's people that don't might not understand. I might not understand getting hit and not be able to see. Maybe it's frightening. Maybe you can't see from one eye. Maybe it does feel like an eye is popping out and it's falling out. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, and the same, but, but you are fighters though. And as fighters, and as the paying customer, and as the customer itself, we think that you have the heart and the grit to pull it through. But he said in the post, his team, we want it out. We had enough, and I, my team, want it out. Self-discriminating himself. So right now, to be honest, no matter how anybody may feel, it's just not justifiable because what he said on the post-fight interview. Because what he said in the post-fight interview. <clears throat> I'm going to send the link, yo. Yo, anybody. We going strictly boxing out here. Anybody got beef? I just want to talk boxing because I really want to get to the bottom of this, yo. I really want to get to to. I really want to talk about this because this is some type. This is some different type of, some different type of like. Is it? Is, I, I didn't call it. Is it a rob? I don't call it a robbery because I don't feel like he should have won anyway. Yo, I know you tight about this nonsense, but we hit over seventy, so you have to give us the follow up as a promise. I got you, Glenn. I got you. I got you, bro. I. <laughs> <laughs> I got, yo, good looking out, Glenn. I got you. 
I got you. I got you. It's gonna be a follow up. I just, but I really want to get. I really want to get you know talking about this one. I'm, don't worry. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna leave the stream without it. You feel me? It's different from Colazo versus. Is it different from Colazo versus? Hold on. My fault. My fault. Yo, Lee, good looking now, my brother. Thank you. Thank you for the contributions, my brother, man. I appreciate it so much. This is different from Colazo versus Keith Thurman. Hmm. Hmm. It's not. It's not because it wasn't a disqualification. You feel me? It was a retire. He retired on his stool. He retired on his stool. He didn't want to go. He can't see from his eye. So, beam. Yeah, you could say he can't see from his eye. He quit. Right? He retired. He's telling I can't see from my eye, so I can't fight. But that's like, but that's not it because think about it. If Keith Thurman said, yo, I can't see from my eye, but then Keith Thurman gets to win, see, it's different. The problem is that hearing is the one that can't see from his eye, and then he gets the title like he won, and that was a disqualification. Remember, he won a disqualification. Tony Weeks did not disqualify this man. Tony Weeks did not take a point away from Jonathan he did not take a point away from him. How did he go from the bell ringing to disqualifying him? How did it go from that? That I never seen before. WWE just written a new script. That's a new script in boxing, bro. That's a new script in boxing. Yo, Ranga, looking out, my brother, man. I appreciate that. That's a new script in boxing. Lee, good looking now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Yo, that's crazy. That's a new script in boxing, bro. That's a new script in boxing. See, dog, all the real ones. Catch links. <sighs> Yo, France, what's good, my brother? Good looking now. Good looking now, man. Man, good looking now, yo. I appreciate you, my brother. Damn, yo. So quick, hit the like. And words. <laughs> good looking out, Chad. Good looking now, man. Just the, just the <laughs> velocity. Stephen A. Smith B's here. Oh, hearing. Yo, he was trying to get the doctor to. Yo, exactly, Joey. Joe, exactly. He was trying to get the doctor and the ref to call it. That's what I was saying. Exactly, yo. How? And yo, it didn't even go to the scorecards, man. They disqualified him out of nowhere. I never seen that before. Lisa, good looking now, Lisa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Nah, thanks for tuning in, man. Thank, thank you, man. You know I appreciate you. Lisa. Lisa. Lisa from coming to America. Lisa. <laughs> Yo. Be bro. Oh. <laughs> he said, he said, <laughs> he said black. <laughs> Yo. Yo, the Puerto Rican is the minority now. Huh? Nobody wanna nobody wanna say nothing about the Latino now. Huh? The Latino gets uh up the ass, huh? Right? What happened to the Latino? Huh? What happened to the Puerto Rican? Huh? Damn, yo. The Caribbean dudes is, get, is, is getting played. Jackson Rosari. No, J Jackson Marines. Eh? <laughs> From Dominican Republic, you got this one now. 
But I didn't think he won, though. But it's not a disqualification. It's not a disqualification. They were scared went to the scorecard. As a matter of fact, I felt like they read the scorecard and they saw at least probably two judges gave that gave that bout to, to, to um, Jonathan. Oquendo. They gave it to him, yo. I think so. That's why it took like five minutes. Because if it was a disqualification, think about it, y'all. If it was a disqualification, then it would have been automatically the announcer would have came out and the referee would have been in the middle of the ring and it just raised the hand to Jamal, to, to Jamal hearing. If it was a disqualification, if it was a disqualification, it should have it would have been an easy read. Why it took like five, the dudes took their gloves off. You got the dudes waiting. Bob Aram is like, hey, hey, took his took took his mask. Hey, 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 give me the scorecard, goddamn! Give me the damn scorecard! What the, don't you read that? We got a big fight coming in twenty twenty one. Don't play around with me. I'm too old for this shit. A.K.A. Dinosaur, A.K.A. Jurassic Park, A.K.A. Bob Arum got five more years to live. Yeah, greedy bastard. Yo, as well, saludos. 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 Yo. Ladies and gentlemen, I promise y'all the new intro. The new intro. Now there was a dude that he came out, and you know what? I just want is it's just a, is it just a second clip? If y'all want to stay tuned and check out the new intro, check out the new intro from this dude. He got a boxing channel. He got a boxing channel, and is the first pajaro to have a boxing channel in boxing. And if you want to support, you know, dudes that like the dudes, this is the guy right here. For y'all, let me put it up. Hold on. Where is that? Where is that? Hold on. This is the new. The dude has a new intro. Because he came out. He came out a couple of weeks. He came out. He came out. He came out the closet. And now this is a new intro. This your bitch H. Bummy. Misses the zone. Y'all already know, bruh. Before going live, bruh. I like getting my ass touched. Ass slick, ass fuck. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC fuck boy, bruh. I'm LDBC fuck boy, bruh. I'm H Bummy. H Bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheeks spread out, bruh. Y'all already know, man. Let me take this do rag off, bruh. Let me, let me brush the waves, bruh. And then stick this comb on my ass, bruh. That's what I do. Oh, yeah, um, the dude is, you know, he's, uh, uh, yo, Joey, good looking out, my brother, good looking out, you know, that's his new intro, um, came out, um, you know, he's rocking the, the, his new rainbow flag, you know, the red, white, yellow, blue, yellow, purple, orange, green, and we just showing, yay, hey, 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 that's, that's his sexual orientation, and we're gonna respect that. We just gonna respect that, all right? Feel me? <laughs> he said, "Yo," <laughs> he said, after combing his hair, he gonna stick. He gonna stick that that comb up his ass. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, kids. Sorry, kids. You know, it's just there's just people out there that you know. Um, you know, yo, good looking out, Joey. Joey. <laughs> Joey. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the contributions, my brother. Thank you for the contributions. Yo, smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, smash the like button, yo. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Smash the like button, yo. <laughs> yo, Lee. Lee, Lee, I was just eight. Hey. <laughs> I promise, I promise, I promise the people that before, uh, um, when I started the live stream that there's a new video out there. So, you know, the dude got an intro, 
and that's his new intro. Everybody know how the you know people that know the 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 pájaro. He's a pájaro. Eh, el palomo, el palomo. El que mama huevo ese, ese tipo. <laughs> mama huevo. <laughs> Yo. That was hilarious. Yo, Fred. <laughs> Yeah, yo, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you already know this is Punch Row Boxing, aka Miss Moonshot. Subscribe to the channel, yo. Subscribe to the channel, baby. Subscribe to the channel, yo. Shout out to all the boxes, yo. Check out my man, yo, my boy Marvin Sims. October 10th. I hope you get that fight, brother. We're going to be pushing you. We, 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 we're going to be supporting you right here, bro. All the fighters out here that's listening right now, let me know, man. I want to support each and every one of y'all. Yo, let's do the interview. We talk about your experience. Yo, how you started out with, man. Talk about your next fight. We out here. We here for the modern day warriors, modern day gladiators, yo. Modern day warriors. <laughs> yo. Hold on, yo. Hold on, hold on. Run. Hold on. <laughs> yo, y'all want to listen to the intro again? Yo, y'all want to listen to the intro, his intro? Y'all want to listen to his intro again? Yo, step. If y'all want to listen to the intro again, I got to have like, yo, 15, 15 yeses. 15 yeses right away. 15 yes. If y'all want to listen to the intro again. If not, I don't put it again. We keep on talking boxing. I'm a female, baby. Oh, I respect all the ladies, baby. All the ladies. Modern day wars, modern day gladiators, all the ladies. And thank you for the contributions as well. Let me see. Yeah. Yup. Hella. All right. We got three. That means nobody want to see it. Drop the link. Ah, that means nobody want to see it. <laughs> hella, hella. Yeah? Yes. Ha <laughs> That means a yes. See. Sí. En español también. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to count. Let me see how much is that. Let me see how much. Is that. I said 15, right? I said 15. Okay, we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You got 11, yes, right? El pajarito. <laughs> nah, friends, you can't do it. You can't say. Si sí, coño, all right. That's, that means that's a double. That, that's a double yes right there. Si sí, coño. Coño, yes. See, si, maldito loco. Yes, is that 15 already? What? Sus. <laughs> nah, evil, evil, that's saying this one. Yes, E. <laughs> Yo. Premier. Premier. Hey, hey. The premier of the new, the new alphabet people leader. This your bitch H. Bummy. This is the zone. Y'all rain no bruh. Before going live, bruh. I like getting my ass touched, ass licked, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuck boy, bruh. I'm LDBC's fuck boy, bruh. I'm age bummy. Age bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheek spread out, bruh. Y'all already know, man. Let me take this do rag off, bruh. Let me, let me brush the waves, bruh. And then stick this comb on my ass, bruh. That's what I do. <laughs> Alphabet people leader. <laughs> Yo, IBT, what's good, chat? <laughs> Watch ice in the building, baby. Everybody, Joey. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Salute. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I appreciate the compliment. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Man, those compliments mean, man, means a lot to me. Means a lot. Means a lot. 
Yo, punk, you should have put Big Al in the back of that bucket. <laughs> yo, yo, you cold blooded punch. <laughs> Yo, that wasn't me. We, I'm just showing you out the video that I seen from a dude. That's it. That's his intro, right? All, I, all I'm doing is just showing the dude love, right? All I'm doing is giving him a platform, you know? You know, I'm helping the dude out. That's all I'm doing. I ain't doing nothing bad, that dude. Then I say, I ain't say nothing. I'm just showing you this is the dude right there, you know? You know? Hey, boxing is a diverse sport. We have boxing, everybody from different countries in the world. Yo, Johnny boy, good looking out. Oh, oh, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check, I'm gonna check it. <laughs> Yo, uh, hey, this is a diverse sport from people from different countries, different languages, different sex orientation. And even those people need to have their space and their precision, but everybody sometimes need a leader and we found their leader, their leader. You heard his pledge. I pledge allegiance to the fags of the United States of America <laughs> and to the Republic for which it stands. One nation under balls and the liberty of justice for all. <laughs> Anyway, yo, back to the to the Irving fight. Hold on, let's get let's get people in. Let's get the people in. Ron, I got you too. Ron, 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 Ron. Ron. Oh man, hold on, hold on, my peoples. Hold on, my peoples. Yo, real talk. He a professional slap boxer. <laughs> so man, yo, dude is is, is yo. Have you ever seen the low down dirty shame? This shit don't keep me from breaking my skin. <laughs> yo, uh, have you seen the low down dirty shame? You remember that movie? Huh? <laughs> You remember Wayman? Hi, Wayman. Hi, Bernard. Okay. <laughs> Who's this? Bernard, what's wrong with you? Me, Bernard. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Home record. He's with me. I can't believe just did that. Girl, you know you myself and you know it. <laughs> you slept with him. You slut. Ah, Bernard. <laughs> Save your tears. Coffee's good with cream, but better when it's black. <laughs> I'll never talk to you again. And you, Mr. Coffee, if you want some hot steam milk with your double O espresso, I'm your man. <laughs> Don't leave. I promise I'll call you. Shane, why do you do that? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, y'all remember that movie? <laughs> Woohoo. Wait a minute. Hi, Bernard. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, that dude is Wayman and Bernard. <laughs> yo, y'all remember that movie? Huh? A low down dirty saying with Kareem I what, what, what was it? Kareem Ivory Wayne. Yo. Yo. That dude is Chris Tucker in the what the fifth or sixth sense? <laughs> Nah, 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 you know who that dude is? Nah, nah, you know who that dude is? You remember Baby Boy, the hairdresser dude, the one that, that, that Tyrese is selling the dress? <laughs> he said, $40. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to wear my thin little tight right here. <laughs> he said, $40. <laughs> more money, more money, more money. And you. Ah, 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 <laughs> Yo, oh my God, Roll City, Roll City. Yo, man, fight better, get on your knees. Oh, <sighs> oh love it. Woohoo! Wait, man! How, Bernard? 
<laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's this? Bernard, what's wrong with you? D. Bernard, yes, that's me. Home record, he's with me. I can't believe you just did that. Girl, you know you're my stuff and you know it. <gasps> you slap with him. You slide. Oh, Bernard. <laughs> Save your tears. Coffee's good with cream, but better when it's black. <gasps> Slap with him. <laughs> oh man. Save your tears. Coffee's good with Korean better with the black. Don't you ever talk to me again. And you, Mr. Coffee, if you want some hot steam milk with your double O espresso, I'm your man. <laughs> Don't leave. I promise I'll call you. Shane, why do you do that? <laughs> Yo. Oh, Lord. Oh, man. What a night of boxing. What a night of boxing. Play the intro again. He said play the intro again. Play, play it again. Play it again. <laughs> fifth dimension. Yeah, it was fifth dimension, right? It was fifth dimension or what? What, what did I say? Fifth. No, I said. The one with, the one with um, um, Chris Tucker. What was that movie? It was the fifth dimension or what was the, what was the name of it? Was it that one? Yo, the baby boy, the salon dresser, forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Roll sausage, <laughs> peaches. <laughs> yo, that's his day right now, yo. Peaches. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Uh, what you want? Eggs, sausages. <laughs> Yo, one more time. One more time. The intro, the intro to their leader, the alphabet leader, the alphabet leader, Ellen Degenerate, right here. The the Ellen Degenerate bo um, uh, uh, of boxing, of boxing talk, of boxing creator, right here. The Frank Ocean, the Frank Ocean of boxing, of, uh, uh, of YouTube creators, boxing. <laughs> this your bitch H. Bummy, misses the zone. Y'all right know, bruh, before going live, bruh, I like getting my ass touched, ass licked, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm H. Bummy. H. Bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheek spread out, bruh. Y'all already know, man. Let me take this do rag off, bruh. Let me, let me brush the waves, bruh. And then stick this comb on my ass, bruh. That's what I do. Yeah. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Sodom and Gomorrah. Mm -hmm. The fifth element. Yeah, the fifth element. That's what it was. The fifth element. <laughs> the fifth element. Oh, I got my phone. I got my phone. Yo, yo, yo. Classic. Classic. I got two. Yo, Black and Brown, I got two classics, bro. I got two classics, man. I'm going for five mics. Yo, that I, do I got five mics on my second album? Do I got five mics on the second album? I'm not done. I am not done. I am not done. <laughs> I am not done. If you've been fucking with me for eight months, then you're going to get eight months of my, my shovel, man. I'm with, yo, it's going to be a slow, it's going to be a slow death, bro. It's going to be a slow, torturing one. That's easy, right? It's like I said yesterday. That's easy, you know? 
Nah, nah, nah. It's gonna be slow. It just ain't gonna be no. Ain't gonna be no popping. That's it. Nah, 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 nah. It's cutting up the toe. You know, cutting up the, you know, cut the finger up and. Nah, man, you're going to feel it. All that talk, all that talk. Oh, man, this is just the beginning. This is just the intro to the album. <laughs> this is just the intro. This is just the first sentence of the essay. I'm just heading to first base on a bunt. Mm -hmm. It's the first inning. It's the first counter. <sighs> Buried alive, the undertaker. Ain't no getting back. Uh-uh. Body bag. Coffin. Coffin. No pillow in the coffin. Matter of fact, just dig, just dig the grave and throw him in. <laughs> Man, I told you stop fucking with me, okay? You wanted to play rough? Huh? Okay. I do this for fun, man. I do this for fun. Yeah. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers and say that's the bad guy. So what that makes you? Good? <laughs> you know good. You should know how to lie. Me? I always tell the truth. Even when I lie. So say goodnight to the bad guy. It's going to be a long time you see another bad guy like me. I tell you that. <laughs> I do people on nannies on the dude. AKA the Undertaker, tell him, evil, tell him, tell him, and ain't no Brock Lesnar gonna be coming out and beat me. <laughs> if you ain't Brock Lesnar, you ain't gonna come and beat me. <laughs> I'm throwing dudes off the cage like Undertaker, you mankind looking mother, <laughs> you mankind looking mother. <laughs> Yo, oh, oh. Yo, and me just thinking about that, man, just thinking about wrestling, man. I'm the undertaker. This dude right here, I'm, this dude right here is the, the dude, the dude in the intro, that dude is Goldust. <laughs> He's Goldust. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about, under, I'm undertaker, that dude is Goldust. He Goldust. <laughs> Yo. All right, back to boxing, back to boxing, back to boxing. Dance to the love, dance to reality. Mm. They like cockroaches. That's what I mean, Ronald. They like fucking cockroaches. That's what they are. Cockroaches, man. You remember people say Nandes and Shaft? People say Nandes. I put my feeling like this. 181, three people there in Riverside. Yeah. I put my finger like this. 181. Three people that can wait in Riverside. Taigo Woo. Taigo Woo. Yo. Hey, you was in a television. <laughs> go yeah, he gold dust, bro. He's the gold dust of boxing contact creator. The gold dust. Yo, but that Jamal Hearing, man, that, yo. We're gonna do a video. We gotta we 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 have to attack that content right there because that's a that's a different script, bro. That's a different script. <clears throat> Yo, I'm gonna let people in right back there, man. Link the link up, man. We're gonna link up. Oh shit, my fault. What I put? Hold on. Let's talk boxing. Let's talk boxing. There you go. There you go. Don't go. Don't go away. Hey, he Rico from WWE, the manager, Chuck and Billy. <laughs> nah, yeah, he's Leo. What's the other guy? What's the other guy's name? Oh, oh man, what's his name? Nah, do is it do love? Is it that? I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Yo, man, yes, sir. Who's that? 
Yo, what's oh, up, punch? Dad. Oh, my fault. Hold on. My fault. My fault. I gotta put my headphones on. Gotta put my headphones on. Hold on. Hold on. Gotta put my headphones on. Hello? Y'all hear yo, me? Yo, punch. Yeah, yeah. I can hear you, man. What are you saying? Huh? You're cooking that boy hard, boy, man. Am I? Yeah, man. Nah. He deserves it, though. He deserves it. He didn't apologize. You, know? you gave him, like, chance after chance. You know what I mean? So, do your thing, man. Hey, hey, I'm, hey, I, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm just putting a, I'm just putting a video that that's him. That's, that's his video. I'm just sharing it. I'm just showing, I'm just, I'm just showing love, right? Yeah. You feel me? That's all. You know, it's his intro. It's not my intro. I'm just, you know, I'm, you know, hey, anybody want to subscribe to this channel? Go ahead. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm okay, man. I'm okay. <laughs> no? No, 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 no. I'll take a pass on that one. Yo, Glenn, Glenn, what's good? Ron, what's good? Yo, shout out to Punchy Blanco from the Bronx, bro. Just mm. showing up last minute, murking everybody, bro. Like, yo, you're not going to paradise, bro. <laughs> you yo. feel me? You're hey, not going to paradise. Hey, hey, I'm a nice guy, Glenn. Come on, I'm a nice guy. You feel me? All I want to do is for people to redirect their souls to, to the most high, you know? But I guess, you know, people just... Too many devils around, and sometimes you know I gotta disguise myself as one so they could so I could speak their language so they could understand me, you know. Yo, even 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 even, you know, we all the image of God, right? Even God has has his wraths, right? Yeah, man. All right. Yeah, man. Right. Not Pete? necessarily. Right, not right necessarily wrong? a wolf in, in sheep's clothing, yeah, but you know what I mean. Just, just, just an assassin. You know what I'm saying? Trying to 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 be peaceful. You know what I mean? Hey, you know, that's all I'm being. It's peaceful. There's a box. There's a boxing channel. That's all. You know, I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. I'm a nice. Dímelo, punch. Calo que, bro. Guido, de lo mío. Dímelo, man. Está cocinando. Está cocinando, eh? Hey, está cocinando. ¿Qué tú estás cocinando? Mangú, salami, qué? Dime. No, nada, nada. Bebiendo agua. Dímelo. Bebiendo agua. Drinking water, my friend. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Yo, what you think about? Well, what you yo? Oh, matter of fact, come on, let let's talk box. What y'all think about that ending? The ending, um, I think um, he quit. He quit. It's easy to see. Um, I think uh, he made an excuse. His eye wasn't even that much bust. I think he could have carried on fighting, but I think he, you know, he had an excuse to get out of that fight. So he took the he took the chance to get out. You know. Because that guy was being rough as well. He was dirty during the whole fight. But, you know, he was still dangerous, you know. But obviously, I had Jamel uh, Herring uh, winning the fight. Yeah. You know, but uh, anything could happen, you know. Because that guy was, he was like a dog. He was he was coming and coming and coming. So, you know, uh, I think Jamel, he quit, man. It is what it is. Yep. I think, I think, and I think even if we, if, even if we want to give him, if you, if we don't want to say the quit word, Right. If we just want us, but what he said in the in the, in the post fight interview, he dis, he he, he self discriminated himself. He, that's it. He said it. Yo, he bro, said it, it out his mouth. We seen we seen like somebody said Arturo Gotti. We seen Bad Dude Jack. We seen Margarito. We seen Kel Brook. You know what I mean? We seen so many people with 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 bad cuts and, and lumped up eyes that wanted to continue. And, and you're going to come with that bullshit, bro? And you're trying to make your name known like that? You're trying to make yourself relevant in the division? And that's the best you could do? Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, even, yeah even Tyson Fury, his cut was the worst, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and that, you, yeah and, well, out of all in, yeah. And, and, you know why they, and you know why they didn't want to go to the scorecards? Because they know he was going to lose. Tyson Fury was going to lose that. Hey, yo, 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 Punchdrunk, thanks for letting me on the panel. Shout out to the mighty MXBC. We run the game, run the game. But I just have a question to ask you because I probably have only a short amount of time on this panel. But, you know, you, you went on H Money, you know. I know y'all have a little campaign against them, you know, Team Haney versus Team Delfimo. I nah. get it. I get it. I get it. You know, y'all having a little beef. But my uh, whole thing is you're nah. calling H Money gay because, uh, Ro you know, I Rob cool. showed his. I well, didn't, I, well I, I, I didn't, you call, call him call anybody. or something. I didn't you call know? anybody. I didn't call anybody that that terminology. I never okay. did. I never did. Coming out, pajaro, pajaro. 
Pajaro. Oh, play it again. Play it again, Pants. Play it again. <laughs> we call him a bird or something, you know? Some but pajaro. what's gayer? This what's your gayer? bitch, H. Bummy. This is the zone. Y'all already know, bruh. Before going live, bruh. I like getting my ass touched, ass slicked, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm H. Bummy. Ah! H. Bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheeks spread out, bruh. Whoa. Whoa. Ain't no man. Let me take this dude rag off, bruh. Hilarious, let me, hilarious. Let me brush the waves, bruh. And then stick this comb <laughs> on my ass. Hey, bruh. your hairline, son. Yo, punch, 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 punch. Hey, hey, But what hey, I want to do, punch. I want to keep it consistent, though. I hey. want to keep it consistent. I want to keep it a hundred. Hey, so what's money gayer? Is an attention hey. whore. He's been walking around with a billboard on his face for four years, bro. I remember the motherfucker from from uh, all right, all right, okay. Sponsor, Lisa Bells. Listen, <laughs> at the end of the day, you should not be trying to say something. I just want to say, I just want to say one thing. He's a walk. It's pájaro, diablo, que pájaro, diablo, que pájaro. All right, all right, all right, all right, guys, all right, all right, all right. Let's keep it consistent. Let's keep it consistent. What's gayer? Rob showing his cock to the world or fucking Johnny Boy showing his saggy grandma ass to the world? <laughs> saggy grandma ass. <laughs> Go look up Coco's video for saggy grandma ass. <laughs> the saggiest. Check this out. Check this out. Saggy, crinkly grandma ass. No, let me talk. No, let me Yo, come on, Maron. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold Maron. on. Maron, yeah, yeah. Maron, forget. Hold on, bro, hold on. What's happening, Punch? What's good, man? What's, What's good? good? What's good, Kazo? What's good, good stream, man? my friend. Here. Good looking, good looking, good looking, yeah, good looking, my no bro. Doubt, no doubt, no doubt. I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say. Oh, he, he okay, he was. Uh, I saw you begging for a link, Johnny. Oh, I okay. saw your failing channel. Yo, yo, um, Camacho, Camacho. What's up, Punch? How about I slap the fuck out of you, nigga? Well, okay, Grandma. Oh. Thanks for the grandma ass, bro. Oh, yeah. How about I slap your grandma ass? Hold on, hold on. Come on. <laughs> nah, nah, you see that? You disrespect, oh, you disrespect oh, the people's oh. family. You see, that's how it starts. Yo, nah, you go got... ahead, go ahead. You want to fight? Let's fight, nigga. You got so, my so, address. So put it, this, put, it, put it this way. Put it this way. Uh, let me ask the question. Y'all, hey, hey, it's open. It's, it's the open pad. Y'all could, could go out... Go, go at each other, Jose. right? But but I want I want to first I want to ask the question. Jose, ask this. how about I fucking slap you, son? Yo, respect this man's channel, you immature fucking <laughs> nah, Italian nah. fat midget. Punch, punch, punch already knows what time it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Yeah, let's just hear what punch got to say. Let's just hear what punch got to say. That punch talking it, man. Yeah, shut yeah. up. Shut yeah. up, shut up. Yeah. Punch just gave the Grimly yeah. yoke. So for hey. everybody on the panel, for everybody on the panel, Punch, Punch just gave I'm the green muted. light. Johnny, he, Johnny's Punch autistic. Punch just gave the, the green light. He just okay. said, yo, it's free smoke. Yeah, so, I'm going so, I mean, to give, like, give the, yeah. give the, yeah, for, give the green light. Let him finish cooking. Hold on. Let him finish cooking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give the green light. I just, I first, I first, hold on, hold on, Johnny. Hold on, Johnny. I'm going to give the green light. I'm going to give the green light. First, Johnny, put on your helmet. Yo. Hey, yo, chill. Hold on. I'm going to give the green light. I'm going to give the green light. I just want to. I just want to keep it a little bit boxing. I just want to go. I want. I want everybody's point of view on what you think happened in the in Jamel um Herring fight. Let me know what y'all think, and then, hey, then y'all go. But let let let's. I want. I want to. I want to get this passed, and then we go to the fun. Okay, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this okay, shit. Is, is that fair? Is that yeah. fair? Yeah, man. Go ahead. All right. So, what y'all think about the um the stoppage? What y'all think about that? Yeah, anybody who wanna go first? Glenn, 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 go, go, go ahead, Glenn. You want me to go first about the fight? So um obviously, um, you know what I'm saying? When a when a corner has to quit, like like we were just talking about the other examples of other people, either they quit or there's an accidental uh, headbutt before four rounds, goes to the scorecards, whatever. I'm not sure if that was a uh, part of the rules today. Because uh, I was listening to yours, and, and we didn't go over the rules about that. But at the end of the day, um, you know, it sounds to me like uh, he, he even said it, that, it, you know, hey, they yo, gave up. Boy. They gave up. You know what I mean? You, you get what me? What the fuck was that? Okay, so, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, so, they, so they gave up, you know what I mean, uh, in the corner. And uh, usually, like, 
on, on a normal basis, I've never seen that. To be honest with you, like like uh, anybody like like request for it to go to a headbutt that the the ref didn't call. You know what I mean? Like that. That's just sounded ridiculous. That sounded like a straight robbery. Like uh, you know, they were just anticipating just casuals that didn't even like boxing to be watching the the the, the, the fight. Dog, dog, dog. I want, I want, I want to fight Jose with them hands, boy. Nigga, All right, yo, 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 Johnny, Johnny. Hands, dog. Johnny, 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 what you think? Of, what you think about the stoppage? What you think about the stoppage? I thought them niggas was butt fucking each other, and they should have fought, but it wasn't no fight. It was a fucking hug session. These motherfuckers should have manned up, nigga, 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 nigga. You fight, you fighting a man that's five foot four. You 5'10", my size, boy. This guy's fucked up, man. Yo, Guido, what you think about the stoppage? Yeah, that, that's a disgrace for boxing. We just saw we just saw corruption in our own eyes, bro. I got nothing else to say. OG I'm just a disgrace to the quarterback. Was... My fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. Uh, I cut you off. All I, know I just want to say this. what's up to OG. Yo, L dude, what's good? I'll buy a house. What's good, my brother? All I know is this. All I know is this. Jose... Camacho, you so this guy's so high, bro. Oh, Coco is in the backstage, isn't it? Yeah. You wanna let me? Yo, know? Hey, you so I knew that was there was gonna Coast. be some funny shit happening. I knew it. I knew yeah, it. Coco, isn't it? West Coast, Max. I got it. I got it. Don't worry about it. I'm not. I'm not gonna shout from Punk, nobody. First, let me pop off real quick. Nigga, go ahead. Nigga, nigga. Forget about it. Forget about it. Go uh, ahead, uh, everybody. Uh, let's go. Let's have hey, some hey, fun. Let's go. Hey, Bring Coco in, man. Come on. Let's have a party. Let's have a party. But this is what I'm gonna say. This what I'm. This what I'm gonna say though. This what I. This what I'm gonna say though. Every man. Every man by themselves. Ain't nobody here. I don't want to. I don't want to hear nobody vouching for no other man, or no other woman, or no other trani. I don't know that that guy that has a sexual preference. It's a free y'all hear the man. boss for that dude? Then I'm just gonna time y'all out. I'm just gonna take y'all out. Just right. fight, fight for yourself. How about that? You, you're fucking. Let's go. Let's go. So hey, let's let's, say, let's start the smoke say, right now. Out of that. Fuck all that. Fuck all that. Wear your helmet. Get your helmet on, Johnny. Johnny, where's your helmet, bro? <laughs> where's your helmet up, bro? Real talk. You're a bitch. You playing my fucking life, bro? I'm gonna put a fucking bullet in your head, bro. Real talk. In Minecraft. In video game. In Call of Duty. In Call of Duty. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. Come fight me. Y'all talking about Rob Stone? Come fight me. Come fight me. Hey yo, hey yo, hey yo, first and foremost, and first and foremost, hold on, hold on, coach, ah, hold on, hold on, coach, why you keep saying this man's shoulder, yo, how you know is that dude, because I don't see nobody's face right here, I only see no, nobody's he face, that, bro. He if y'all know that, that it was, Hey yo, hey yo, I said it, I said it. If you're gonna bring, let the man, let let that, let let that, let that pajaro speak for himself. But punch drunk, punch drunk. That's actually punch drunk. That's actually a valid point because we don't know if that was Rob. The, the resolution was shitty. It could have been a random guy for all we know. But one thing I do know that was is a that, guy. that was I a saw guy. I saw the real drunk Johnny show his flabby ass, granny ass. To the forget stream. about that. Yo, forget, about, forget, about, forget about that. Ass. I you know that 100%. Ass, they, had, they, had sa- they had a sausage party. You thinking about ass? Oh, 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 oh. about the sausage party. What do you feel about the sausage party? But I, just wanna, I want you to keep it consistent, hey, punch. punch. I want you to keep it consistent. No, I, 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 I know. Because hey, hey, we're going in on Rob, but what about hey, yo, Johnny? He's hey, on the yo, panel. Hey, yo, hey, yo, I, I, I'll moon you right now. I'll moon you. What are you? I would have yo, uh, showing sausages around and laughing Dog, and smiling. It's a whole you. different ball game, buddy. I get, it's a whole it, different it, ball it, game. It's boy. just What do you game. think about that? What do you think about that? It's boy. just his game. Tell these niggas to shut the fuck up. Cause I got to video otra vez, pan. Señalo otra vez. Nah, nah, nah. Cause I, I feel, I feel, I feel, ah, I feel, 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 I it's okay. No, I, running, I just want you to keep it a hundred. I just want you to keep it a hundred. I just want you to keep it a hundred. You go. You going in on Bunny, right? If if they running a Can porno talk, site, nigga, a gay porno ride, site, it's okay. But it's here's right. the thing. Here's the thing, Punch. Yeah, you are, you, you, you Here's the thing, Punch. You've had. 
can somebody can somebody up. please control the the the, the card on the on, on, on the panel, please? How about how about how about let uh, how about you let Johnny say we gotta say and you respond? Go ahead, Johnny. Here, kid, kid, nigga, I bust your daddy's cheeks. Anyways, anyways, I gotta rock off, baby boy, nigga. Uh, hey, punch, you already. Can you know. get your mom? Punch, you already know, dog. Good it's, it, it, yeah. Boricua, nigga. Hey, hey, anyway, anyhow, anyhow, any of y'all niggas want to fucking squab, you got the address, you got the phone number, you just come holler at me, dog. Johnny, go find Christ, bro. Go find Christ. Stop getting fucked up on these streams. It's sad. How about, but you, Forget about it, I and the last bro, time you did this, your mom had to end the stream, bro. Hey, yo, Come I, on. Told ya, I told you, yo, I said, man after man, don't go after nobody's mom, bro. No, 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 no. His, his mom, his mom is probably a lovely person, but she no, has to put up. But, but my brother, but my brother, I'm telling you right now. She has to put up with Johnny, and that's hey, sad. My, like, brother, if, my, my brother, I'm just going to cut you man. off, bro. I told you, do not bring nobody's family. Go back to Fair man. enough, fair enough, Punch, fair enough. All right? Because, because you know, if you set that in person, they don't rock. If I talk about your mom, is another right. Mom, no, that's, I never. That's, that's, that's some respect for the other family members, right? This is a diss on Johnny. Yo, punch, punch. Let Coco in it. He's at backstage. Yeah, let's have fun. Let's have Coco on here. Let's bring that's up the fine. likes. Hit the like. Hit the like. We're having Coco. a party. That's not Coco. That's not Coco. Tell them to come. Oh, on. Okay. Whoever, whoever is that? Tell them to come on on, on, on their right their their right channel, bro. But 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 okay. This is my last point, Punch, because oh, I, I know that. I know, punch. This is my last point because I know you have a lot of people on the panel, and I don't want to disrupt your show. But you've had Rob on the show tons of times. The odds are this guy is so weird that his show is cock at least once at one point. Would that make you gay? No. Hey, I, hey, I don't know. I don't. That's I don't, the same I, thing that happened I, to H Money. Is I, he gay I, for allowing weird Rob the show is cock? Yep. He took him off after a couple of seconds. No, he did. What if what if no, crazy Rob? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's count it. Let's count it. Let's count it. One, two. So you have the three, cock on. Okay. He four, tries to hide eight, it. Five, ah, eight, come six, on. Six, Yo, look six, at Gusto's six, face. Damn. Count, look at Gusto's face. Count, bro. Guido, count. you're going out, yeah? Count. <laughs> Guido, count, you like that? Yeah? Don't fuck for that dude, bro. That Stick was not. Yourself, that, no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. for that queen, bro. That drag. Gusto was looking at that tsunami. Stop thinking for RuPaul, bro. All right, all right. I won't. I won't. Oh. I won't talk to them. All right, all right, I won't do that anymore. Listen, let oh, uh, it's our Hefe in it's in the background, isn't it? Let him on in it, please, innit? Hey, hey, but my last it. point, my last point, hey, Punch, on, I, res I respect you for allowing us. On your, I know I was scared that you were sending out your, your link through email, and I was like, is, is Punch Stroke becoming corporate? But now that you're posting in the on, chat punch, again, man. you know, I salute you, you know, just just keep it free smoke and, Yo, and you know, so put, put it this way, Jay. I don't look anybody. Look at the description box of all my videos. What does it say? My email. If anybody want to speak directly to me, they could do that. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also you were talking about threatening to like, you know, show people's information and shit. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I'm like not what showing I'm seeing. information. I don't got to show nobody's information. I got okay. people's information. I won't show it because if I got a problem with somebody, I'm just going to go to that information. Okay. Don't okay. worry. Oh, about right. so, so long as, well, long know, as you keep it. I don't know your information. No, I don't know you. Yours information. I don't, I don't Mr. think Moonshine. I Mr. Moonshine. That's El Jefe in it. It was a chat to you. Uh. All right. I'm gonna free up my space for Jefe. I'll oh, see you guys later. Ron, Ron, my fault, Ron, my fault, Ron. I wasn't looking at that. Yo, what I understand is he talking about you showing somebody's information. All they do every Come day on, is troll people and make up new accounts. What type of shit is that, bro? Yeah, man. Y'all motherfuckers are dumb, bro. I, I, I have There's something wrong. Got no content. So you come over and bother a channel that has content. What type of fuckboys are y'all, man? Seriously, answer the fucking question. Because I, I don't understand something? how you can think that your crew is cool when all y'all do is troll fucking channels. I think well, Mr. Rondo, Fate, you has a battle. point, man. I, th I, th I think he, he uh, uh, you know, cool deserves a, a, a response. You know what I mean? That, that's a legitimate question. Men, uh, listen, and I think y'all uh, motherfuckers are uh, using my listen. name too. Because somebody was on the it's LGBT chat, which I don't go on no more, and they had my name in their fucking comment section. And y'all do be calling people's houses because I've been getting phone calls from motherfuckers that I don't even know. There you go. 
All right, listen, Mr. Musha, El Hafe wants to talk about H Minute. Come on, man, let him on, man. Oh. P Box. Let's talk about it a minute. P Box. Who's that? Well, let, let me address real quick, uh, Mr. Punch Rank. Hold on, bro. Let me turn on the other phone I got, bro. You know what I'm I got more than three phones, bro. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, you got an echo. Got an echo. Ever got an echo. That's you? Yeah, man. I, I want to know what's your beef with me, uh, Mr. Moonshine, bro. Last time I came, I came peaceful, peacefully, bro, with El Gallo, man. But I see you block my accounts, bro. I hear that you're talking shit about me, you know, behind when? behind when? the internet. You got receipts? That's what the people are telling me, bro. No, no, no. You gotta have you see, you see how I have videos and I could and I got exposed. If you could expose me if I talk if I was talking, let me know when. No, I'm asking you, bro. Do you got beef with El Heifer, bro? Because I've been showing you love, bro. I've been telling people come to uh, uh you know what I'm saying, Moonshine's channel, he's free smoke, but lately you can actually kind of weird, bro. So I want to know. Hefe, if I knew that you have one ch one account, we maybe I but you come man. with like fifty different account, bro. Nah, my account. Yeah, I, bro, can't I, account apart, bro. Bro. I can't even tell them apart, bro. I can't even tell them apart. They got so many no, accounts. Hold on, hold on, Ronald. My channel is El Hefe MXBC. Everybody knows this. My last channel got flagged, bro. And I, I already know who flagged my channel, but I won't put that information out there. You know what I'm saying? It's somebody on this panel, but I won't say his name. But yeah, man. Uh, you already try to book, bring that bullshit, bro. You no, you got more fake you, accounts than you got to, subscribers, bro. You, bro. you got I'm more fake. To. Okay, all right, all right. All right. Well, you said that yesterday, so I'm just I'm just letting you know. I still do believe that you got more fake accounts than subscribers, though. Shut your bitch ass up, bro. You shut the fuck up, little whore ass. Shut the fuck up, yo, yo, Glenn. Glenn, yo, you talking to me too? Yeah, yeah. What's up, Ronald? What's up, Ronald? You probably you probably got one account all your life, right? Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Yeah, I got my Glen Avery and then my Major Key. These motherfuckers got like fucking 50, 60 accounts and like 40 fucking subscribers. Up, bro. Let me say they, they, they probably ain't even got 40 subscribers. That's probably all that Shut the fuck up. He built his channel with different accounts. They probably be stopping until they, 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 they got them, so. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let me say this real quick. Yo, Hefe. We support Punch Drunk because he, you know what I'm saying, bro? He supports the Hispanic fighter, bro. So we respect him for that. For that reason. You don't support him. You don't support him. What's up, bro? How the fuck are you supporting if you chose it? Follow him, Masa. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, They'll be talking yeah. shit on their channel. Yo, let's go to Punch it's Drunk it's and, and bring that smoke to him. And then they get cooked over here. That's what happens. And it's, it's, it's not because they, they like Punch. It's because they be thought, yo, we're going to go over there and do shit to Guido and Glenn and Punch and everybody over there. And then they get cooked every time they come. That's what it is. Yeah. Shut your face, man. Shut your face. Fucking blow your brains out, bro. My beef is with Glenn. Yeah, he actually said that he was gonna kill my children, bro. That's what Glenn what? said. Bro. You got you know children? What, said, bro. what the fuck? Yo, eight, eight years in the pen. Eight years in the pen just came out in a wheelchair. In a way, oh, hey, hey, you know what's funny? They're calling me right now. They're calling me right now, bro. If I want to ask you a question, if it, if I want to ask you a question, yo, what you think about um um? Yeah, heard the echo. El pájaro's intro. El pájaro's new intro. The what? What you feel about El pájaro's new intro? Nah, bro, I don't want to disrespect the man like that, bro. Me and him are actually cool. This your bitch H Bummy misses the zone. Y'all rain no, bro. <laughs> it's funny, Still though. Still going live, bro. I like getting my ass touched, ass slick, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bro. I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bro. I'm H Bummy. H Bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn, it's your turn I got my ass cheeks spread out Bruh, y'all already know man Let me take this do-rag off, bruh Let me, let me brush the waves, bruh And then stick this comb on my ass, bruh That's what I do <laughs> Yo It's your turn, <laughs> Hefe <laughs> Yeah Hello, <laughs> mom Nah, bro, I think that's very disrespectful Yo. <laughs> Like a like you in the church choir. Oh, that shit is so different. 
<laughs> nah, bro, you're disrespecting yeah. the sexuality, bro. It's 2020, bro. What you think about this, Hefe? <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, yeah, I can't, I can't man yo, the best thing you could do, yo, the I best thing about that man, yo, the, the best thing you could do, the best thing you could do, man. but yo, is be like, you know what? Let me disattach myself from that guy, man. Let me, let me just disattach myself from that guy. Man. I, I can't do that, bro. I learned a lot of boxing from, from you know what I'm saying. You didn't. This your bitch H Bummy misses the zone. Y'all already know, bro. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. I said in the beginning, man. He got to cut. He, he, he got to vouch for himself, man. Nobody vouch for him. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm gonna time y'all out. No, I'm not. Don't take it personal. You mentioned you, you talk about him like you vouching for him. I'm gonna time you out because then I'm gonna see you just like him. Put it yeah, that no, way. I'm a Christian. Is that fair? 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 If you vouch for if you vouch for him, then I'm gonna see you like you just him. And I'm gonna okay. Let me you. say this real quick. Let me say this real quick, man. I'm actually a Christian man, bro. And I actually don't don't agree with that lifestyle, but at the same time, I don't hate you. Don't agree with whose lifestyle? With homosexuality, bro. Oh, I understand. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, I'm a I'm a Christian. Man, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, since I'm, the, since I'm, the, I'm the, the, since the follower, yo, this guy be fucking following YG and Coco with all their gay shit. And yo, yo, man, I just take a stand against that today. You know, I'm very Christian. I'm in a wheelchair. You know. Yeah. <laughs> nah, bro. Y'all, y'all you full of shit, bro. Disabled people, bro. That's very disrespectful, man. We're yeah, fuck here. you and, and fuck here. YG. Both of y'all called me. You called me while while you were still talking to Punch, uh, and I heard the echo in the background. Then after that, you must have texted YG. He just called me while he was uh, putting H money on it uh, again. So fuck y'all. Yeah, y'all keep calling me. Are you talking about disrespectful? I'm gonna keep disrespecting you. Nah, Get used bro, to it. You actually disrespect my whole hood, my family, my children, bro. I don't give a fuck <laughs> about your hood, bro. Your children. Yeah, yeah, your children. What's the one that you did that, that you laid up? He in, bro. Home, he got like eight yeah. children in the pen, bro. In the I, pen, he got like eight children. I, I, I got that 357. Time, you, time out, time yeah, out, time out. 357? You don't got nothing, bro. I got that 357, bro. Yeah, and that shit. Yeah. That should have knocked your wheelchair back once you once you clap it off, and I got seventeen more coming back at you, brother. Arizona, bro, come see me, bro. Real yo, top. P, yo, 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 P. I never killed my father. Yo, P. Yo, walk one. Yo, you was cooking yesterday, man. You was. I'm. 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 I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it up to you. You was a funny dude. Listen, at the end of the day, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> You know what it is, but sometimes they come at me, and I have to, you know, what I mean, I have to be the bad guy. But I rather not. No, 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 no. Who you was going after? Who you go? Who you? No, no, don't even mention the name because no, nah, it was Jella. In it. Everyone knows that. It? No, 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 no. It wasn't him. No, it wasn't him. No, it was not. No, it was oh, not the, last what, night. What the Batty boy? Yeah? The Batty boy. <laughs> who was the Batty boy? H money in it, obviously. <laughs> Listen, everyone knows I don't like H money in it. I never liked the guy. You know what I mean? And now, especially like what he's been doing, nah man. I can't be rocking with that shit, man. Why don't you sing it, P Boxing? Rubo no promo. Yeah, man, yeah, man, yeah, man, you know. That's what me I say. Yeah, yeah, don't forget I'm Caribbean, bro. <laughs> Jose, Jose, I'm not even Jose. Caribbean myself, man. No, Jose, I know, good. but you, you, you know, it is what it is, though. No, but you know. in the UK, you know, there's a lot of Caribbean. Yeah, you, you can't do with that, with that. Every day, you can't do with that flame. That that Tupac that hit him up. H <laughs> money is dumb, bro. That's the funniest shit I ever see, bro. <laughs> that H <laughs> just put right now. That's the, that's that hit him up shit, bro. It's over. There's nothing he could do now. It's it's over for that guy. Hey man, man, LWBC is looking weaker and weaker by the day. I don't know how they allow. I just want to share something. Listen, the I have to interrupt you. I have to interrupt you because H Money is not LDBC. He's never been part of the LDBC, so we can't we can't oh, put the LDBC it. with H Money. That's very disrespectful. Look, look, well, he, put, he it way, put it this way. Put it this way. It ain't even about. Yeah, I, look, I don't even care about. Let's stick to the to the to. We we could just stick to the to the to the girly the the, the tranny boy in hand. Hey, your money, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't care well, about. Well, yeah, hey, yeah, that's weak. And and I agree with you. Anybody that's rocking with them, they they're just weak. You they're just showing their hand. How you you can't you can't agree with that? 
as a man, you you can you you can walk with that. Oh, even no, if no. even if you go that way, background. even if you go that way, that's disrespectful. You can't be on on camera doing that. Like, you know that's that's private. Even if you like that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying. Even if you like that, you can't even rock with that either. Yeah, yeah, of course, man. I don't rock with that stuff, man. Listen, L Dog is in there. He wants to cook. Come on, punch. Not L Dog is not cook, here. L Dog is in the background, man. He's in the background. No, he's not. I'm telling you. Oh, he nobody's in the gone, oh, nobody's in the background right now. Oh, he's gone. It's gone. It was like three minutes ago. Yo, yo, P. I'm not gonna come at you, but please, bro, stop, stop, like uh, asking for people to come in, bro. He he already made the rules at the beginning. Yo, every man for themselves, bro. Like you keep like uh, like no, saying, yo, this person's in the background. This person's in the background. That person. No, but he like, said, no, on, no, bro. no. The rule says he said, don't defend the guy. In it. I'm not defending the guy. All right, all right. I'm I'm saying though, like 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 y'all y'all trying to bring other people. Like yo. if they come in, if they come in, they're real. Okay, you see, that's YG right there, right? You see how he came in? Yo, that's YG. We already know that. So what, why are you calling me, YG? You just called me like fucking hey, uh, man. two minutes ago. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I came to address <laughs> Salute, that, bro. Yo, what up, man? I came Salute. to address that, bro. I ain't, I ain't call you, bro. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. So, so you came to address it? Yeah. You came to address it, but you didn't call me. I told you why you calling me. Just show up and bring the smoke, and then you just uh, hey, uh, hold up. Hold on. Hold on. You see? Yo, bro. yo, you see? He, he's playing me in the background. Bro, that's not me. <laughs> you guys are my big, my my biggest fans, bro. I appreciate yeah, you guys, man. That's not me. I swear to God, Yo, sub bro. to me, sub to hey, me. Hey, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian man. I'm swearing to God. May He strike me down. My, my mother. My mother it's not me, my bro. When he was three years old. Yeah, that's facts, bro. That's real shit right there. You see that? You talking about you grew up like that? And he yeah. already said, "Don't bring up families." But yo, I'm, hey, I'm very open about that. Either. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm late, 40 bro. years old. I'm comfortable with that, bro. That shit happened when I was three years old. So what, hey, what you trying bro. to say? That wasn't well, what, me, was, uh, what was your YG? What was your point of, of that of that segment right there that you just posed? I didn't. That wasn't me, bro. <laughs> he just showed up, and all of a sudden, there was background shit. If put it this way, my brother, look at it. If I'm going to open up the panels, right? I don't know. There's people that hate. There's people that support. If I'm opening up the panels. And if you call yourself a man, I'm talking about everybody. Well, you just can't be real, bro. Hey, my I brother. Ask you, I asked you, ask you a simple question. My brother. Bro. So you know how StreamYard got, like, the gray bubble that, like, pops up when you speak? Like, if you go back, it didn't pop up when that audio played. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, that was not me. Everyone else has their mics mute. Yo, yeah. Jose, bro, why were you on our nuts, like, a week ago, bro? Who's who's R? Who I don't even know who you are. Yeah, yeah, you know us, bro. Who are you? I never. I, this is the first time I ever speak to you. Nah, bro, you a hoe, bro. You a MXPC Whoa, fan. Oh, show re, like, like, like punch it, like punch show receipts, show receipts. You got obviously you got all the audio. Bro, I got the receipts, receipts, man. I don't got no well, audio, show. bro. Well, show them, show know, your man. receipts tripping, of me bro. being on your little grapes. <laughs> Nah, bro, y'all jealous of Rob's fat, like, penis, bro. Hey, yo, man, y'all talking about this dude. Y how y'all know is that dude, bro? Hey, how y'all know it? They, they, what, that's I what I mean, know. yo. This is what I say. When they say it's Rob, and it feels like y'all was all in it like that. Y'all was involved in the party. Y'all knew who was who y'all was hiring. Did y'all hire him to do that? Yeah. Okay. He's, right. he's actually part of the MXBC. Okay, then you know why I don't rock with that. All right, so I got to So you got to go, my brother. I see you, my brother. All right, pre All right, gotta go. And you gotta take that MX out, bro. Don't be putting MX. You're disrespecting you us. You, you see that? that out. You see that? And, and see take, take the Borinkin off the end of your name too, bro. Uh, we don't. We don't want to claim you neither. See? Uh, you see I'd what be, he said, I'd right? That, look, I'd be, I'd be look, look, that look, MX. Look, 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 put it this way. See the DC how dumb they said they hired Rob. Boom. That's it. It's recorded. That's it. <laughs> Yo. They're so stupid, bro. They're really that stupid. You see how nobody's playing uh, video clips of me talking now that he left? Man. <laughs> oh, man. They, 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 that's it. They bored, man. They bored. They bored. They own, you know what it was? You know what it was, son? You know what it was? That every time they did come in, whoever was coming was vouching for the dude. But since they got nothing to say about him anymore, because the dude is buried, He's buried. 
and they just trying to save the dude just a little bit, but they can't be they can't vouch for what they saw. Yeah, man. Uh September 4th is gonna be worse than September eleventh for H Money every year, bro. He got cooked yesterday, bro. He got <laughs> cooked. And today too. He, yeah. yeah, his family's he's always he's gonna, gonna say get we remember. Every day. It's so hard to, to say, say goodbye, goodbye to <laughs> yesterday. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Boom, 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 boom. Tell me what you want to do with it. Ain't no way to For real. <laughs> you know our uh, jokes, man. <laughs> Death is come for you. Death is come for you. <laughs> you remember that shit with the with the with the big black dude, man, muscular, with the angel wings that was flying off the top of the church or something like that. Nah. I remember that shit, that video. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. From Bone yeah. Thugs, yeah. Damn. Eh, nah. Yo, so eight hey, boxing. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm having fun, man. What y'all feel, man? How y'all doing, man? I'm having fun too, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yo. Yo, but man, why nobody, yo, why, why in the latest nobody's trying to come in and just bother my channel no more, yo? What's going on? I know. It's like, it's like, it's they almost like, said, like, I got no, no, I got nobody, like, I got no Jehovah Witness knocking on my door, right? <laughs> hey, 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 tranqui, tranqui. My wife is Jehovah, you know. She's Jehovah winning, you know. You, but you know I don't what want I'm her over here. You know I know, Saturday. I know what you're saying. I'm just playing with you, though, man. I'm just you playing know, with you, bro. You know it's Saturday morning. Yeah, you bro. expect them. <laughs> you expect them before your alarm goes off, bro. All right, that's my alarm. I don't even need an alarm, bro. Exactly, right? They got no, they got no respect. They just come whenever they want. <laughs> with the bicycles. Oh, that's the Mormons. That's the Mormons, bro. All wrong ones, my bad. Yeah, that's the Mormons. The Mormons come in bicycles. The ones with the white t uh uh like short sleeve uh button ups, the black pants, that's the Mormons. <laughs> yeah. and, and you know who the worst ones are too? The the so called retired gangsters acting out Cristianos. How oh, they get on my nerves too. Yeah. Like you bro, what's your safe code, man? What what's your safe code, man? We're gonna protect your house when you're gone for Christmas, man. <laughs> yeah, it's true. My, my my four my four six my four six is true, man. Um, yo, I I talk boxing more, all the time, all the time. It was just I just wanted to put that video out, but we could talk about boxing because ain't nobody really, really there's really yo, nobody. Yo, I want to ask about uh the fight. Did you guys watch the the Gerard Anderson fight? And what? Did you yeah, think yo, of it? yo, you know what I think about him? To be honest, I I don't think he's nothing special. I don't think he's gonna go far. For me, yeah, he just he, don't, he, he don't got no power in my in my, in my opinion. And I ain't no loss, the people. To be honest, yeah, he don't have no power. He's got skills, but the thing is, this is a heavy division. You know, no no one cares about skills. It's all about that power, because yeah. it doesn't matter how how much skills you got. If you meet a guy that's got power and he hits you, it's nine yeah. night. This is not a welterweight. This is not lightweight. This is a heavyweight. You can't be messing about. You know what I mean? We've seen what happened to Tyson Fury when he fought uh, Deontay Wilder in the first fight. People said Deontay Wilder doesn't have no skills. But guess what? You know, he, he, he put Tyson Fury down twice. So, you know, you're, you need to have a power in this division. You've got people like Dubois that's got power in both hands. Mm -hmm. So, he's, he's the future in my opinion. But, I don't know. Gerard Anderson is only 20 years old. So, maybe he hasn't got his man strength. So, we will see what's going to happen. You know what I mean? But so far, yeah. it looks a bit worrying. Johnny, yeah, I you back. Yeah, I can't comment by the way on the on the on the fight because I didn't watch it. So uh, nah, I'm not. Nah, yeah, 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 okay. Hey, what's up? Nah. Tell hey, uh, these boys we said what's up. Tell them what's up, Tell them what's up. Tell them what's up. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, it was good. Yeah, it was good. What's good with it? Where's your mask at? <laughs> <laughs> no mask, no mask, man. That's it. People are people, right, people hey, forget about wearing the mask. I love you, my brother. But, my, hey. Salute, my brother. All right, we're gonna check out now. All right, my brother. All right, bro. <laughs> this guy's okay. All right, man. 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 All right,
I'm yeah, like, you never took your shot last night, bro. When we hit a hundred, bro, you said a hundred, and you gonna hit. Uh, now you uh, said that wasn't yesterday, bro. Yeah, well, they, you we never took, took it. We though. did took a shot. Tell you Guido, didn't... we all took. Yeah, a shot. we all did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, well, I I seen seen it. Shot today, bro. Yeah, well, apparently I took it. too many shots, so I don't remember that shit. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> oh but listen, your punch, your punch. How come yesterday yeah, yeah. you didn't send out the links in it? Like, I, uh, you know what I mean? Because I wanted to get in on H Money, but you kind of, you know what I mean? You you kind of kept it like family or something, you know what I mean? Yeah, man, I, fe- I, fe- I, I, I felt like the dude that he he went after and I've done, I've disrespected and talked about people's family and stuff like that. I think they had a just do to go at him. That's why I opened up, so... I, I don't know that you ever had a problem with him. If you would have been like, yo, my man, he did a video about me. You know what? Can you let me in so I could cook on him? I made a video about him a long time ago. Oh, I don't know. Like, remember, remember, we... Uh, about I, when months we, ago. We just, we just, I, I just, I just met you, remember, the other day. Like, like, when was it? The, uh, uh, like, three weeks ago or a month ago. You feel me? Yeah. So, I, 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 to be honest, I don't know people's beef like that. I don't, I don't know. Nah, if you would have told me H- that, money, I'd be like, yo, No one man. likes him. No one likes H money. Like, of course, honest. nobody like him. Who who no would one. who would like him, bro? That I never understood that. Like, who would he, like him? The thing is, though, H money is one of those type of people. Yeah, he used to he used he to take the piss up all day. He used to take the piss out of the LDBC for for like a year, and then about <laughs> three months ago, three months ago, he started saying like, "Oh, I'm sorry, forgive me," and then basically like now they kind of forgave him. But the thing is, a lot of people in the LDBC still don't like him. And they still say fuck like H them. money. They don't want to chat to him. But some people don't even know about what he done to, uh, to the LDBC. That's why, like, they rock with him. But if they find Look. out what he's really like, they're not gonna rock with him. This guy okay. is literally a loner. Can you send them? Can you send them the video? Then send them the video because I don't, I don't, I don't know nobody really from the from. Oh, how from... how do you send? Uh, can you send it by email? I can't send it by email. I don't know. I just send it by. Hey, get my, Twitter. Get my Twitter. Get my Twitter. Get my Twitter. Get my Twitter. I send What's it through Twitter? Twitter. Mr. Moonshine. Mr. Moonshine 10. Uh, have you put it on your Twitter? Oh, you, could just tag him. you know he's seen that. You know he's seen that video already. I haven't seen it. No, no, no. I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it. Honestly, I haven't seen it. No, it's right there. You saw it. I just showed it. No, I mean. but obviously, like, you know, uh, we want to see everything in it so then people know what, what we're dealing with in it. Oh, nah. That's the whole video right there. That's we want to know video. what we're dealing with because that could be like, you know, um, I don't know, like, cause that looks like uh, people can say that, like, oh, that's been edited and all that sort of stuff in it. Nah, that's all. The, that's the whole video right there, brother. That's the whole video. No justification there. No justification for H. And the thing is, though, like how they like kept that guy well, on there as well. Hey, hey, put it this. That... Put, put it this way, there, Pete. Put it this way. I'm gonna give it. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna tell. If it wasn't, if it was just something that was just. Nothing, and it was just something that was real fast. Why did he delete the the video? Wow! They're not gonna flag you for for a two seconds something. No, no, they wouldn't, man. Especially wouldn't. In, a, in like a two hour, three hour stream. Really? Nah. That was embarrassing, and the, and the, the way they were looking, especially the guy next to him and H Money, like they Gosh were like, they were like, <laughs> they were like happy. They, yeah, they were like, they were like, wow. They never seen something like that before in their life. Like hey, gusto. <laughs> disgusting behavior, man. Disgusting behavior. Yeah, yeah. See, I, I like, I like this. I like this. Willie Rivera. He said, "Punch, you represent a guy. You need to be a better sample." Punch. I, 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 I speak of. I speak highly about God. God is the greatest, but also God. We're, we, 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 we are uh, an extension of God. We have God's image. And God always showed his wrath. And if you read the Bible, he showed you how many times that God showed his wrath. Now I'm an image of God and I'm showing the wrath. Once you cross me and once you cross <clears throat> God, he'll show you his wrath. You, you feel mm. me, Willie Rivera? Mm. Like for an eye. It's all fun and games. It's all fun and games, Willie. You feel me? What up, what up Black and Brown? Oh, shit. What's what up, up? B? What up, Glenn? What up, Jose? What's up, Guido? What's up, Pete? Yeah. What's up, Black and Brown? What are you saying, yeah. bro? Oh, good. Chilling, homie. You know. Yeah, bro. Hey, man, it's all it's all fun. The games in the in the YouTube community, in the YouTube boxing community. You got little hoes like Jose Camacho's old bitch ass coming on live streams. Uh, young guy. Hey, is it just me or is Jose Camacho the biggest little pussy on YouTube right now? Is it just me, bro? Whenever I hear Jose Camacho's voice, I'm like, this motherfucker is. is 
in his car somewhere all by himself on these fucking live streams. Like a little pussy, scared little bitch to come out his fucking uh, <laughs> uh, little hall he's living in. Jose Camacho, I wish you would show your face one day and let it be known where the fuck you're at, you little scary pussy. Damn, I'm gonna have to change my I'm gonna have to change my name. <laughs> yeah, he got you out here looking bad. All these motherfuckers got, got the Mexican. He got the, he got the Jose's looking, looking bad. bad, as you try to say. <laughs> you got Jose's looking bad. You got Kama- You got uh, the whole Mexicans looking bad. This shit is trash, bro. These fools are trash. Show your fucking face, pussy. Just the rock with the Yepes with my last name. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, his is his, his whole sway, though, and, and, and don't get me wrong, I, I just don't know him personally, but I've, I've seen him talk a shit where I didn't, like, I, I felt like uh, he was dick riding or whatever, but I never had no personal shit, so I haven't said nothing to him yet. Uh, I, I was, like, kind of holding back when he was talking earlier because he was going at um, somebody earlier. I don't even remember right now, but... He was going uh, he at was, Johnny Boy, but he was going yeah, at yeah, Johnny Boy. Yeah, yeah, he was going at been, Johnny Boy, yeah, yeah, sucking, yeah, yeah, you're right. He's been yeah. sucking Johnny Boy's dick for the last eight months on this motherfucker. He's been sucking dick on YouTube for the last eight months. And now he now they got a little crew, right? Now 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 the trolls feel safe. They got a home to go to. They can all team up together and they feel safe with each other like some hoes, right? So now Jose Camacho and L Dog, now these troll ass bitches, now they got a home to go to. Right? Where they can yeah, all yeah. hide in the same hole together. You know what I mean? Like some fucking yeah. uh like some fucking meerkats. This is all, all fucking meerkat manner over there. Oh sorry motherfuckers, scared to come outside. Yeah. It's like seven of them with, with like 150 subscribers, and they or just seven of them. You know what I mean? They're scared to <laughs> because, come outside, because, because, because they keep that. Uh, it's all of just all 150 subscribers are just those seven using their fake They're accounts. Scared to come outside. Yeah. Scared to come outside. We're gonna see which one of the MXBC members is the first one to hit one of these live events. And when, show when the fans face. are allowed back, when fans are allowed back in the events, we're gonna see which one of these sorry, scary motherfuckers hit one of these live events. <laughs> Yo, man, man, man. Ah, uh, this is getting. What's up, Raider? Raider, Yo, what's up, Raider? Raider. Yo, what's up? What's up? What's cracking, my boys? How's it going? What's what up, Raider? Hey, no one ever let. Hey, no one ever let you Raider? talk, Raider. No one ever lets Raider talk, man. Let me ask the Raider a question then. Yo, what you feel about the the stoppage? What you feel about the stoppage? Uh, yeah, I, I thought that um, Herring didn't want to fight. Um, he said his eye, he couldn't see, but I, I didn't see any swelling, you know, like that would uh, block his sight, you know what I mean? I, I, I just think he didn't want to fight, you know, for whatever reason. So, I, yeah, I, th- I, th- I thought he quit. I, I, I mean, yeah, like if I want to justify it, man, I don't think that it's not that he didn't want to fight. I think he just didn't want to get headbutted no more. But... This is what I'm gonna say. Yeah, it was her butts, but it was the type of it was a it was an ugly fight that the ref let that style happen. So once the ref, because he's the one that controls the the, the, the bout, he's the one that controls, he's the controller. There, if the ref is not saying nothing, because when the bell rang after that, la- the ref ain't saying nothing. There it was, it, it was um her ring and and and, and Bomac and the doctor. And he's telling the doctor, like, if, if you, you're you not going to stop it. He's telling the doctor, like, yo, you're not going to stop it. Like, he want the doctor to stop it. He's begging yeah. for it. And, and you, yeah, already saw, you already heard the post-fight interview. that, that he, he he said it right there. He said it all. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. He didn't want to fight no more. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm, if he, if he, if he was mean? winning that fight, he would have kept fighting. Yo, I, uh, if I was, if I, if I was um, their team... I don't know. I don't know who's the promoter of the of that other team of Jonathan's team. I would. I would. What you call it? Um. What's the word? What's the word? Challenge it. I would challenge it, and I think he'll win. He'll win because there's no way that that fight ends in a disqualification. There's it wasn't no a problem until he started losing rounds. Once he started losing rounds, it became a problem. Yeah. But the thing is, they ended the fight and disqualified. They disqualified him. The ref never disqualified him. Who disqualified him? Yeah. The ref yeah, didn't disqualify of, him. There was a lot of funky stuff. You know what I mean? There was that, no... That head that, in, order to, in order for it, it to be a disqualification, I, I think the ref has to disqualify him. And then, and he never did, right? He's talking about that he... Uh, it was an intentional headbutt, but that was like in the fifth round. But they still let him fight. I don't know. Raider, did he call it? Kind of 
Not well, Raider. He, did he call it? Did he call it illegal headbutt at the time? Nope. Uh, well, I think it, it was in between rounds, right? Where he said uh, one point they were going to take one point away that it was intentional. I, I was hearing when he was talking to the referees. Oh yeah, see, I didn't see that. Yeah, but that, but that, but that was that was in, in what two, three rounds before that. Exactly. He never, that was, that he, was like never, he never even thing. took a point. You thought you heard when the commissioner told them, "Oh, you should have taken." Like he said, "Oh, that would have been a point." When he's asking the commissioner what to do, the commissioner just sanctioned the fucking fight. What are you asking him for? You're the fucking ref. You are Tony Weeks. Now you acting like you don't even know the rules or what to do. That shit was crazy. That shit was crazy, and especially coming from a veteran ref like Tony Weeks. Yeah, um, and that's what, and ultimately, that's my hey, what's up, everybody? Um, yeah. Smokey what's Smoke, good, what's good? What's good, DTS? Yeah, yeah, so what's right, up? So what's that's up? My, my, what's that's up what, what I was gonna come in and on, uh, is and still, and justice was served. Like, my man came in from round one with a third oh. glove in there, like, acting like it's all good, like you're in the soccer match. Like, come on, man, like, uh, like everyone talks about how. Mike Tyson bit a Vander Holyfield's ear because of Vander Holyfield was headbutting. He didn't do that, right? So, it, 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 as far as I'm concerned, the outcome what, what is the, the right outcome happened. It's just sad that the corner had to force the ref's hand to make it happen. And you can say whatever the hell you want about uh, Jamel Herring, but you're not supposed to get your, your whole career headbutted apart. Like, talk to Jamel, talk to uh, Gerald McClellan. See if see what happens. The effects of a headbutt. You, you might see that. You might get the, hear the opening bell and never walk again. Yo, but 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 smoke. Do you were you, were you listening to me on the on the live commentary? You or you was watching the fight? Like I, I did both. Cause from the cause so I've been calling it that it's been a dirty fight throughout the whole fight, right? But Since, I'm not talking about a dirty fight. I'm talking about something specific. Like the, all right, no, no, but all right. So there, there's headbutts, right? Cool. I'm not talking about that. I'm, I'm not. It's really in a, It's really. It's really not about the headbutts. It's about the call. If the ref is not is making is because some ref they'll break you up. You're clinching. They break you up. They don't let they. So they dictate the the, the pace of the fight. Tony Weeks dictated that this is a dirty fight and I'm gonna let shit rock. Tony Weeks is Tony Weeks fault that he didn't take points. It's Tony Weeks' fault that he didn't disqualify him. That's the problem. That, that, that's fine, but there's, you there's, just there's, so so think about this. So, so you, you can so, point the finger at Tony Weeks. That doesn't mean that now uh, Herring needs to sacrifice his health because Tony Weeks don't know what the fuck he's doing. Hey, but that's but but that's that's not up to not that, that's not but up to her. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. There's checks and balances. It's not, it, uh, Weeks is not the only guy that can stop a fight. A doctor can stop a fight. The commission can stop a fight. Okay, he's not the only guy. Right, so if you see a guy who's clearly incompetent and it's threatening fighter safety, it's not like, hey, you know, let it rock. This is not like jailhouse rules. These are civilized guys. When who does need to go home to their families? When does the when does the commissioner comes and stop the fight? What 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 fight did the commissioner comes in and stop the fight? Well, I'll tell you, regardless of whether they stop the fight, but they've overturned decisions in fights. Right, the commission is one of the is one of the bodies that has the final say on the results of a fight. That's my point. Like whether or not they've come in and stopped fights before, but, you know, off the top of my head, I can't think of one. But that doesn't mean I haven't watched it before. You know, I haven't seen it before. Did they? Did they? The did they stop this fight though? I don't even think they stopped this fight. Yo, they didn't yeah. stop. The, yo, they didn't stop the fight. The it was no disqual. They they just came out that shit off their ass. Disqualification. Right. That, when I, and what I'm saying is, it's the right call, and it should have been done by the ref. It is, it's not, it's not the, the right, right call. Nobody smoke. Is saying, nobody is saying that Yo, Smoke, oh, pick up your mic. I can't hear you. You, you. you sound low, nobody, brother. Nobody's making the argument that the guy was headbutting his whole fucking life apart. Nobody was making this argument, right? So really what should have happened was the ref should have done something. But because the ref didn't do anything, doesn't mean, hey, just let it go. That was but not... Yo, that, I've seen way more dirty fights than that. That fight was not even that dirty to, to say, like, oh... The fight should have been stopped by the referee a long time ago. That was just a nice little, you know, backyard brawl. There wasn't nothing wrong with that fight. Jamal Herring should have showed more boxing skills and box exactly. circles around that dude. Exactly. I don't understand. Exactly. I don't understand this new outlook on boxing matches where you're like, oh, it's too physical. No, the dude's getting too physical with him. 
I don't understand this new outlook on boxing. Hell no, hell no. That's certainly not my no, point. I, that's certainly not my point. I don't care about physical. I don't care about physical. I care about headbutts. I was very specific in what I'm talking about. Well, a second you said no. A second ago, you also history, said grabbing and, and the history of you also and, and said what holding. Happened, and what happens when you let and what you have what happens when you let headbutts continuously go? And the other fighters, the way they can retaliate, and then also if there is no retaliation, what that can mean to the long term health of of the fighter, right? That's what I'm coming from. Yo, who, the, the, Tony Weeks. Tony Weeks was in. The, wasn't he in the same fight with Badu Jack when he had that cut and there was he, uh, there was headbutts on that fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. He let my Don and now on Floyd Mayweather. That's Tony Weeks. Well, but but then that's what I'm saying. There's some ref that would let the rough shit go, and then there's some other refs that won't let the shit go. All I'm saying is, as yeah, a fighter, yeah. every great fighter ha goes through that. Every fighter yeah. gets that opponent that's gonna be very very rugged. If the ref let that pace, then that's 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 the way of the fight. It is Jamal Herring, which which is hold on hold on. There is is Jamal is Jamal Herring. Which have the better the better skill set. Well, I, what I was saying throughout the whole fight, y'all was listening. I said, "Yo, yo, step back and, and and shoot that uppercut." And what he did when he when he said that, I was saying it for two rounds. He knocked him down. That's because I felt watching a fight that you need that you need to use your footwork and get some space and get some leverage. The thing is, in the last three rounds, he stopped doing that. He started he started fighting jo Joanne's fight, Jonathan's fight. He started fighting his fight. Hey, so, so, hey, so, 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 is one thing. Like Bernard Hopkins, Bernard Hopkins showed a rugged thing. Like maybe you throw a head button there, maybe it'd be a low blow, maybe you, you catch an elbow, but he mix it would be a mix. Yo, smoke, yo, smoke. Put up your mic, bro, because I, I want to respond to you, but I can't hear make out everything that you're saying. Yeah, yeah, smoke. Your mic is like real low, like it's, like you like my phone. A lot of head butts in there, and that's. Yeah, but I didn't see one that even looked intentional. All, all, all I'm saying is repeat, repeated headbutts is not cool. Uh, not, it's it's not cool. World, it's intentional, world though. Sports. Accidental headbutts and intentional headbutts are two different things, man. Right. I mean, you should, you you should at least have a fair warning. Headbutt. You should at least have a fair blame. warning of when the fight is about to end, too. Like, you can't know what I mean? blame like, one person just because the other person gets the worst of the headbutt. <laughs> it's not automatically the other yeah, person's I, I, fault. I don't care about that. They're both I, equally at fault. Unintentional clash of heads is not the issue. What I'm talking about is using your head like it's a third glove. Like I said, repeated headbutts, intentional. That was my issue. That is know. literally my issue. Just, just because, just because Harry got pocket. the worst of it. I'm not him. about to. I'm not about to. I'm, I'm not about, just because Tony Weeks wasn't on his p's and q's, and that, and he has a propensity to do that over time, and he's old as shit. For it, like whatever. I, 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 that's I how mean, boxing works, though. Hey, that's I how don't, boxing works, though. But get this smoke. The ref has to warn him. I don't hey, can I say? Can I bring up one no, thing to you? Took, he actually took a point away. For Jojo, hey, hey, get the smoke. Can I bring up one fight? Jojo Diaz, Tevin Farmer. Jojo Diaz got a, hit, a cut, a horrible cut, ten times worse than the cut we've seen Hell tonight yeah. from a headbutt, and he fought through it. Uh, he got that cut uh, in the okay. second I, round. Yeah. He got that cut I, I, in the you, second you round, and he fought through it. To something else. That's a oh, great point, Black and That's a great point. Don't cut him off. Am I not speaking English? Repeat smoke, smoke, hold on, hold on. You gotta listen to everybody else. Smoke, you listen to everybody they, else. They, 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 I am listening to him. He's asking me specifically. He, he's no, no, he's about explaining. A gas. I'm not talking about a gas. I'm not talking hold about on. a cut. I'm, I'm, I'm not on, talking about hold on, I'm from a headbutt. From a headbutt. Head 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 smoke, relax. Relax. Let him. Because I want to hear what he's gonna say. Sorry. It can't. That that fight. That cut came from a headbutt. In the second round in the fight, and Jojo Diaz never asked for the doctor to come look at it. He never told the doctor, "I can't fight no more." It was never a question. It never got. It get, never got to the doctor's point because Jojo Diaz didn't let it get to that point. He fought through it without a problem. Okay. okay. Accidental yeah. headbutt uh, is an accidental uh, headbutt. Uh, right. Hold on. Let, let, let others. And, and, let, and, let, and, let, and, ahead, and a repeated intentional headbutt is not what is not that. So what are we talking about? That's not what we saw tonight. That's not what that we saw. That is exactly tonight. what we saw tonight. That's why he got a point deducted for doing it. All right, but he just, it just got one point. That's it. It, it wasn't that, a constant no, it, point. it wasn't that. No, that was earlier in the fight. Before intentional head, like what, 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 the, what I'm saying is black and brown's description is not shared even by the ref that you guys are saying, let the fight go. Even that ref who let it go said this dude is intentionally headbutting. Yeah, but the thing is, is, is once you... Look, we saw what we saw, but then we hear, we listen to what um, her, um Herring said. And he said, 
what he said about him and his team. That they he wanted to what, stop no, it. Said so that he means when he team. wanted to stop it, he quit, bro. He quit. He said no, he said his team was wasn't gonna let it go. And that's what a team is for to protect their fighter. When it, when and it, they when quit, they quit on them. They quit on them. Okay. They didn't if, believe if, in his boxing say, skills if, that he could that he could that if you say quit on him, you can say all that. What all I'm saying is, and still. And he doesn't have to go through getting his head butted and his whole life head butted apart. Because for some reason, you guys don't think it's intentional, and he just needs. What to you think, World Combat Sports? What you think about that? It was disappointing, to be honest. You know, he's a U.S. Marine like myself. I just think he bailed out. Like the guy mentioned about Giorgio Diaz, his cut was way more deeper and intrusive than Jamel Herring. And I don't know why Jamel Herring quit. I don't know why his team would want him out of there when, when freaking Steven Nelson, he was bleeding. You know what I'm saying? They weren't running in there to try to stop that bout. But the guy was headbutt intentionally. I understand that. But I didn't think the damage was too much to the point where Jamel should have quit the fight. I, and do you I, think, though, do you that, think, though, that uh, somebody at least should have gotten more? Hold on, bro. Hold hold on, bro. I started talking first. Hold on one second, bro. Smoke, I'm going to let you talk. Uh, but uh, just a response to that, do, do you think, though, um, that uh, there should have at least from the ref's point, like what we're used to seeing in boxing, there should have been a, a warning of disqualification if it came to that. Absolutely. Tony Week's been around for the longest of time. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's a vet. He's one of my favorites. You know what I mean? He's experienced. He should have he called it. I don't know what he yeah. done in the bubble. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's all I wanted to say. Go ahead, Smoke. Uh, I'll, I'll go. I'll go. Hey, hold on. Hey, hold on. 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 All right, so check it out. So I think the way the the fight was stopped was wasn't right, right? So what happened is, I guess they went back to the end of the round happened, and they went back, and I, I don't think uh, this fool wanted to fight anymore. So they called the doctor over. The doctor comes over and lo looks at the eye, examines it, and he said, "You know what? It's good." And then they're yeah. looking at each other like, like, "Well, you know, well, uh, well, I can't see. Yeah, you know, I, I can't see." And then he goes, "Well, I mean." The doctor looks at him, but like, okay, well, you can't see. I mean, you can't see, but uh, he he's not gonna stop the fight. The doctor didn't want to stop the fight because he felt that he was good enough to go. So then they had to go over there and they had to make something up, and that's when they made up the disqualification because Tony Weeks never disqualified him, right? Just like Spunk said, there's many ways to stop the fight, but the referee, I, I believe, is the only one that can stop it from disqualification, yeah. right? And, and he never got disqualified. Exactly. I mean, I, and, and, I don't, I don't, intentional, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, intentional uh, head bun, I think was like in the fifth round, so the problem is, is that he, he let them, he let them keep fighting, you know what I mean, and once yeah. they, once the fight, once uh, he said that he couldn't see no more, right, they had to make something up where it, it, it was, they had to stop the fight, because the doctor doesn't want to stop the fight, Herring, they didn't want to fight. He, he would have lost his belt. He yep. said, if you can't continue, well, I mean, well, I mean, you're going to lose your belt. Yep. So, yep. They, they, so come on. It's, it's like there's there's some They had a whole there. conversation. They had a whole yeah. conversation. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I and, think and that, basically you know. Basically, they're saying that basically they ruled correctly that the eye, whatever damage the eye sustained was from an intentional head. They ruled. They ruled that they need that fight to be kept alive with Frampton. That was that. That was their rule. Oh yeah, definitely. Like if you want to talk about corruption, sure. It definitely the the house guy and the favorite dude got his got the nod. But really, that guy shouldn't have been taking that kind of damage. He shouldn't have been getting head. He, like no guy deserves to have his his career headbutted apart. Like that's yeah. I agree. Not, I agree like, with that. It, 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 I, it, I agree it, it, with that. Cool. Like I said, if if, if you were, if you can mix it up. You know, throw a headbutt in there and you go, you know, go around, but not like continuously intentional headbutt. Like, come on, man, stop that. Yeah, he could, he could, he could have handled that pressure over time. Like he was trying to, he was trying to do it, but then when he got to, he said to himself, he's be like, damn, I'm gonna go with this for three, four more rounds of 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 this pressure, and then he's not getting out the way. I I think it has to be some type of skills, man. Hey, Flo Mayweather been through all that. He been through that that with Zab Judah and and, and the way he went. Victor and, Ortiz. And, and he went through that. He went a lot. Yo, all great fighters have that have that have that type of fight. All great fighters. That's their one opponent. No, the, 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 
Judah fight, uh, the Zab Judah fight got uh, Roger Mayweather disqualified for a year and a half. Like it was a brawl in the ring behind that. Like that was, I mean, I will, I like, will say this: nothing did the sanction for stop the fight on that one? Roger sanction. Mayweather swung on somebody though. No, I'm saying like they had to, <laughs> they had to, shut, they had to yeah. shut it down for a second. And Roger threw one of the coldest right hands. I was like, "Go ahead, Uncle!" Like it was Anzi had Zab Judah's dad was in the corner. Listen, all I'm saying is, once that stuff kind of stuff happens, usually there's some kind of reaction. Like it's cool that he got a point taken away, and what whatever, like. Whatever the corner had to say about it, the way it ended, yeah, I, I, I don't like it. But I also, for, for me, I err on fighter caution. I'm not that, I wasn't that big on Jamel Herring. I certainly wasn't big on the way Akendo fought. But, yeah, those last three rounds seemed like the pressure was getting to him. But the pressure would get to, I, I don't expect for a guy to have to deal with that, to contend with that. Not, I actually not feel Eddie. sorry, like bro. I, said, I actually, Like I said. I, like I said, I saw I saw Mike Tyson take a like he maimed a Vander Holyfield. To this day, you can see a Vander Holyfield walking around with a chunk missing from his body behind some headbutts like that. Yo, I just I my 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 own opinion, and this is, goes beyond boxing. Like me, like I said, man, I got an American flag tattoo on my neck. I'm patriotic, yo. I love the men and women that fight for this country. Man, I shake their hands when I see them. I love the veterans. I love the fighters. I love the people that serve. So me, from her, from Harry doing what he did, I just, I just wouldn't imagine a Marine doing that, a Marine quitting. I wouldn't imagine that. But th that's just my opinion. You know, that's just my my opinion. You could say I'm heavily critical on that one. I just couldn't imagine. Uh, I couldn't imagine. Uh, yeah, a man. Like it, it's 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 one thing if you get if you get busted in the eye. If it's an unintentional headbutt or, it's a, you know, you just get hurt through the course of a fight. It's another thing if a dude is intentionally headbutting you, now you can't fucking see. And this dude, and the ref seems to be letting it go. Well, right. I'm going to have to go back and watch because I want to see these intentional headbutts that you're being able to see and, and call them intentional just from... The seat of your uh, seat of your Man, couch at home during the during the fight, dude. He was he was leaning with his head. If your head is in front of your gloves or in front of your feet, you know what that is. That's lean. That's called leaning with your head. It's a foul. On the head bunk that busted his eye open, I seen both heads moving forward together. I seen Jamal Herring's no, I'm, head I'm, I'm moving forward. The, I'm talking about the I'm talking about the style in which that guy fought and the style in which they like he was leading with his head throughout the course of the fight. Well, there's a I couple mean, of players that do that right there. That's what, that's, what that's, what that's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. That's what I was about to say. There's a couple of fighters that do that right now. But my whole thing, uh, Smoke, the whole thing that I'm trying to say, me, from my perspective, because I didn't watch the fight. I was watching Punch Call It. And I remember at the end, of, he, he was even saying that, yo, this guy's fighting dirty. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, but, but they're not calling it. He's letting them fight, this and this and that. And then at the end of the fight, he even said, yo, Damn, this is taking too long. This is weird. I think they're trying to set him up right now. You know what I'm saying? And then what happened? He got robbed. Why he get robbed? The reason it's a robbery is because the ref is the one that's supposed to disqualify. You're supposed to get a warning of it. Yo, if you do that again, I might disqualify you. The ref never said that. The ref never even called it a disqualification. That is the problem here. Yeah. What's up, Carlo? What's good, my right. brother? So, so again, again, it, it, you know, we'll get the details and then smoke. But smoke, try to try, try, try to step out and come it, back because your, your connection it, is horrible, bro. Intentional headbutt. Oh, sorry. Um, if an injury is it is it occurs from a from from a uh, from a from an illegal headbutt, right? If they say that the injury is caused by that. It's a disqualification. Yeah, the yeah. Ref has to call it, my friend. Hey, no, my, my, thing is, my, 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 Mike, my thing is, my 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 is if the referee is the closest one to the fight, right? How can how can he didn't give any warnings if he's he's right there? You know what I mean? Man, this was a yeah. This, I didn't I, he, I didn't see that so, head button be called so illegal. That was that's my he, only it, thing. So that means he didn't see any intentional head butts. He allowed he allowed a rugged fight, and I was saying throughout the throughout the lot throughout the live commentary, if the ref allows it, 
uh, the ref could dictate a pace of the fight or the style of the fight, just as the as as the fighters. You know, the ref. Hey, that's Tony Weeks, and you know he let he let ruggedness. He probably didn't feel like he was intentionally headbutting him. He was just a rough dude coming forward. The dude was sloppy, but it takes a dude with the technique to neutralize that sloppiness. And in the last three rounds, J J um, Jamal, Jamal Herring, Herring didn't just, he, he, he couldn't neutralize it anymore. That's it. And he won, and, and the ESPN telecast had him winning them last two rounds. Yeah. Um, and punch. It. And I okay, want to say yeah, this. Yeah, I, I, I hear, hold I, I hear what you're no, saying. Hold on, hold on. But there's guys who wrote it, their head all the way to uh, the championship and multiple title defenses. So, yeah. Um, the style that you're talking about, it takes it, it took a Hall of Famer to get some of these guys out, out of there. And you hope Maul Herring ain't that. Yeah, Burchell, I think, will destroy Herring now. I was but, just about to know, say that. Point. I was about to bring that up. I was going to bring up Miguel Burchell. Well, he, he's not too, ready for you, that. You were, you were, he you is not late. ready for you Burchell. Were, you, were, you, you were a tattoo late, Guido. I'm just playing with you. <laughs> actually, yeah, actually, on, Raider, he, he actually, he actually, he actually uh, uh, put that in the comments section. If you rewatch the whole video, he put it there after the fight. Oh, uh, I'm on my phone. I can't, I can't see the comments. <laughs> I had to call you out on that one. No, nah, no. Nah, <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the only thing that could keep him alive from 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 the masses calling him a quitter is the ESPN machine. Well, shit, that Timothy PR, Bradley that, that, and that, that, Timothy that Bradley was already all that, over him. Hey, 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 hey Timothy Bradley was already all over. Hey, hey, oh, I didn't know, you, know, the thing I couldn't listen, you know, because because I, I, you know, I turned the volume oh, yeah. down, so I couldn't listen to to what they were oh, saying. Oh yeah, Timothy Bradley was uh, was already all over him, bro. Before it was even over. Hey, but what about uh Jojo Dia, Jojo versus Harry? Oh yeah, T yeah, Tim Bradley would be. Tim, oh. do you see? You remember Tim Be Tim Bradley, Devin Alexander fight, Battle of the Skulls. <laughs> Hey, look at look at Manny Pacquiao and Jeff Horn. He fought through it, but that wasn't the ones that again. When you mix it up, it's a little bit different. Remember Andrew Galata, right? Right. Um, but all he did was straight nut punch. Right. That's no good. Disqualification. But you take a but you take a guy like um, Bernard Hopkins. Right. He'll elbow you. He'll headbutt you. He hits you low. He'd mix it up. Take an, uh, take Orlando Salido against Lomachenko. You mix it up. Switch hands. R rough him up. Th that, those are rough fights. If you're just going to yeah. continually headbutt a dude, that is not just a rough fight. That's just you headbutting a dude over and over again. And if nah. I didn't see that, that, though. But I didn't see that tonight. That. I'm going to go back and watch. That's nah, not what I've seen. I don't. I, I feel like he was coming forward in the midst of that. He's headbutting you, but I don't think he's in time. He, he just wanted to be rough, and he just – he was sloppy. He was sloppy, but – Yo, if a veteran referee that's that's been in elite fights, that been in dirty fights, that been in clean fights, come on, he didn't see. Yo, let's get everybody talking uh, equally though. You know what I mean? Like, like I haven't heard from. Uh, I, I know uh, uh, Carlo, man. Um, I, yo, I love you, Carlo. He just dropped off and he didn't even get a word in. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and we got a uh, World Combat Sports. Like, I, I would like to hear from everybody's perspective. There you go. Yo, Carlo, my my, my dude, I love you, bro. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> What's up, fellas? Say something before we all start talking, man. <laughs> Say something. Give an opinion. <laughs> you know, the fight kind of reminds me when, when Pacquiao versus Horn was fighting. You know how Horn was, like, dogging Pacquiao, you know, the headbutts? Yeah. Yeah. So, and then then you talked about how the referee kind of handle it. You know, when, when Pacquiao and Horn was fighting, you know how the referee just let it happen with the headbutt constantly with, with Horn. And then when Horn was fighting... Crawford, that referee was a little bit more different, right? There was not much, um, there was not much um, bullying from uh from Horn. So it's the same thing as the fight here. It kind of reminds me of that fight. The referee just let it happen, right? Hey. Um, yeah. it kind of has that mentality of if the referee allows it. I don't. I think there should be like a rule, like like more than even one headbutt should not even allowed in a sport because it's like that's dirty boxing now. It's still effective. It's still it's not fun to watch when the fighter get a hit headbutt a lot. If you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, but it's a yeah. it's a fight hand to hand combat. It's too hard to call an intentional or who is throwing the headbutt. But just by who's getting the worst of the headbutt doesn't mean it's intentional. It's yeah. too hard to call intentional or unintentional in the middle of a fight. 
And bro, that's a rough job. The rough bro, we, it, it's not that hard. Bro. Go ahead. Oh, like, go. These, these, these are these are professional fighters, and you know, when your head is above, and it's in front of your feet in the gloves. Like, it's not what? that hard. It's it's really not that hard. What well, the referee did not call an intentional headbutt tonight, and you and you're he sitting did, there call, saying that right, he, he keeps saying that he got a point deducted for doing it intentionally. Nah. I don't remember seeing an intentional headbutt point being taken, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go back and watch. Yeah, I didn't see it there either, and I was calling the fight. I didn't, Just, I didn't, I didn't see the ref. I didn't see the ref turn into the three judges and say one, one, one. I didn't see that. I thought he was about to, but I ain't see him though. He didn't. He didn't get to take a point off. Look at the scorecards. Look at the scorecards. There was let's, never a yeah, point let's, taken let's off. Let's see if it's hit. Let's see if it's hit box right here. Let's, let's check it out. Yeah, they never took. They I, I thought they was about to. They never took a point off. There was only one ten eight round. There was only one t- one ten eight round, and that was a, the round that he knocked him out. A point. punch. But was that the was that the official scorecard or was that somebody else's scorecard? No, I'm saying like let's say on on the ESPN, there was no 10-8 round except for the knockdown. Yeah, so we so gotta look at the official scorecards and see what that says because I, I don't I don't know if the ESPN counted it or not. You know, did they anybody see the, did anybody seen Tony Weeks go to the three to the three judges and and took a point now? Hold hold I hold. Think I, I think I did see that. I think I saw that. Let's see. Top Rank already released highlights. It's on the Top Rank uh, uh, YouTube channel, and they got the the head bump that cut Herring's eye. And you guys can watch it yourself. It, there's no way to call that intentional. There's just no fucking way he intentionally head bunted him. Uh, Herring is the one that's throwing the uppercut. Herring is the one that's coming forward as well. They're both throwing punches at the same time. To call that head bump intentional, I don't know, man. It's on. It's on uh, top rank boxing channel right now. It's already been released. Just the highlights. It's only a three minute video, and their the main part of their video is the headbutt in slow motion. Hmm. And like I said, the power of ESPN. They trying to highlight why. They're trying to make the story. Man, we saw what we saw. And we heard what we heard. Put it that way. Did you guys agree with that? Team Bradley was calling the fight. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. Um... I wasn't listening to it because I was doing the live comments. What part, Carlo? What part, Carlo? About Herring quitting? Yeah. Yeah, I agree. He was right on. In terms of what? Do you think because of the way he felt and how he saw the fight went or how, because of the boxer he just quit? No, well, this, this is my opinion. The cut was fine if he would have kept winning rounds, but he the momentum obviously was shifting in the fight. And um, I, I feel like Herring... Knew he had four more tough rounds left, and he wasn't going to knock the guy out, so it was going to go all 12, mm-hmm. and it was going to be close at the end. Yep. So they wanted to get out of there and use that headbutt to their advantage. Yep. But, I mean, to me, it's not a big deal. I mean, to me, it just, uh, you know, Herring got exposed. You put Herring in there. To me, uh, my question is, who's going to take Herring's belt? Are they going to give it to Shakur? Are they going to give it to JoJo? That that belt's gonna change change well, hands. Soon. Well, before yes, before so. before we answer that question, before to answer that question, I do think that we should take it serious. The only reason we're not taking it serious is because we didn't expect nothing from his opponent. That's not fair right. either. Can't look like because we this guy don't you know he doesn't get the, the the investment back up or whatever. We're not looking for him to move on. That they could just play anybody, you know? Because if it was a champion, if it, if it was an if it was Shakur Stevenson. You think they'll stop the fight? Hell no. No. Hey yo, hey yo, punch. I put a, I put a link in the, in the uh, private chat. It's for uh, the official scorecards. If you wanna, if you wanna put it up. Yeah, it says. I that, think, um, that I think for the, Tony Week. It says that the official cause in the, on box rack is disqualification for repeated intentional headbutt. No, no, no I'm, I'm talking about if he wants to see if there was a point deducted. I have oh, the right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you yeah. was gonna say, World Combat? What you was gonna say? I said, I think with Tony Weeks, man, his uh he may be a bit desensitized from the fight with Bobby Jack and Marcus Brown. That was one of the bloodiest fights that mm-hmm. he's been a part of. Yep. And that I was there. Was and that fight wasn't stopped. Exactly. Exactly. Let's just call it let, let's just be real. He said in his post fight interview, he said it himself. 
he that's it. He he, he quit. Would you guys mind seeing this rematch? Would you just want to see this rematch? I wouldn't. I, would, I, would. I, I want to see Roly and, and, and Marina as before I see this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's get on with it. Robert. Let's get on with it. Whoever's gonna whoever Herring's gonna unify with, let's get on with it. I don't need to see this fight again. You can put Damn, a window dude, in there with, the, with somebody the, else. The fucking scorecards are trash, dude. My fault. I haven't even checked it out. Hold on. The whole Crazy. bubble is trash. Yo, dude, your part. Yeah, yo, what y'all what, 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 what think about the heavyweight? I, I, to be, I don't, I don't see, I don't see him as a, as a force to be reckoned with. I don't see. Man, him. he got he, he gassed out trying to knock him out in the second round. And Hernandez looked like that dude. He's just he's tough. He doesn't have any power, but he's he's durable a little bit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> durable enough. He doesn't have the stamina. Jared Anderson to keep just up. he showed like he was a five and zero fighter. You know what I'm saying? He got a long ways to go. Long ways to go. Yeah, he got a long way to go. Long way. I, I can't. He's so I, young. I, I wouldn't even put him up there with Kawanaki. Oh, hell Kawa- no. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. Yo, Punch, you know who I looked mean, impressive today? Ronald Robert got to see a fighter, Bam Rodriguez. Oh, Rodriguez. Yeah, Bam, 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 Rodriguez. Was on point. Bam Bam was on point today. Yeah, I felt yeah, sorry for him. Can I just... Hey, yeah. Can I ask you guys a question? Because I think all you guys in this panel, right, you guys are more knowledgeable about the sport than me. I'm kind of new, right? But guys, from just from since I've been around, Robert Garcia is the fucking man. I, he he does oh, the yeah. most, bro. He yeah, has man. the most fighters. All his <laughs> fighters come to fight. He's constantly just in the action. He's been in the bubble like eight times in in what three months, and he missed two bouts. Like this dude, Robert Garcia is the fucking man in this sport. Maybe you guys oh, yeah. can tell me more. I don't know. If I, if if I could respond. If I could respond first, I would say right now he looks like he's putting in um, way more work than anybody else. I would say uh, mm-hmm. prior to him, Freddie Roach, but then the GOAT to me is Emmanuel Stewart. You know what I mean? So so that that's that's the way I see it. Like, you know, but but I know you're not hey, talking about I, the GOAT, but for right now, I feel like he's putting in work though. I would love Can to I see, see a uh a Eddie Renoso versus Robert Garcia. Uh, fucking, hey, you I want me to tell you what fight? I'm gonna tell you what fight, Raider. It's the Hector Tara Hanara versus uh, um, Ryan Garcia fight. That's where it's at. Oh, that's a good uh, fight. damn. That's a good fight. That's crazy. That's I, crazy. I can... Robert Garcia got three lightweights over there that are flying under the radar that will give the other lightweights a run for their money. He got he got Hector T, right? Mm-hmm. He got he got uh, Jackson Marinas, Ma- Ma- uh, Marinas, and then he got the other kid that fought the other night. That fought, Franco. Uh, what that about Franco? Beat. Franco, where's he at? At 130? I think he's on flyweight. Franco's on flyweight. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Who's, my, I, who's the Maestro's oh. older brother? You know the Maestro? He had an older brother. Who's he? Maestro is, uh, isn't that fucking uh, the food that, that beat Danny Garcia? Yeah, Herrera. Yeah, Herrera. That's the Maestro. No, 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 not him. The guy who's fighting, the guy who's been fighting in the bubble. Oh, the my bad. Teacher. I know what he's talking about. Yeah. I forgot his yeah, name. I like yeah, Drake's I, older brother. Oh, that yeah, dude's yeah, older yeah. brother. He fought I, I last like, week, right? Yes, I like, he fought last I, week. I like Drake. I like Drake. I like Sergey Devichenko's trainer, Drake, and um, he used to train Daniel Jacobs. I like him as a trainer. Yo, yo question. Yeah, so I, re- I remember. I remember who I know who you're talking about now. Uh, uh, Black and Brown. Yeah, that was another uh, yeah. good master. He's another lightweight. He's another lightweight, right? And he beat Ryan Garcia three times in the amateurs. So I'm saying Robert Garcia got three lightweights over there that are flying under the radar that are that are gonna make some noise here in the next two years. And Buddy, I like Buddy. Uh, you know, yeah, I like that. I like that. I like, that. I like Nassim, man. Rest in peace, too, man. Uh, Nassim was good. Um, you know, because you didn't just get training. You you got training of uh, the soul. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't just training of the physical for boxing. It was training for your life. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I got you. Got to respect that. You know what I mean? Well, you know, a lot of people go to Joel Diaz gym too. I like Joel. Oh, yeah, too, you're right. Yeah. That's another good one. Joel yeah, knows his shit too. Yeah. Question, guys. What about do you guys? What do you rank Nacho Bearstein when it comes to co- uh, boxing coach? That man. I'm sorry, Carlo. Can you speak a little more loud, brother? <laughs> Nacho. He speak said, a little. Nacho Bearstein. Na- yeah. Nacho Bearstein. Nacho Bernstein, yes. Lots of fighters under him, right? Yeah, like, man. Yeah. Yeah. 
Is I it? think I think you are as good as your gym too, man. Because the gym is the sparring. You feel me? Is who you got in your gym. I think with Garcia is is his gym, man. The people he got in there, the guys that you could spar. You don't get no good sparring, man. It's, sparring is very very important. That that's what yeah, I'm man. Saying. All his that, fighters that, that's got why American boxing is what it is. The the, uh, the the sparring and the trainers. That that's what makes us the best in the world. Like everybody comes here for it because of it. You know the kind. I cannot hear smoke. I cannot hear you smoke. I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. But yeah, yeah. Um, I barely hear him, but I could hear. I could hear him, but he's like far as I can't hear shit. <laughs> so the upcoming this, fight, hey, you know, when it comes to when it comes to gone. Robert, one more thing, when it comes to Robert Garcia, even if his fighters don't win, they show tremendous heart and tremendous. Like um, a, a base, a fighting base, and you mix heart with that base that they bring, and um, I, I, his fighters are just a joy to watch, win or lose. Yeah, man. But you gotta also remember, man, his father's still in the gym. He might not be yeah, trained, but his father's still in the gym. That's 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 his his blueprint. And Peter's there too. Like he he's he just soaked that shit up. Peter, he yeah, soaked that the, shit yep. up too. You know what I mean? It's like Boo Boy. Even it's though like he talk Boy for Freddie Roach. Yeah, even though he talk a lot of shit, but it's true. He's young, but it's like Boo Boy for for, for Freddie Roach, man. Boo Boy it seemed like like he just came out of nothing and just became uh, Pacquiao's right hand man, and all of a sudden, like he became a great like a uh, trainer. Because even when he left uh, Freddie Roach's corner, Boo, Boo, Boo Boy was still there in the corner. You know what I mean? Hey, it's like Robert Garcia got some for you, somebody for you at almost any weight division. Like whatever weight division you want, he got somebody for you. That's true. Probably not heavyweights. <laughs> Probably once you get up into the light heavyweights, I don't see many heavyweights in his gym. But when it comes to the little guys, bro, he got somebody for you. Yeah, that's hey, Black he and Brown, I want to ask you. Hey, Black and Brown, if you hear him, uh, Fernando Vargas, he got his three sons. They, I heard they're making a lot of noise. They are making you think a lot he a good of trainer because he learned a lot from Robert Garcia and the Big G, you know? Yeah. He, he could did. become a great he trainer. Did. I think he can. I think he can. I think his young boys, they're doing the same thing the other young kids are doing. They're selling themselves on social media. And if you want my opinion, it's, it's the smartest thing for these kids to do. They're taking 25% yeah, yeah, yeah. of the business into their own hands. They're taking the promotion into their own hands. And uh, us older cats, we might not like to see them on social media, but it is what it is, and and they're promoting themselves like that. They're doing their own job. They're doing the work for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do y'all think about? Yeah, what do y'all think about? Um, Gary Russell Jr. accepting one point five million. That's a way better fight than the Crawford fight. Way better fight. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! What you think? Yeah. What you, what what you, what you think, Carlo? Yo, what you think about that? My bad. Uh, I mean, I like it. He's accepting, like, like you know, the video that you upload, like young fighters are testing themselves. Why not? Mm -hmm. Why not? It sets an example, right? I mean, one point five mil. If he wins this fight, he get more, right? Did he? Didn't he just price this up out at first? Didn't that's what they. That's yeah. that, That's that's what Haney said. That's that's what I was gonna say. Yeah, like I thought it was a statement by him accepting it because he was trying to explain. That look, the other shit was personal. I would have accepted, but but this was business. But oh, now y'all want to say I'm clout chasing? Fuck it, I'll take the offer. You know what I'm saying? That was a statement right there, and I like that about Gary Russell right now because you know what? At the end of the day, I feel like he just uh, you know, he's been slacking too much, taking one fight a year. You know, he got to show himself like that. Like he's getting old, man. Like he got to throw his hands already. You know what I mean? But but he only has that one loss. So so come on, man. Like 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 put it to you know. Put put everything uh to the forefront. Throw all your chips on the table. Go all in, and, and let's see what you could do. You know what I'm saying? Especially since they saying that Devin Haney's ducking every or everybody's ducking Evan, uh, Devin Haney. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, who, who, who can, can, and it shows that he really wants it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He took it because anybody, he really wanted the fight. You I don't know what think I'm anybody saying? here has Gary Russell winning, right? I mean, me? I, I, I got I got I got him competing. Ain't gonna be easy. Yeah, I, I got Haney. I don't. I don't. I, I, nah, I don't have. I, I don't think I got Haney on that one yet. I, I think it's I, I it's both of the, it, it's both guys' toughest opponent. It, it, yeah. Um, I, oh, go I ahead, Carlo. Go, go ahead, Carlo. I don't know his Carl. toughest opponent. Don't you think it was Lumachenko toughest his toughest opponent? 
Yep. And then, uh, nah, uh, Lomachenko yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Lomachenko I was think at least so. around. Lomachenko. At I least, know you don't like Lomachenko, got, Smoke, but no, come no, on. Oh, my God. Smoke, come anything, on, man. No, my, my point Smoke, is. keep it time, real, man. Come on. At, at, the time, at the time, that was a competitive fight. You thought it was could be 50 50. You don't think this is a 50 50 fight going in. You think Devin Haney is a favorite going in. Who? You, you already. You, like, when Loma, fought, when Loma fought Gary Russell Jr., people thought that was a good fight 50 50. Who's going to win the fight? Maybe Loma was a slight favorite. At this point, Smoke, I'll make, I'll make you a bet right Gary now. Russell Jr. to pick to beat Devin. Smoke, Hill. I'll make you a bet right now, bro. Um, I I don't know how Gary Russell is gonna translate to that weight division. Um, you know what I'm saying? But I'll make a fun bet with you for twenty bucks, bro. You want to bet right now that Gary Russell's not uh, gonna win? Um, no, nah, I'd I'd rather bet. It's twenty yeah, bucks, yeah, man. <laughs> Come on, man. No, it's only twenty bucks, bro. No, no, huh? no, I got it. You, you know oh, what you, you got? Know, even better than that. Are you, you taking me? You know, it's priceless. I, like, I don't but, believe in Devin Haney, so I, I, so so I'm gonna take Gary and I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him twenty dollars if 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 Haney wins, no, no, I'll give no, no, I'll give no. Smoke twenty dollars. Wait a minute, wait no, a minute. No, no, hey, I'll, I'll bet you, I'll I'll bet you, uh, I'll bet you Major Key. I'll bet you whatever you want. <laughs> all right, so so all right, so Smoke don't want to take it, right? Because I'm not gonna bet forty right now. Smoke, uh, you don't want to take it, right? I'll, I'll bet you a hundred bucks. No, I'll bet you something else. They're just not money. <laughs> he said a hundred. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll bet you 20, bro. I'll bet you 20. Let that punch record it right here, right now. I'll bet, I'll you, bet you 20, Raider. Right it's not money. All right, right? let's do it. Punch. I'm, I'm saying, bro, I'm not going to bring a got, kilo over the border for you, bro. Come on, man. Smoke. Come on. Come on. Yo, this is right. a Christian hey, channel. Is it, hey, is it a deal or no? Yeah, yeah. 20 Lock bucks? Yeah. All right, 20 bucks. I got Haney. All right. Lock All right. Done. No doubt. Yeah. I don't know. That's the. You know what? I think. I think. I think man is he got he got high he got a lot of potential, bro. Haney got a lot of potential, but just to say, I, I understand. To, to, I understand to, 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 to say just, just to say that I, that he gonna be Gary Russell Jr. I still haven't even seen him get fight anyone close to a Gary. That's Russell the Jr. point. That's the point. That's How why I'm gonna... happy if, to give away twenty dollars, bro. If if he if he wins, I'm happy to give away that twenty dollars points. You feel me? <laughs> well, hey, well, my, well, my opinion. I mean, and that goes for anybody I, I else. I think, I think he can yeah, catch Gary Russell. Raiders open for business. You guys, hey, you dude, guys what's up, Eldo? I mean, I mean, is, 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 he, is, is, is he is he faster than is he faster than Gary? Has he shown any better pedigree than Gary Russell Jr.? I punch, think he's when, better punch, in every punch, aspect of the sport than Gary. <laughs> every aspect of the sport: footwork, defense, his length, his speed, his power. Everything, every aspect of the sport, Gary, uh, uh, Devin Haney's better than Gary Russell Jr. In my opinion. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Hey, wow. Punch, punch. You wanna, you wanna I, bet me too or no? Are you good? I, I don't, I don't, I don't bet on sports. Look, look. Imagine All I right. would have bet on this fight. Yo, All right. Right. That goes for, that goes for anybody uh, yeah. else. Anybody else want that action? Let me know. I, 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 I how, how? I just know. I, I want to explain. How do you come with that conclusion? How does he got first everything all, better? How does he have all, everything? Okay, let me let me let no, me. No, let no, no, no. I'm you. saying out black. How does he have everything better than Gary Russell Jr.? Which opponent that you saw that he has better? Because if Gary when Gary Russell Jr. fights the type of opponents that Devin Haney fought, he gets him out of there. When he fights those well, type of opponents, they he make him look like like yo, they on way different level. Well, punch. This is what you have to understand. The 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 fights that you see Devin Haney fight, he's still a baby, bro. He's a baby, and he's fighting these fights, and he's getting these dudes out of here. Every fight, he's getting better, and he's getting better and bigger and stronger, and he's fighting at 135. Gary Russell's down at 125, 126, you know, doing what he does against – and Gary Russell's way older than Devin Haney. Yeah. So Devin Haney's doing what he's doing as a baby, and you see the, the steps that he's taking constantly getting better fight after fight. So, I mean – Yeah, but his, his opponents is not getting better fights after fights, though. His opponents is not getting better fights after fights. Well, his opponents were not absolute scrubs. And then, like, if we're if we're talking about these guys' opponents at, at the age, I mean, I, to me, I know that some of you guys break down their opponents, but I don't do that. An, an opponent is opponent unless he's a unless he's a, a pound for pound or he's a Hall of Famer. If he's not one of them, it, Gary Russell fought Vasily Lomachenko pound for pound. Yeah, I, I get that, and he lost. <laughs> I get that. But well, look, that was not look, easy to fight for Lomachenko. And he fought, he fought Jojo Diaz. Even, he beat Jojo mm -hmm. Diaz. Yeah, when, at, a, at a lower weight class, not at 135. 
That's yeah, true. That's what I said. I, I who's, who's Haney beating in, in 135? But that's what, it, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, I don't know how it translates. Mm-hmm. I, I prefaced my whole statement by saying I don't know how, how it translates when he moves up, but I'll be happy to give away $20 to Raider if I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But I just don't think that that pedigree is, is going to translate uh, in, in Haney's favor. If I'm wrong, I'll be happy to be wrong because I know Haney's going to be great at some point. But he was just about to fight Yuriokis Gamboa. Not even top 10, and that would have been his first top 20 opponent. You know what I'm saying? But now you're talking about a Gary Russell. Isn't he ranked like number six or something like that or, or somewhere around there? You know what I mean? Like, he, he's up there, you know, and he fought Vasily Lomachenko. So, you know, that, that's, that's going to translate to something in the ring. Um, My man just wanted to fight another pound for pound dude in the name of Terrence Crawford. And everybody was like, oh, this dude's crazy. No, I'm and not. Look, he's fighting Haney, you know what I mean? Good looking out, um, good looking out, um, by, um, Mexican fight fan, yo. It's a great I don't know, man. I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I, I just, I, I, I don't. I can see the potential in Haney. I just can't just be like the dude is better than Gary Russell Jr. right now. Skill set. I can't yeah, say it, that right now. It, yeah, it, it, to, like I said, to me, it represents both of them. A, a huge shout. I can't remember. Vasily Lomachenko is the last guy that you could say was a competitive fight. Ever since then, you'd think Gary Russell Jr. was the, the, the favorite. And the same thing could be said for Devin Haney in all of his fights, right? So, uh, um, I, like I said, I think it, it re- represents a challenge for both guys. And if ever favors Devin Haney, I, you know, Glenn is the only guy putting up money for uh, for the experience of Gary Russell Jr. But, you know, it's a big weight jump. He didn't have a lot of pop at 122 when he fought, um, you know, Lomachenko, much less 126. And he's skipping some guys that I think would beat him at 130 and probably some guys that would be, beat him at 135 that I think Devin Haney would beat, you know. That whole 130 division will give him problems, and he's skipping right over it. I think he could do it. I think he could do it with the skill set. The only thing, the only problem with Gary Russell Jr. is his height. Yeah, that's true. He's five four or something like that, right? Hey, hey but uh, hey, smoke. I, I, uh, I think uh, I think Gary Russell and Lomachenko was at one twenty six. So I think Gary Russell has fought his whole life at one twenty six. If I'm not yeah, mistaken, Gary Russell's a, fe- a featherweight. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't think he's ever been at one twenty two. I think he's Probably been at one twenty six his whole life, right? The problem with Gary Russell Jr. is is, is his height. And his and his hands, but on the other side, he has three great things, man: his heart, his firepower, and his uh, determination to to come out victorious. I mean, those are, those are three big threats for any boxer, man. Especially and, speed, and, and, and speed. his stamina. Hey, and his stamina. Hey, his stamina. That's a yeah. that's a recipe. Hey, that's a recipe to go to sleep against Devin Haney, brother. You could bring all the hearts you want, but Devin Haney, Devin Haney's one two is so powerful, bro, that your heart will walk you right into something that. I don't see put Devin. you to sleep. Look, look uh, to be honest, when I see when I look at the young dudes, I look at Devin Haney, Shakur Stevenson as the top young dudes, but their power is still not on some de- they, they devastating. Yeah, he got a devastating knockout in 2019, but I don't see Devin Haney as a devastated puncher yet because he needs to grow, just like everybody else. But I do see Fimo, Javante Tang Davis, uh, uh, and, and Virgil Ortiz. Power in another level than a Shakur Stevenson and Devin Haney. I don't think a one two is gonna end of Devin Haney and Gary Russell. Jr. I'm sorry. Hey, but it, also it too, over, over you, you guys gotta over you guys gotta know that Gary Russell, dude, that fool's a small dude. Now that that fool's like well, 5'4", 126 pounds. That he's like has a body of a twelve year old. You know what I mean? Devin Haney's a big boy. He's already a big boy at one thirty five. <laughs> He's only getting yeah, bigger every day, bro. And, and, yeah, he, knows yeah, really and, and he knows how to fight tall. And he knows how to fight tall, too. Yeah, I think what David Haney's like, well, 5'8 or something like that, 5'9 uh, or something. That, I mean, he's already going to go to 140, probably. So think about that, man. I mean, so, 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 so for you guys, about the weight or is about the, it was about the, the skill set? For me, uh, it's both. the skill set. Both. I think it's both. I, so I you, so, so uh, y'all saying that Gary Russell, set. that, that David Haney is better. He's bigger and and got a better skill set than 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 Devin than Gary Russell Jr. Not not a better skill set. I think that the skills gap the skills belong to Gary Russell Jr. I think he has more skills than Devin Haney, but the skills gap the skill gap doesn't take it doesn't make take make uh, it, it doesn't take up for the massive size difference 
and the ability yeah. that Devin Haney has to use that size to his advantage. And that's yeah. why only bet twenty. And, and Haney, that's Haney, why only bet twenty. He catches him good. He might crack him. He might. He might fucking knock him out. He might knock yeah. out Jerry Russell. Hey, listen. I only bet twenty because of the fact that that not only does uh, he have a height advantage. Uh, also, I said that I don't know how it translates moving up to uh, two weight divisions, and then on top of that. Um, you know, uh, with the height advantage, uh, this dude also has a reach advantage. And so, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you know, and he has youth on his side. And he has uh, more uh, back-to-back fights on his side. You know what I'm saying? So there's a lot going for Haney. But I still think that the experience always comes into play. And I'm I, based on what I've seen after this coronavirus, man, I'm not d- doubting anybody, bro. I'm not doubting anybody. And I'm definitely not going to doubt Gary Russell, man. Nah, if Jojo, can, can, we, can, can we say? Oh, hold on, bro. Let me can we say that? Quick, I just jumped in. Hold on, bro. Let the OG speak. Shout out hey, to Hey, can we just say this? Hey, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Can we say that Gary Russell Jr. Hold has bro. reached his ceiling? Can we can say respect. that we've seen the I best respect, Gary Russell Jr.? I have some respect, bro. Let say say it again, Black. Hold on. Can we say? Have we seen the best Gary Russell Jr.? Have we seen? Has he reached his ceiling yet? He's a 34 year old man, bro. He's rich. Yeah, that's okay. 34 years old. Me, we have not seen real, the best Devin Haney. Let me say this real quick. We don't know what Devin Haney is going to look like in this next fight. Let me say this real quick, man. He can grow from fight to fight. He's 32. He can grow from fight to fight. Devin Haney. He's 32. He's 32. He's 32. And all right, that's like back end, probably almost in the back end of a prime. Of a prime. But we're going by, we're just analyzing Devin Haney's potential to beating somebody that's proven. That's my thing when we're analyzing stuff. It's like, it's not about Devin Haney, but it's how people already put him into contentions with guys how, that are already. How is not proven, bro? How is Haney not proven, bro? He's not proven yet. Bro. He's not bro, proven bro. yet. He's, he's getting bro. there. He's the thing is, we don't we don't want to respect the journey. We want to put the thing is the thing is we want to put him like he's there already. Nah, the all these uh, the, a lot of these young dudes are still got something believe, to prove. You spoke to Bill Haney and you're still talking about Ben Haney like this. Guy. I just find it disrespectful, but it is what it is, bro. What? Haney, you think you think you think these people don't care that you 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 think they right? Yo, I'm gonna tell you like this. How much you want to bet that Devin, that Devin Haney's pops will rather talk uh, with, with people that's going to be probably critical than just people that want to be on, on, on their shit, on their dick? No other man likes that shit, bro. I no don't know. Like you that see shit. where he goes. You the see where he goes. Nobody likes that shit. No, but it's not you like that. Disrespectful. It's you being bro, disrespectful. disrespectful. It's a, it's a, you being disrespectful? What are you talking about? Fan club. You, know, you see how the Raiders, they have their fan club. You, the Cowboys, they have their fan club. Come on, man. Stop, so why can't bro. the fighters have their fan club, bro? They could have their fan club, but also you gotta be you, you gotta be unbiased when you're breaking it down. You gotta be unbiased when you're breaking it down. No fan Russell clubs in boxing. No. Fan okay, this is what it is. Okay, okay, this is what it is. What does Russell do better than Haney? Th- this is what it is. This is what it is. If a person says, "I'm gonna give you an example." Oh, this guy, this guy is gonna knock out uh, um Gary Russell Jr. You ain't never seen Gary Russell Jr. being knocked out, so how can you envision that? I don't he even got, say that this got person got. is going to knock. Until I see somebody get knocked down and exposed that way, then I'm like, okay, he's weak. He, he's weak. He's going to knock him out. So why would because it? The, because punch. Because the guy we're saying is going to knock him out has knocked guys out before. That's why. I mean, same thing like you say with Lomachenko and Tiafimo. No one has knocked out Lomachenko, but you guys think Tiafimo is going to knock no, him no, out. No, no, so. no, 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 no. No, somebody have knocked him down and he have taken the loss. That's the facts. So we yeah. think. So, he hasn't so, been okay, knocked so, out. So is he capable of being if, if Lomachenko is capable of being knocked down by 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 um Tiafimo Lopez? Oh, definitely because he's been knocked down before, and Tiafimo Lopez has uh power to sit you down. For so when for is sure, Gary yeah. Russell Jr. being knocked out? I see when has he ever fought at one thirty five? When he was he knocked out? Gary what was he knocked down? Exposed, knocked out or knocked down? He's been exposed, bro. Knocked down. I, can't, I can't tell. I can't tell you if he's been knocked down or knocked out before. I can't tell you that, but I know he's never been up to one thirty-five. Yeah, the only dude that been that he ex- that, that exposed him is a guy is a guy that that the pugilist regard as one, two, three, pound for pound dude. You could flip it around. Uh, and, and That's you know the only guy that he has exposed. Him. You know who they compare me with? Mayweather. Bro, you're biting yourself, bro. You're biting yourself. 
They comparing Devin Haney to Mayweather, bro. I could comp you could compare anybody to anybody, bro. The, the, the Bob Aaron compared Lumachenko to Muhammad Ali. Wow. Anybody could compare anybody to anybody. Wow. Bro. If you got the platform, you could do it all day. But I'm not, I'm not going to... It almost sounds like they're hating on Haney, but I'm not saying you specifically. I'm just saying nah, the people... Y'all just, downplay, just downplaying Gary Russell Jr. I'm not hating on Haney. Y'all just downplaying. You say That's he has, right. I'm asking Brown said he, said he has everything Bill better White. than Gary Russell Bill Jr. White. You don't what got Gary Russell do better than him. Answer the question. He got better combination. He got better combination. He got better combination. I don't think we're downplaying Gary Russell because, I mean, he's jumping up two weight classes. Facts. I mean, that, that, that already right there is, is, is a tough, uh, tough task, man. Hey, Reader, let me ask you a young phenom. Let me ask you a good question. What's up? Let me ask you guys a question, though. But, you know, we, we all know that fighters uh, rehydrate just a few pounds a little bit over. So what if Gary Russell doesn't have to come in, you know, making weight like at 126? Because he's going to come in a little bit, you know, heavy, like at 130 something. Natural for him. Yo, Whereas okay. if, he, if, if he holds if he holds Haney down to like some kind of weight clause, that'll be more of a fair fight. But with that happening. Like 130, bro. No, I'm just saying yeah, because uh, Gary no, Russell is not gonna have to dehydrate himself to make weight. Yeah, yeah, the the thing is, is that that Gary Russell has always been a small. He's always fought at 126. You know what I mean? That fool's a small dude. That but he only has one fight a year, though. Yeah, look at, yeah. But look at what Mikey did to Errol Spence. He wasn't dropped. He had him. No, I know, but you know, what, Mikey, what fucking Mikey what lost every round. See, bro, what the people want to see, and I see yeah. a lot of people yeah. more fanboys yeah. don't want to answer this question. We want to see Tilfi Moore versus Haney, bro. That's a fight we want to see, bro. You know I think that's a 50-50 fight, dog. But what, but what Chelsea, happens if Haney Chelsea, doesn't Chelsea, knock Chelsea out or, or stop Gary um, Russell? Chelsea must follow him. Hey, can, that he doesn't have hey, but to what fight. if Gary Russell Chelsea, goes 12 rounds? Chelsea, 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 hold on, bro. Chelsea must follow himself said that he don't have to fight Devin Haney, bro. He don't got to fight him, in my opinion. He don't got to fight him. Punch drunk. He's a dub. Punch drunk. Can I say this? Hey, can I say this for me? In my opinion, right? This ain't. I'm not picking no sides. I want to see the winner. I want to see the winner go after all the critics and say, now I want to go fight Devin Haney to make this a real unification. That's what I want to see the winner of the fight do. I don't care who wins the fight, T.O. or Loma, but I want whoever wins that fight to go make it right for the boxing fans. Yeah. Not, not, yes, uh, not, what, not what Mauricio Suleiman is, is saying and not what everybody else is saying. Go make it right. Go get that final bail and make it a real undisputed. This, 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 this is my opinion. If, 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 if Teofimo, let's say Teofimo Lopez wins. If Teofimo Lopez wins and they say they're moving up to 140 to fight either Ramirez or, or Taylor to unify in 140, then... Hell yeah, go 140 and unified up there. Punch those if he are, that's, a, do that's that, a fairy tale. If he well, yeah, that's that, a fairy tale, bro. Well, why that's a fairy tale? That's because bro, happen. he is not none of the kids people. Are yo, people think it's a fairy too. tale. Him fighting Lomachenko right now. Ward and nah, Bradley. Hell no, that ain't no fairy tale. That ain't no fairy tale. He's a lot bigger than Lomachenko. He he got Lomachenko. The fairy tale is these kids going up to 140 right now. All that shit that their dads are saying, even Bill Haney and Tiafimo Sr., they can say all they want, bro. They don't want none of that smoke at 140. Not yet. Not yet. They don't even want to go fuck with uh, uh, who's a, who, Post Stall. Even Post Stall, bro. Post Stall will give them kids problems. So they, yeah. they can talk all, all that right, shit all right. about 140 punch, but it's not true. Punch. Well, They're not ready. You know, it's all about. Devin Haney. Devin it's Haney. all about. It's all about. It's all about. It's oh, all about man. it's all about it's, it's it's all about preparation. You know why there's the, these fighters sometimes feel like they they, they, can, they could do something, they could do something while people feel like they don't is their preparation. See, we look at Devin Haney, we look at the wisdom around Devin Haney, right? The teachers around Devin Haney. That's the aura of Devin Haney, is the teachers around them, the floor the Mayweather aura around Devin Haney. The Roy Jones Jr. aura around Devin Haney, the Zab Judah. That's Devin Haney. It's who he's around and surrounded with. And we and when he trains, who he spars in that gym. Have he sparred with Mayweather? Have he sparred with these with, with, with these other fighters in the team team gym? So then his preparation mentally and physically makes him feel 
that he is ready for certain for certain fighters. Now, let's see Teofimo Lopez, who he spars with. He spars with Sean Porter. He spars with Ugas. If he could hold his own in sparring, he feels like he could go to the 140 and hold him and hold his own with Ramirez or Taylor. Is that preparation that got him like that? You know? Yeah, but yeah, you but gotta, well, we got to see what you do with eight ounce yeah, gloves when, when the lights is on. How do you feel about Haney supposedly going to fight Gamboa? And I see a lot of haters out here hating on Devin Haney supposedly because he's going to fight Gamboa. Supposedly because they, they want to see him fight Verdejo or Fortuna. Bear, and then Bumps haven't been fit in the sport of boxing. But Gamboa has done more. Gamboa deserves the fight against Devin Haney. No, he don't deserve the fight against Gamboa. Yes, no, no, he don't. No, we he don't. don't. We deserve, we don't deserve that saying, fight. Like, Pepe. Uh, nobody wants that fight. It's a especially, big fight, bro. It's, especially, no especially, no it especially with the people available. <laughs> Vendejo is available. Richard Comey is, av is, is available. Yakoda yeah, 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 Gary so Russell what? Jr. I could get Gary Russell Jr. At this point, For you don't who? need Gamboa. Gamboa should be the last one on his list that could be available. Bro, Gamboa is a veteran. He's a gold medalist. He's a three division champion, bro. That's he old, man. Off, that's old. That's that's he old news. Water. He's thirty nine he years off old, bro. That's old coming off a torn Achilles. Bro. Coming you know, off a coming, coming off a torn Achilles. Bro, I don't yeah, think man. That fight is not not a good fight. It's that's old fight. news, bro. You know what it's it is because fight, you want it. All right, you see, you see, black and black and brown, black and brown, black and brown, like. See, that's the see now. Now this is the difference between a fan, a fan boy and a fan. Black and brown, black and brown. He he likes Devin Haney, but he wants Devin Haney to challenge himself. You want easy pickers for Haney. You want easy pickers for Devin. Haney. He's not part of Devin Haney. Oh my lord, bro. Hell no, nah, nah. man. Hell no. Nah. He's not even in the promotion. Shut up. Hey, what about Roy Romero versus Devin Haney? They're available. Yo, there's a lot of people Ooh, available. That's there's a, a lot of people. Patrick, there's a lot Patrick, of people. Patrick, 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 Patrick. Jackson Marinas versus Devin Haney. Jackson Marinas. There you go. Jackson Marinas. Really 135 is stacked. Yeah, what yeah, about that dude, stacked. Mario Barrios? Oh, no, he's not. He's a different weight class. Yeah, he's he's a yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. Bottles, 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 yeah bottles, 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 don't compare bottles. me to black and brown, bro. I'm but but, but you but you know what's me. funny? He just said Felix Verdeo no, uh, has no, fought nobody, ain't. right? He just said Felix Verdeo didn't find nobody, but he was uh, willing to accept Raleigh uh, Ramirez, uh, Raleigh, uh, and uh, what's his name, uh, Marinas for for a fight to, to Devin Haney. See how it's yeah, biased right there? That's biased as hell, bro. That's biased as hell. They have a WBA belt, jackass. Yeah, well, they ain't done shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me say this real quick. Don't, don't, don't compare me say, to, um, to Black and Brown, bro. Say, when, when I'm the, actually um, part of the, Devin Haney um, promotion, bro. It's very disrespectful. Yeah, don't bro. compare yeah. me and El Jefe because El Jefe is a fake little troll ass bitch, and I'm a real one. <laughs> hey, Black and Brown, you. El Jefe, you never show your face either, bro. Black and Brown saw his face. You never saw your face. I've seen Black and Brown before time. online. I've never seen you. Show your face, bro. Show I only seen face, you on Black and Brown's channel when, when when he exposed you. Show your face, bro. You, you had like a, a fatigue, face, like a like green show fatigues your on face. with some uh, Elvis ears. Show your face. Where's your face? Show your face, Show your face, bro. Show your face, bitch boy. Show your face, Show your face, bro. Show your face, bro. Yeah, you little bro. hoe. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, you hey, show your Hefe, face. Quit stealing my shit, Hefe. Ah, <laughs> uh, you got kicked out. <laughs> Yo, yeah. let's keep um, watching, bro. If I, if I just say, um, just quickly, that the um, when Mikey Garcia fought Errol Spence, it was for the IBF title, and so there was a weight clause for that title. But Gary Russell Jr. and um, Devin Haney will be for the WBC title, and there is no weight drains. There is no weight clause. So Gary Russell Jr. move, you know, gaining weight is fine, but Devin Haney is going to also be gaining weight. Yeah, that's a good point. Devin Haney's going to get up to one forty, one forty five, one forty two. Hey, another another thing you guys got I'm not talking about is how. What about Gary Russell's power at one thirty five? He don't even have power at one twenty six. <laughs> well, no, that's what I said. I said I, I, I said I said the problem with Devin Haney is his height and his hands. 
It's his hands. It's the problem. Yeah, is it? A, he, what, I mean, what is uh, Russell gonna do? He's not gonna knock him out. I mean, you know, he's not. He's not gonna respect his power. Haney's no, not gonna he respect. He could flood him with punches. He could flood him with punches. He could put him through the. He could put him with a Madonna, you know. Yeah, but I mean, if, that's if the, Jojo Diaz can throw punches I mean, without I, uh, sending, most if most Jojo likely because uh, Gary Wilson's experience is gonna go twelve rounds. You know, may might go twelve rounds, but I don't. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Raider, he's gonna take him twelve rounds. Yeah, but I don't see Gary Russell winning more than three, four rounds. Top. Well, maybe not. That's, that's, a, that's, 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 that's going to be a win for Haney for sure. But opinion. that's a win for Russell too, bro. Just like Mikey, you know, even though he didn't win too many rounds again, uh, Aerospace well, Junior. But that, Mikey, but not getting, Mikey not getting drawn, any rounds. pushing that, Mikey pushing the dude back. Mikey, yeah, Mikey didn't win any rounds against Spence. No, but, what, long, but, you know, but what does that say for Mikey? Huh? Now what? He froze up. But what would that say? But what would that say for Mikey? Moving back down to 140, saying... No, see, to- see, see what, what the problem was this. Uh, my boy, check this out. Uh, Mikey, 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 hold on, hold on. Mikey, Mikey, he can, he can compete at 147. Obviously, we saw that against... Uh, uh, what's his face, Vargas? Right, he shouldn't have. He shouldn't have gone up and and faced one of the top dogs right away. You know, he should have smoothed himself right in. And and Gary Russell is not smoothing himself right in. He's he's going up against one of the the top guys. You know, at one thirty five. That, that's his, that's, that's what his Canelo problem. did, though. That's what Canelo yeah, did. Yeah, exactly but Canelo's, on, Canelo, Canelo's on another level. You know that. Yeah, I mean, he's he's. He's, but Canelo he's, lost before too, bro. It's like Gary. No, lost I, of course too. he lost, but he wasn't. He wasn't where he's at right now. He was, yeah, you know, he's, he wasn't in his prime, you know. He was, he was, he was good, he, but he was not what he is now. But is Haney yeah. in his prime? Is experience no. wise? No. Haney no. is, is not in his prime neither. Yeah, well, but we're looking I mean, at the same situation. Like he's just big, it's you know. Necklings. Same situation is different. No, well, I think Haney was. This your bitch H Bummy misses the zone. Wow, bro, let's not do that, bro. Come on. <laughs> that was a great commercial break, bro. I, I appreciate that, man. Hey, don't disrespect Hefe like that. You can't play hey, a listen, big homie like that, boys, on the panel. This, you know what I'm saying? We got we to pay tribute to the sponsors. Disrespecting El Hefe. Other people, but I was, you know, when I talk my shit, I was, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking shit about people back, bro. All right, that bullshit. yo. On, yesterday on my stream, you were talking shit about every single motherfucker that wasn't on that live stream yesterday. <laughs> nah, bro. I wasn't there. Yes, you were, bro. That's all you guys do is talk shit about other YouTubers. That's what you guys do, bro. Scared to show no, your face. MXGC, Can't make no content MXGC, and talk shit about other YouTubers. MXGC, we support Mexican fighters, bro. That's all we no, do. Y'all don't. You don't even speak Spanish. Yo, yo, jefe, 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 come on, yo, jefe, 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 come on. You know you, 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 you know you don't want to be part of this. This your bitch H bummy. <laughs> This is the zone. Y'all already know, bruh. Before going live, bruh, I like getting my ass touched, ass slicked, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bruh. I'm H Bummy. H Bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheeks spread out, bruh. Y'all already know, man. Let me take this do rag off, bruh. Let me, let me brush the waves, bruh. And then stick this comb on my ass, bruh. That's what I do. Jose Camacho got next. <laughs> yo, yo, I gotta go, guys. Uh, salute, guys. Salute. Peace, Peace out, Carlos. All right, bro. All right. Good night, good night, good night bro. Good night, bro. Back, bro. All right. Please, I'll do smoke. All right, man. Uh, Have a good one, man. Peace. Yeah, yeah, man, man. What you think about this situation? What you think about this? H Money's LDBC. He's not MXBC. We're the MXBC. We're the Mexican boxing community. Bro. But none of you guys speak Spanish. So what the fuck are you talking about? Nah, we are we are the truest, the realest, the trillest Mexicans bro, on the YTBC. You will find them in the MXBC. Shout out to Punch Drunk, bro. You're telling me Coco's MXBC. Mexican? You're telling me Coco's Mexican? And Punch Drunk is MXBC affiliate, bro. You're <laughs> telling me Coco is Mexican? Yes, I'm a Mexican. I can do it. F. Yes, I'm a Mexican. It has a mean as come back. Just catches up cards. You don't even know how to speak Spanish. What are you telling me? You don't know how to speak Spanish. How do you know that you're Mexican? This pendejo says that he's Mexican. 
You know what? You know what I'm gonna give a hefe. You know what I'm gonna tell you, hefe. I feel like, yo, man, you should be the lead of the trolls, bro. It shouldn't be this. This yo. If you're gonna be, you gotta be the, you gotta be the lead of the trolls, hefe. I ain't no trolls on this one, bro. Quit bowing down to H money, bro. Yeah, man. Doing that shit. Yo, yo, put it this way, hefe, hefe. When he came up here, he never mentioned your name, bro. He never vouched for you. Called you a bitch, actually. Why you vouch for him? I want to know. He never, never came over here to vouch for you, and he, and, and you got your enemies. Why you hey, vouch for him? Hef is a good no, character, I, I man. He got, a, he, got a good, he got a good person. Now, he, he, no, no, but I want to say, but I want to know. He never vouched for you anywhere. Why would bro, you I, vouch I for him? Bill Haney, bro. I actually spoke to Bill Haney on the phone. No, you didn't. No, no you bro. didn't. So why would I be lying? I spoke to Bill Haney. Mr. Pinocchio. You, Mr. Pinocchio. Hefe, you lie hefe, every day on YouTube. Hefe, Hefe, you know why he tight? You know why he mad? You know why he was mad? Why? Because I had an interview with Mickey Bay. And then after that, World Combat Sport kicked him off the chat. It kicked him off his live. And then I was talking to, to Bill Haney. And that hurt his feelings, bro. That hurt his feelings. Yeah, because he that. thought he was the only one that could talk to him. <laughs> Wait, let, let, let me say this real quick, he man. He cheated so, on me. <laughs> they I, all not, cheated on me. I don't he really had cheated on him with, with, with black and brown, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. And punch cheated on him with Marie IQ. Let me say this real quick. What he said, what he said. But you was hanging with people that you know. That don't yeah. like me. Yeah. If you hang with my enemies, <laughs> you think you will you against me. That's what he said, bro. On live. Yeah, but Glenn, Glenn, you switched up bad, bro. You switched up like maybe. I switched up. That that motherfucker I mean, knows I that he fucking that, came up on me like that, bro. Now, 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 about, let bro? Me ask you, now let me ask you this, Hef, and I, for all for all the all the months and all the shit that he talks. Is is is, is, is me going back valid? Right? Oh, boy. War is war, bro. You can do what you gotta do, bro. What you think? Let me ask you this, Hefe. Let me ask you this. Uh, like, Hefe, we, let me ask you a question. Black and brown, supposedly we have beef, bro. But in my eyes, bro, I just see him as, you know, he's weak, bro. He's weak. I'm destroying him, bro. I don't really see him as competition, but it is what it is, bro. Who are you talking about? Um, uh, you talking about um, El Paloma? No, he's talking about me. Hey, Hefe, let me ask you a question. Uh, let me ask you a question, Hefe. Yeah. How's H Money's dick taste? Nah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he got him laughing. <laughs> nah, hold on, bro. Nah, hold on, bro. Like, bro, the OMXBC got H Money's dick in their mouth. Let me, let me put this out here right quick, bro. I got no beef for nobody, bro. At the end of the day, we're all, <laughs> we're all the sons of Christ, bro. We're all the sons of God, man. At Yo, F.A. Hefe, hey, hey, you drinking on the lean? Yeah, Hefe. Are you I drinking on the lean? Yeah, Hefe. Yeah, yeah, I've been taking shots at me, and you know what? I'm just retaliating. Yo, Hefe, yeah, Hefe, hey, hey, just please, just I, I want to know your answer. What do you think about this? Hold on. Nah, bro. bro. I don't think <laughs> shit, bro. What do you think about your boy's eyes? Look at look at yeah. H Money's eyes, though. Look at Gusto. Yo, no, come on. What what, what you saw there? You guys are making me a cop, bro. <laughs> that boy was amazed. He was in awe. Yeah. But look, look, look at the comment, bro. The MXBC, you know, it, it's a democracy, bro. Not all of us agree in certain things, bro. Shout out to Kelmar. Kelmar just joined the MXBC. We are accepting applications, bro. Putting the applications, bro. The MXBC, we're growing. We are the future of boxing. We got punch drunk, bro, an affiliate. We got major key boxing, MXBC, and affiliate. We Yo, got what's good, Memo? Everybody, what's, bro. That what's good, Memo? Hard. Hey, I'm going to let you know right now it's war time with me and the MXBC. So anybody who want to join the MXBC, just know, bro. Just know black and brown don't fuck with the MXBC. So don't pull no bullshit around me. Hey, so, okay. you, so you got beef with anybody that jumps on the panel or, or just the official members? Nah, because I ain't got no beef with Kelmar, so he's cool. I'll, I'll fuck with Kelmar, but your little your little group, that's what I'm saying. Kelmar got to be careful what he says and what he's around, you know what I'm saying? Because your little punk-ass group, I'll fuck every one of you fools up one by one. Well, none of you guys show your face at no. Hey, well, none of you guys show your face at no big in California. 
MXBC, MXBC ain't allowed in Cali. That's what I'm saying right now. And you won't show your fucking face at no event in California. That's fact. No, no MXBC man. member will show their fucking face in <laughs> California. Be, you know what I'm saying? We'll we'll be in there heavy, bro. The we'll MSG see. We'll see. Hey, have it. your cameras rolling. Have That's because Texas ain't rolling. shit, man. Texas is weak. Have your cameras uh, rolling. I'm six four. I'm actually six five. Coco. Good. Six, have your cameras rolling. Yeah, I'm gonna run up. Six, uh, you know what I'm saying? Go bro? live. Uh, yeah, Go live. Yeah, man. Uh, and, and all my, I'm gonna say about the applications, bro. Yeah, if I you apply to McDonald's, bro, don't try to fucking apply to a fine dining restaurant like mine's, bro. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you know, we're going to laugh in your face when, when, if you when, apply when, to that, when, to that when, restaurant, when, bro. When is, when is major shit boxing going to come out, bro? Yo, actually, I was talking to D. Jeff earlier, bro. I'm talking uh, to uh, quite a few people, even Johnny, the one that y'all don't like. You know what I mean? Uh, and and, and Prunts, uh, we, 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 we communicated. You were supposed to be helping me out too, right? Yes, sir. Because I, so, I, I ran into a couple of uh, uh, complications because it's Ooh. a little... You see how you guys oh just, just talk shit all day? Yeah, yeah, there's there's uh, other shit that, that well, better not, YouTubers want to do, and so we don't just do all that bullshit that, that you do, boxing. right? There's no, yeah, we you don't talk boxing. boxing for shit. You don't talk we shit talk about boxing. boxing. I'm trying to do like everything on a heavy well, level, bro. I'm trying to bring well, the screenshots and all that, so the visuals is what I'm looking for help with, right? You want to help me, bro? You want to help me? You got my number. Holler at me. Help me out. Help me out. He's the biggest fan. Call me out. Help me out, bro. He's your biggest fan. He's going to help you. I know. Hey, real help quick, me out, real quick. Let me say something. Call me out. Help me out with the visuals. Hold on, hold on. Let me say something. Let me say something real quick. Hold on, hold on. Jeff, let me say something real quick, real quick. Just think about it. A show between Major and Jefe. And a debate constantly. That shit fucking probably blow up, bro. That's fucking. Yeah, I'm not team. giving that motherfucking no views. My shit is gonna fine. blow up. It's just gonna I'm stay with it. with fucking 150 <laughs> fucking fake followers <laughs> and fucking <laughs> seven uh, people that are there all the time. No, I gotta give you credit, dude. Because you, you make some Johnny evil Johnny. jokes and, and Hefe does too. So that that just be like. Yeah, yeah I ain't fuck with him like that though. It'll be real man. He can stay on my dick calling me, bro. That that's about the the only attention I'm gonna give him. That's about it. Now, you know what's I'm, funny? I'm I bet, I bet, I bet. He, he told me to stop, to tell you to stop calling him, bro. I bet, who? huh? OV. That who? He said what? OV told me to tell you to stop calling him. Oh, uh, that uh, motherfucker should have never called me in the first place. Boy, I, I'll fucking hey, drop hey, his number right here. Right now. Yo, drop it, Glenn. Drop hey, it, Glenn. Drop it, Glenn. Nah, Obi's messenger cool. boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What y'all y'all want Obi's number? Whoever want to holler at Obi, hold on, since he brought him here? up. Hold on one yeah. second, bro. But yo, that's gonna drop me off the live point. Hold on one second, boy. What you doing, passing messages for OV? Get your sorry ass out of here. Don't be want to hear OV's bullshit. Fuck you and OV. Yo, why are you supporting a Messi, though? Nah, nah, What's nah. That's what, what I mean. that's what I, yo, that's what I mean. That yo, why are you supporting a Messi, nah, dude? What is wrong with you, bro? I thought you Mexican. You supposed to be the jefe. You the one that's supposed to be sending people. Ain't people no so, fucking people, jefe. People, people supposed to be oh. coming to this channel talking about jefe Pussy. because you are jefe. But it look like you're the messenger boy, bro. <laughs> you got potential, jefe. I'm telling you, bro. You got potential bro. for a white nationalist. For a white nationalist, you're passing messages. Team, bro. I'm the hottest name on YouTube, bro. What did Durden say? What What did Durden say? Tell us what Durden says. <laughs> Hey, Holmes, I, I just hooked up with a, a photo. I'm hard, nigga. Hey, nah, bro, I'm actually <laughs> yeah, but uh, today, oh, actually, man. in our show, bro, we're talking about the Anunnaki's, man, everybody that's into that, bro. Hey, if you tell answer me this. You said you did eight years in prison. How the fuck you do eight years in prison to come out and become a YouTube troll? What the fuck kind of shit is that? Won't you get no, a job? Won't you hold, hold make something? Hold, do something with yourself? Hold, hold get out your hold, mama's hold, house. Hold on, get out your mama's hold, house hold, and stop trolling. Hold, hold, get your hold, life together, hold, motherfucker. Hold, get your shit together. Get you, get out your mama's house. You just did eight years in prison and you come out turn into a YouTube troll. Get your shit together. Shut your bitch ass up. Let me say this real quick. We actually had internet in the cell, bro. So shut the fuck up. So you've been on fucking, that's what you've been doing with your life for the last nine years has been a fucking internet troll. You're pathetic, bro. Nah, You're nah, fucking I've pathetic. On, I've only been on the internet like a year and a half, bro. Chill the fuck out, man. 
Yo, you guys got to buy the merch, okay, yo. Okay, LFA okay, wheelchairs, bro. Okay. LFA wheelchairs on sale right now. Hold on, hold on. Let you know what I'm saying? Can I ask a bunch of questions? I know what you're doing, bro. Stop it. Yo, what's up, Shut Smoke? Up, bro. Get, your, get out your mama's house. Yeah. What's All up, Smoke? Get out your mama's house. Stop trolling out right, your mama's yeah. house. Have, have you seen, uh, good, have you seen the... Uh, you want to get Let's do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, Smoke. You want to get personal, let's get personal. Let's do it. Next fight. Hold on, I can't hear you. can't hear you. Lend the prince, bro. Well, have you seen the box rack for like Tia next fight? If I see what? The box rack for Tia Fimo's next fight. The box rack for Tia Fimo Lopez next fight? Yeah. Nah, I don't I don't know which I don't understand. Should box it be Loma? Rack. On box rack. Have you seen uh, if you go to Tia Fimo's box rack page, have you seen his next fight? No. Should, should be against Loma, Check shouldn't it? Out. it? Do the quiz, bro. I want to do the quiz with black and brown, bro. Cause he be talking I'm biased. Shit. Biased. Yo, Hefe, just show your face, bro. Just show your face. Let's do the show, bro. Let's do the show. Hefe, show your face. Black and black, show his face. Hey, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. God damn, man. When somebody starts talking, everybody else starts talking, bro. Like, like, can I just give a shout out to the people in the chat? Because they holding it down, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially France right now. Uh, Jeff yeah. up in there. Seth up in there. You know what I'm saying? Everybody holding it down. Uh, you know, if I miss anybody, nothing personal. You know what I mean? But they're holding it down right now. Shout yeah. out to friends, but fuck Mexican fight fan. Nah, Mexican yeah, that's why I didn't say him at all. I said Seth. Yeah, I didn't say Mexican fight <laughs> fan is a real Mexican, bro, from the Bay Area. Bro. I was in, hey, I was in the smoke. Bay Area. Are you referring to the, the WBC? WBC next week too. Too. If Mexican fight fan really are, wants bro. some smoke, he can hit me up. I'll fuck, fuck Mexican fight fan up. Bro. He would fuck you up, bro. He won't even let me know where he's at. He won't even say where he's at. Okay. He won't even drop his location. If you know boxing black and brown, who is Navarrete fighting next? Ruben Villa, bitch. Ah, uh, where's Ruben Villa from? Salinas, California, bitch. Oh, okay. oh, damn, Hefe. Oh, uh, 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 now, now show your face. Now show your face. Now show your face. Now show your face. 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 That motherfucker's a fag trying to see my face, man. You, you want to see my face? Nah, 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 nah. I, saw, I, 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 saw, I saw you. I saw you was 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 was, was fag. Uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, <laughs> hey, 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 guys. These hey, motherfuckers hey, been over there begging to, Rob to do it on uh, on their channel. Please do it on the MXBC. Please do the same thing nah, on the MXBC Rob, channel. Rob is part of the MXBC, bro. Let's just exactly. Up. You guys been begging him to get naked for two fucking days. No, nah, he actually told us that he sleeps naked and the camera was randomly on. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah, 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 right. Yeah, amazing? right. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, bro, Rob, Rob, bro, punch drunk. I met Rob on this channel, bro, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yep, yep. And, he, and, 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 and I ain't never seen nothing like that on this channel, right? That's why all my videos is there. That's why another video is the, why, why his video is deleted. But that yeah, he, you're right, bro. He, he, he ain't never done shit like that like on this shit. That's up and with fucking that shit in his head, bro. Yeah, right. Shout they, out to Rob, yeah, bro. They they pay. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I like that shit. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, punch. Hey, yeah. punch. So, uh, Tia Fimo, according to Box Rec, Tia Fimo uh, Lopez's next fight is Vasily Lomachenko. Yes, sir. And and you'll see that there's one belt missing from the uh, WBC is missing. <laughs> yeah, oh. that's what I said. Oh. The WBC is missing. Teofimo got a man up and fight Devin Haney, bro. Uh... See, see, the thing, the thing is, undis when you say um, the word undisputed means it can't be disputed. Like, somebody else can't say that they're the champ, too. Facts. Yeah, I know the morals, though. And y'all know, too. And y'all know boxing. Yeah. Hey, hey Punch, know, can I say this undisputed to you? Hey, punch, respectfully. Look, look hey, respectfully. Can I say this to you, Punch? Yeah. Hey, you say that Devin Haney should throw his belt in the garbage can, right? But respect yeah. you, Punch. I'm gonna, the I'm gonna, listen, I think that T, I think Lomachenko is the one to throw his belt in the garbage can, right? Punch? That's what because I look said. At, because look, because said. Mariso Suleiman is really, really giving their undisputed the black guy. That belt should have never been brought into the table. 
because now this undisputed is going to be under question. And for whoever wins, there's going to be a question mark next to their undisputed. And for that reason, why they should be more upset than Devin Haney. So you're telling me, all right, all right, I understand that. So you're telling me, oh, who, who got, who, who's more questioned to being a champion, Devin Haney or Lumachenko? Well, who actually holds the belt? Who is questioned that if they're legitimate champion, Lumachenko or Devin Haney? Okay, I'll answer uh, that question. Due I'll to answer the, it. Due, due, hold on, I'll answer it real quick. Due to the WDBC belt movement, Lomachenko's more in question because he's not holding the actual belt. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm not even going to answer the question. I'm going to let y'all rock with that one. Go ahead, Raider. Go ahead, Raider. All right. No, yeah. so... Obviously, Lomachenko is the one that deserves that belt, right? The way Haney got it is bullshit. But, but Haney has the belt, the recognized belt. Yeah, so it's about being a belt holder, but we know who's the champion. That's what you're saying. Devin Haney yeah, is the belt holder, yeah, yeah. and Lomachenko is the champion. Yeah, you can say that. You can say he, that. He, he but, 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 but Lomachenko does not have the belt. He gave it away. So yeah. he's not the champion anymore. Okay, he gave it away uh, to be elevated. Yeah, but he gave it away. So he's not the WBC nah, champion. Come on, man. Just not making excuses, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, 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 not, I'm not I'm not making any excuses. I'm not making any excuses. Everybody know who's the who's the man. Everybody yeah, knows everybody really was Tyson Fury the lineal champion. If we take the fighters, if we, hey guys, if we take the fighters out of the pictures, right, and we just talk about the movement of the belts, guys, it's it's obvious. Devin Haney is holding that real belt. They need that belt for undisputed. And Mauricio Suleiman really is trying to fool us as boxing fans to think, yeah, this is undisputed when we know it's not, and and not because of because. Because Devin Haney's not the real champion, but because of the fuckery with the belts, the movement of the belts, they did it to themselves. Well, so, right, right, so, 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 right, okay, hey, so, 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 okay, so. all right, that's my point. So, if we know the fuckery of the belt, so take the belt out of it, and who's the real champion? Devin Haney. All right, so look, check this out. This is this is the way that it should no, be. No, no, when I'm so, somebody asked me the question, uh, if uh, we uh, know uh, the fuckery they, of the belt. If we All know right, the fuckery on. of the belt, and we know that if this person has the belt, it's some fuckery in that belt. So then, who's the real champion? What's Who the one? Who won it? All right, so look, who's so, the real so, champion, bro? I'm asking who's the real champion. No, no yeah, but the I belt, can't believe we really debated about this shit. Yeah. I don't want to say this shit is bugging me out. No, listen, it's an easy, it's an easy question. about this bullshit? It's an easy, it's an easy answer. Who's the real champion? Okay, if 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 Lomachenko throws his belt away and he never received the franchise champion, who's the champion? The people's champion. Devin Haney. Whoever has the belt. No, no, my chance. No, Whoever, has, oh the my God. Whoever has the belt, guys. Whoever has the belt, guys. All right, Why look, are we debating out, about hold this on, bullshit? Come on, on y'all know who's the wheel term. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. So check this out. Look, check this out. So, so check this out. So if nobody here, nobody here likes this franchise bullshit thing, right? So in order for us to get rid of that, we cannot recognize any. WBC franchise as a champion. We got to go with the original belt. Whoever has that belt is a champion. That's the only way we're going to get so rid of it. So if the okay. franchise belt didn't exist, and then he would he would not have accepted that and, and left the other belt. So he would still be WBC fucking champion. It doesn't matter. Yeah, but he's not. Look at it. Yeah, but you know he's not. He's not, he's not he's because they that? elevated him. What is, what's the problem? What, we got to understand about that. I'll tell you what the issue is. I'll tell you what the issue is. The issue is that he would be fighting Devin Haney because that would have been his mandatory. Because but but that's him. not the question. The question is because even if he would have fought him or not, that's that right there is extremely hypothetical. We're talking about if there was no franchise belt, who would have maintained the French the the the, the WBC belt? It would have been Loma Chance. Right, right. And then oh, that is simple to understand. It's not like that. like right. fucking right. rocket science. The issue is Devin Haney would have had to, and he would have been fighting Devin Haney. Yeah, he would have. That's the thing. Okay, he so he would have been fighting, fighting Devin up. Haney, and then you could say if you bet on Devin Haney or you bet on Loma, whatever. But at the point, he would have been still WBC fucking oh. champion. Is the point? Yeah, but he's not. But he's not though. 
fight? Why don't we get to fight? Y'all not, y'all not understand it, bro. It's simple math right there. I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I was in the top one percent of math in the United States, bro. It's simple, bro. One plus one equals two. That's all it is. Hey, here's here's the thing, though. So we gotta keep math the same energy. To even, do with it. Hold on, hold on. Hey, we gotta keep the same energy even with Canelo. If Canelo goes, yeah, exactly. gets three belts, he gets the three belts. Guess what? He has to fight Jamal Charlo for that. Yeah. WBC belt he okay, gave that, that, that's awesome. That's no, awesome. But that's no, not what y'all talking about. Really, if he's the franchise, but yeah. we're talking about. Fucking Devin Haney and y'all fucking saying that Lomachenko is not going to be undisputed if he wins or T.O. is not going to win. That's the conversation. So y'all start talking uh, about other shit, but the fact of the fucking matter is, is that when it comes down to the belt, if he would not have accepted the franchise belt, he would have still been WBC champion. And you could debate all day long about who would have won between Haney or him, or if they would have said, paid him step aside money, or whatever the fuck, or, or the shoulder injury and the WBC would have not emailed him the fucking championship uh, for the second time or whatever the fuck. It, you know, all of that is up for debate. But at the end of the day, Lomachenko is still WBC champion, bro. Y'all can hate hey, all y'all want, because that sounds weird. Hey, hold, 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 hold on. Let me respond. So, you know what? You are absolutely correct. But he did give up. He did become franchise champion, and he did give up that belt. Yo, my man, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, y'all talking about, y'all talking about, y'all talking about, y'all talking about fuckery, right? Yo, De- Devin Haney got stripped from his title. No. What you talking about? No, he got stripped. Oh. Not, but he'll put champ in a recess. No, he got stripped. No, champ in a recess. He said, he said, he said that stripped. Eddie Hearn said stripped. I he said it himself, bro. You want to bet anything? Anybody right here? Well, what did he get stripped for? If you get it right, what was the reason? Inactivity. He got stripped for inactivity because of his shoulder surgery. He did get stripped. Okay. But when he got stripped, they put him in recess. No, he got stripped. I'm about to Google this. Right? Look, guys. My only thing what, is was he Mariso champion Suleiman, in recess? Mariso was he Suleiman champion in recess? Is undisputed a black guy. And then, and then you guys, I know you guys don't like to hear it, but half of the yeah, boxing yeah, world, like, uh, yeah, yeah, guys don't like to hear it. Yeah, just, nah. just say it, yo. Lomachenko nah, is the fucking champion, bro. That's why everybody's gunning for him. Nah, bro. Bro. Devin Haney. Real. But then, nah, punch. Nah, nah, nah. what is you know Devin what Haney is? then? You know what it is? Punk, it's it's like saying you want Andrade to fight Charles than Canelo. On, you know what it is? Nobody wants to fight Canelo. Yeah, but come on, man. I'm in the way. Whoever, whoever, whoever's, even, whoever's even, a man, we can't, we can't Canelo's have... a man at middleweight, bro. No, because Canelo's the other. It's like a, it's Canelo's like a pretty champion. champion. It's like a yeah, 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 but there's more. Yeah, 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 it seems it, if you want to be fair, comparison, well, let's compare the same scenario. No, but Elder, 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 Punch, punch, punch. Go ahead, man. Punch. You don't run the channel, Elder, 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 Shout out, shout out to Punch Strong Boxing, bro. Subscribe, hit the like button, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the almighty, almighty MSBC, bro. Shout out to Major Key Boxing, a.k.a. Major Shit Boxing, Guido. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, make, 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 make sure make sure, make sure, sure on your way out you take off the dislike and hit the like, all right? Y'all have a good one, bro. On your way out, make sure you hit the di- you take off the dislike and hit the like, all right? Yeah, don't worry about that because he's, he's going to be the first one subscribed to you. Don't worry about I know. that. This your bitch H. Bummy misses the zone. Y'all already know, bro. Before going live, bro, I like getting my ass touched, ass slick, ass fucked. <laughs> you know, I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bro. I'm LDBC's fuckboy, bro. I'm age bummy. Age bummy, baby. You already know who got next. Snatch me up, Fred. Who got next? It's your turn. It's your turn. I got my ass cheeks spread out, bro. Y'all already know, man. Let me take yeah, that. That's what Hippie was gonna say. Bro. Let oh, me, let me brush the waves, bro. No, no, I was just gonna say this. Look at that hairline, y'all. Look at that hairline. 
the, all, all I'm saying is uh, the fight's not further disputed. Like that. That's it. That, that's all. But that, until yeah, I notice, agree. Right. It's just not for undisputed. You can say whatever the hell you want about it. You can feel however you want to feel about it. Yeah, I'm but a, it's not I, for I'm, undisputed. All right. I'm. A, I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. It's for on my channel. To punch on boxing channel. Then is an undisputed bout between Teofimo Lopez versus Vassal Lomachenko for undisputed for all the four belts. Franchise WBC, IBF, WBO, WBA, four belts on the line. And I, let me say this, that Mauricio Suleiman has put a black eye on the... Is the IBO on the belt? Uh, is the IBO and Ray if we, on the online? Let's also? look at the last two... Hey, let's look at the last two undisputed champions. You got Terrence Crawford and you got Alan, Alexander Usyk. There's no questions around those undisputed. This undisputed punch, whether we like it or not, there's going to be question marks around this. Half of the boxing community is not accepting it as undisputed, and half is accepting it. So, my only, bottom line is, only, Maurice, hey, you, know, you, you know, you call that, but you, you know, you call that black and brown. Only, you know, only, you call that, you call that. The only one that's not accepting is disputed. You call that disputed, undisputed. The only one that's not accepting is Devin Haney fans. Yeah, no. Talk to no, anybody. Talk to anybody. Champion. LDBC are doing that dumb shit. They're putting that bullshit in there with it. Is Boxback LDBC? I'm a people's champion fan. Boxback LDBC. They bringing that bullshit every fucking day. It, it, I'm a champion fan. So, so, so is, is, is box rec, is box rec Devin Haney fans? Just let me know. Is box rec LDBC and Devin Haney fans? What I got to do you with it? You know what I'm talking about, Smoke. You know what I'm talking about. Right. So, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, but I'm, hey, I'm just, but I'm just, I'm just, just I'm saying, I'm just trying to keep, I'm going to keep it a buck right here. I'm keeping it a buck. You guys, you guys are going off a narrative. All I'm saying is, you guys are yeah, talking about okay, it. Okay, hey, 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 everybody, everybody, hey, everybody, everybody. Female here. We got a bounce. Yo, everybody, everybody, everybody has their narrative. Then Punch Run Boxing got his own. It's an undisputed yeah. belt. Oh yeah, Punch, yeah, Punch, punch yeah, Seniors here. Yeah, Yo, Punch, the female seniors here. Hey, Smoke, answer this question. When hang, Meno Yatim. Yo, oh shit, Junior's here, bro. Get on, bro. You're talking about boxing, right? Yo, 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 hop on yeah, up so we it, gonna talk it's to not, him. It's not undisputed. Every every hardcore boxing fan knows that. Hey, let me say this thing. Who is that? Hey, yeah. hey, yo, say this? Hey, real who is so many, so so many Tafima haters hey, here, bro. Hey, let me go. Let me go real quick. Hey, let me go. Then I'll let anybody else go. This ain't no hating on either fighter, right? All I'm saying is that Mauricio Suleiman has put a black eye on this undisputed belt because no, who, no, who, no matter who wins. There's going to be questions. And what I want to see from whoever wins, go attack Devin Haney's belt. But this go but, 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 but That's all me, I'm saying. This ain't no hate. This no, ain't no, no but hate I'm on saying, but, 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 but I'm saying black and brown, that's, that, that's why yeah. I'm coming. I'm, I'm, yeah. saying, I'm saying that for me, that's a contradiction. Because if we know the fuckery of the WBC, then we know who's the real champion. We don't, if we know the fuckery, then, but we know that Lomachenko was the real champion. So why go back that we got that 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 that, that you got to go back to to the Devin Haney fight if we know because the fuckery punch. if we know the fuckery and identify the fuckery then we know that Lumachenko is the real WBC champion thus this fight is undisputed because we know the fuckery yeah hey, but this but is the, he, this he, is he, the, he, he, the he's the real he, champion yeah. is the problem he needs we, that belt he actually no, he's the real champion that belt in his hey. possession. Hey, hey, here's here's the thing, right, right, hey, so, black, so black, hey, black and brown. Hold on. Here, here's the thing, though. So he, this this goes for even for Lomachenko too. If Lomachenko yeah. wins, he's not undisputed. It's just no, not hating to you or anybody else. It's just nah, it's just nah, man, yeah, yo. Honestly speaking, man, I don't understand how you're not, not understanding that one plus one equals two, bro. Like, like the dude. I don't know. Uh, uh, like, like it's, it's just, yeah, it doesn't matter, bro. Like uh, what y'all saying? But why it, 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 it's not? Hold on, let me finish my point, bro. Hold, hold, hold my. Oh, hold up, bro. Hold up. Talking about oh, belts, bro, we gotta be hating. Bro. But bro, why if we're talking bro, about belts? Bro, then let me just respond. Behaved. I can hear you, but you are you not hearing me? You're not letting me talk. I can hear you. You don't need to, re to like reply twenty times, bro. Uh, you could uh, just say it once. I can hear you. I said okay? it twice. So okay, I don't like so being called a hater. All right. Well, I'm not saying that right now. I'm I'm trying to explain to you what the fuck is going on, and you're not letting me talk. You know what I'm saying? Wanna, and it I is what it is. Though, that there okay, no, no, but you're not letting me talk, bro. Belts. You just asked a question, and I'm trying to we're answer that, bro. You know what I mean? Okay, so I, I'm trying to explain it, and you're not, you're not letting me talk. Just let me talk. 
Okay? You got so it, what it is, is very simple, bro. It's very, very simple. I'm, that's why I'm not understanding what, what y'all not understanding. Okay? When it comes to, to fighting for the damn belts, bro, like, yeah, yeah, trying to switch it off to Canelo, trying to divert attention here and there, and blah, 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 oh this and this God. and that. Bro, if TFC, if uh, Lomachenko did not accept the franchise belt, it's very simple. Follow me. But you keep very saying simple. if. if that's say right, if. because he they did. created it. They you created it. If, he would have still been the fucking WBC but champion. But what the fuck not. don't you understand about that? But that's simple. Not. But he's not, though. That's because he accepted an uh, elevated what title. What are you what I do? like? It, it's like uh, like if you go fucking, you know, it, it's like. But look, it's like you go to a fucking like like you like you go to a job interview. They say, yo, you do this. I'm gonna hire you tomorrow, and I'm gonna give you some food when you finish because you're starving. And then you go there and do that, and then they say, oh no no no. Now for for the real food, you gotta go fight this other dude or or finish this job. Like you know what I'm saying? Like come on, man. But like you you already the champion, bro. So, so let me let me let me get let me try my hand at, at the at the at the issue, right? So, Glenn, Fuck is not you're understanding. absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct when you say that if Loma, if he didn't accept it, he would. He, if he didn't accept the franchise, he would be the WBC. The issue is that in order for him to fight for the IBF, he would have had to face Devin Haney, right? Actual mandatory. If he would have fulfilled his obligations and been the real WBC champion, that means before he faced, um, he's breaking faced, up he, bad, bro. He's breaking up bad. Hey, hey look, guys. guys. I want to clarify with Glenn yeah, and Guido. I am not hating on no fighter. I'm just, he's I'm just. I'm not saying about you hate him, brother. That, that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't even understand why you're coming at me because I didn't say you was a hater, no, bro. No, I'm not even coming at you, bro. I'm trying to clarify no, with no, you, bro. No, Relax. No, I'm, not, I'm, not I'm not coming at you. At I'm, you. I'm not coming at you. I'm answering your question. I'm not coming. At you. I'm not coming at you. I'm, I'm just answering your question. As, as the smoke, you're breaking up. Smoke, you're breaking up. You're in and out. Oh shit. It's the Lord's will, guys. Look, guys, I'm How just about speaking now? about the movements of the belts, guys. I take the fighters out of the conversation. The movements of the belts is not right. And factually, you need the four major belts to be undisputed. That's all I'm saying. And I want the hey, winner. I want no. the winner to go get that fourth belt. That's all I'm saying, bro. Guido, hey. please, this ain't no fucking hate. Please don't I call never said he was hating. Yeah. Hey, hey and, hold, and, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Black and I never said he was a hater. I all just right, said I just don't understand your point of view. That's no, all. I never said he was a hater. Hey, but hey, For since, me, since, since hold on, you need hey, four hold major belts. Hey, yeah, hey, that's what I'm saying. So since when did it change that it's not the four recognized belts for undisputed? When when did it change? When all of a sudden it's gotta be it's not the recognized belt, the WBC no more. It's gotta be the franchise. When did it change? All, only in this division. By the no other division. Not, not by his secretary, the, the main one. He has the chance to tweak it, turk it, do whatever he wants with it, because he's a he's a he's he was yeah, elected no, to be the, the no, but he's hold, on, only hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing, yo, dude. It, it's not what Marisa Suleiman says, it's what the other sanctioning bodies say. They're the ones that recognize the belts. Who cares what Suleiman says? The, the, the WBA, WBA, the WBA, WBA has the what is what does the WBA say? Yeah, but you still got the other two. All right, but are, what are the other two? Are, 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 are the other two where they advertise this fight as for undisputed? If they what? Are the other two sanctioning bodies like the IBF and the WBO, are they going to advertise this fight as undisputed? Or we don't know what they're gonna say. Uh, no, you know put, it way, put it this way. Put it this way. Put it. this way. Put it. Put it this way. Put it this way. This is what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Let me just. Let me just. Uh, say Hold on. As fast. As fast. As fast. This is what I'm saying. If we know the fuckery, then we, the fans, like I'm saying on my page, should say that this is undisputed, and we take power because we're smart enough to know what the fuck is going on. Yeah, so when you but justify so when people justify that this is not undisputed, you're part of the problem too. But here's the thing though, the fuck yeah, but punch the other way. Bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, part of the problem too. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you keep you... saying the other side, no, we know that Lomachenko the WBC. Let's leave it like that. We know. See, because my point is around, that, 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 that the thing is, is the, 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 the fuck is the chance. Yo, whoever says it's not, it's like strictly to themselves. Yo. 
It's bro, nice. Bro, it's it's nice. Everybody y'all knows that. Y'all look in the mirror and y'all lying to yourselves, bro. Y'all lying hey. to yourselves, man. Everybody why y'all knows hyping Devin Haney? Haney? Well, I don't understand hey. this shit. Hey. Hey. I want to know why y'all hyping him up. Why y'all hyping him up? So much he hasn't even proved nothing. Y'all giving him up too much. Y'all giving him too much credit. Y'all giving him too much credit. He hasn't done shit. No one's talking about Devin Everybody knows, bro. Everybody knows the IBF and everybody knows the IBF and WBO are gonna recognize their champion as undisputed. You know this. It's money. Hey, the it's fuck, business. The fuckery, the fuckery is a franchise belt, not the one that that. No, they but you make. know, but 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 you, you know, know but, you you said you didn't know. You said you didn't know, but but you do know that the IBF and the WBO are not going to recognize their champion as undisputed when that fight okay. is finished. All right, let me tell you this then. Okay, but they, they haven't recognized. Hold on, them hold on, let me finish. No, no, no but I'm just saying when the fight goes down. All right, so hold on. So if they recognize the WBC franchise as a recognized belt. No, but you're so not answering the question, do, brother. Hold on. What That's are they before, I'm talking about after the fight. I'm talking about so after the fight. Well, hold on. What about Haney's belt? Is that no, going to be... No, but at least answer my question before I answer yours. Answer my question no. before I answer yours. What was your question? After the fight, is the WBO and the IBF going to recognize their champion as an undisputed world champion? We don't. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, how do we know that? How yeah. do we know something like that? Yeah, yeah, we, we, we're we not going to know. So, so you're well, saying that when they advertise their champion to make money in business, they're going to say this is a WBO champion, or they're going to say this is the, the undisputed WBO champion of the world. Okay, let me ask you. All right, we don't, all right, all right. I want to say it. No, 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 let him answer my question. Okay, if they do recognize answer that yes, WBC go. franchise. I got to say, here we go. Hold on. If they, if they do recognize that WBC franchise champion as a recognized belt, what's going to happen to Taney's belt? What's gonna happen? Is that gonna be recognized too? Because if you if it's not, then that means every other weight class that has that belt is not gonna be a recognized belt. You know, then it could get demoted too, right? Yeah, yo, that punch was fine because I I already know what he picked up off because I picked up on the same shit. Go ahead, punch. When when um when man when Floyd Mayweather for Manny Pacquiao was Mayweather the WBA champion. Cookie. I don't Cookie? know. Shit, I don't know. I think it was Keith. What's your cookie out here? Uh-huh. Shit, I don't, I don't, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't remember. But Glenn, it was a super. when Raider brought up Canelo, you had a problem with it. Now that no, 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 I was, I was just gonna say, you ain't got a problem with it. I was just gonna, I was just gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, and I know y'all brand Canelo. I'm just saying because y'all brand Canelo. So let so so if was was Flo Mayweather the WBA champion when he fought Manny Pacquiao? I I don't remember, dog. To be honest with you. No, when he fought Manny Pacquiao, he was he was fighting for the super WBA. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. They elevated Keith Thurman as regular. So, but who was the champ? Was Keith Thurman the real champion then? No, ain't nobody was saying that he's the real champion. Everybody said it was Floyd Mayweather. So guess yeah, who's the this, is a, this is an undisputed match, though. So this is yeah, undisputed this, punch. It's something it, 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 sacred. It, it, this is it, it, something it, it, sacred it, it, to the sport of boxing. Right, so it, let's it fight for it. it then let's new. fight for it. Then let's fight for us fans. Then then it, fight for it. Stop saying, saying that Devin Haney exactly is. That's what we're doing. That's my point. That's what we're doing. That's my point. That's what we're doing. Y'all just saying like, no, he got to go back. He got to go back and go back to fight to prove what. Everybody to hold the other belt. You know who's punch. to prove it? You know who's to hold the you know other who's to prove? belt punch. You know who's to prove? You know who's to prove that you're to the man the at 135? To so prove that you're the man at 135, you got to go through Lumachenko. And everybody's acting like these are new new things happening with the Suleiman and WBC by doing the friend. Now, this, these are, we've seen this before. We're like Floyd Mayweather, Keith Thurman. We've seen it before. These are, these no, are, I've never business, seen, I've never seen, these are business uh, moves with uh, different names. I've never seen a unified bout being sold and pushed to us as undisputed. It's the first time I've ever seen it. You, so see you can't say we, no. I didn't see. I didn't see them fight for undisputed. I didn't see that. No, but we're talking about the elevation and who was the champion. The same thing happened with the WBC. No, and I'm talking about that's what you guys are talking about. You guys are talking about names. I'm talking about belts. All right, that is exactly. I'm talking yeah. about for, for, yeah, that, that's for it to be a though. real yeah, that's, that's that's a a you need you four world championship belts. We're not talking about the Yeah, fuck Devin Haney. We ain't talking about Devin Haney. We're talking about belts. These fools just hate Devin Haney so much. Oh, wait, they gotta make everybody hate on Devin Haney. We're not even talking about Devin Haney. Now you accuse me of saying hating, and you're calling me a hater now. I don't think that people hate Devin Haney. I think that people hate that accomplishment that's about to happen. That's what it is. 
Yeah, because I wasn't a hater. You just told me not to to call you a hater, man. You calling me a hater now. I think y'all hate no, you. No, but, but, but the, the issue is, it's like we say, we're, we're talking about the belts, and like, why is you hyping up Devin Haney? Who, who's hyping up Devin Haney? Yeah, we're exactly. No belt. one's hyping up Devin Haney. Exactly. Ain't Devin nobody Devin 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 hyping up Devin Haney. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, hype hyping the fuck out of him. Like, if he did, sir, he never did shit. That nigga never earned nothing. He don't got not even the resume hey, close to There you go, Glenn. Fuck with Lemon hey, What y'all talking, talking about? about the belt. Glenn, there you go, brother. All right. But, 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 but was, was that me so, that was that me speaking? Did I, bro? Did I say you? Did I say well, Glenn? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, fair point, fair point. But, I, I mean, you just said it kind of, like, broadly and generally. So, I was like, oh, what the fuck? Like, I'm not saying that, like. You know what I mean? Everybody, we're all individuals here. We're all grown men. You know what I'm saying? We all got, uh, you know, tweaks in, in what we're talking about. But all I'm saying is, for me, it's an undisputed belt. Not I don't care who's fighting for it because you're, you're still saying you need all four belts. And I'm seeing the WBC franchise as an elevated belt. Do I agree well, that that belt should exist? No. However, it does exist. And the reason that Lomachenko has it is because he was elevated to that belt and it had to drop the other one to get that belt. OK, See, if, if otherwise, all you're doing is saying uh, basically that maybe Haney could have beat him, but he did it. So therefore, Loma's still the fucking champion. Yo, got uh, that um, simple. It, it, here's, it, here's the thing. Um, oh, we can, everybody man. can have their own personal Hall of Fame. We can have their personal undefeated, undisputed and all that. Like boxing is subjective enough, but we need to also be able to sit to separate our own personal thing from actually what's happening. So when we're telling people like what it is, they get the difference between our own personal reality versus what is actually happening in boxing. And what's actually happening in boxing is this is not an undisputed fight because of the way that this is, because of the process of how we got here. So it is actually disputed, correct? And actually at this point, it's actually been only for three belts. And you and it is a four division undisputed at this point in time, tw- in twenty twenty. So, so right. it's only for three belts. This is not for an undisputed fight. You can say what you wanted to say about it, but just make the differentiate. This is differentiate for the fa- you know for the fans who don't know. That, that that's all I say. I mean, and your points. I want to jump in real quick, but do you, do you need to go next, bro? Because uh, I, I don't want to keep like cutting you off like everybody. You know what I mean, like. Cause I got a point to make, but but do you need to jump in with some? Everybody else cuts punch off, but you don't. The fuck you talking about? Oh, you see now you, that, that's personal, bro. Like that's what I'm talking about. Why why are you tight at me, bro? Like you know what I'm saying? This is a box of conversation. Actually, that's a great segue because what I'm trying to say is if us, us educated uh, fan, you know what I'm saying? Yo, fans of boxing. If us educated fans of boxing can't come to a clue a conclusion. When there's seven t- seventeen thousand people watching this channel, who the hell is going to? You know what I'm saying? So why and why are you getting mad at me and say, "Oh, everybody like like everybody great. cuts off punch," but you don't? Like, come on, bro. That's a that's great. a low blow. It's a it's a you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, let's let's talk. Like, like grow men. Hold on, Glenn. 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 Yeah, hold yeah, on, it's, Glenn. It's, right it's before, beautiful. hold on, real quick. Hold on, real quick, Glenn. Hold you on, just punch talked the punch, <laughs> and you said, "I don't want to cut you off like everybody else is." So what are you talking about? Did I say right, you guys, specifically? Just, 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 hold on, hold on. Hold did on. I say you specifically? Like, like, like you didn't say me specifically everybody. earlier? Hey, let's punch, uh, throw us two punches in, bro. No, oh, okay. Yeah, man. I'm yeah, saying, but I, 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 I didn't get credit. Now, okay, a, my bad. Go ahead. Now, a, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to keep saying the same thing all over. I feel like, again, we're fans. Can we just end this? You know, end this? We, uh, just bring a new topic. We fans. We fans. We know what's going on. And if we disagree on, I, I just don't see why anybody disagreeing. If you, if 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 I believe you're a true boxing fan, I, I just don't see where's the disagreement. I, I, has I has, there, has there ever been history, has there history, ever been this many questions Loma surrounding an undisputed fight? fight? It's on. It's has only. It's, been it's only a question. Surrounding... It's only a question. Oh. For me, in my opinion, if you're a just, I only hear this from 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 Haney fans. I only hear it from Haney fans. I only hear it. it, it listen, it, 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 the, the issue is the issue is Haney is the one with the belt, and he is the one who who is in order for it to be undisputed. The dispute is with Devin Haney, right? You don't have to be a Devin Haney fan. You can just follow the sport and understand that. that yeah, is you can't just be a boxing. Fan. Yeah, hey, not only we that, can't just be boxing fans. Hey. 
Hey, smoke. Did I, you see I, on, I just gave uh, you my opinion. You I on, just don't. Uh, I just don't see if we could identify what's wrong. That's why my first video I said for Devin Haney to drop the belt. That's my point. I want him not to be in the fuckery of the WBC. Hey, but, if, right, right, on, if we could identify the fuckery in the WBC, then we know who's the real champion. That's all I'm saying. So you, okay. as a, so, so for me, in my opinion, y'all as a fan looking at this fight, and we know that Teofimo Lopez is the IBF. We know who has, who, who holds the WBC. We know who holds the WBA. We know who holds down the, um, the W, the W, the, uh, the IB, the WBO. Then for, for us, it is an undisputed battle. Hey, but They're here's the thing, like, though. Hey, hey, what, the, hey, what, what does Box say? What does Box say have uh, Lomachenko, his, his titles? Does it have the WBC on there? On their under box no, rank, I'm asking you, WBC. or what as a fan, what do you see? What do you no, know? No, no, this is what I see. I see. What do you know? I see. What do you know? What do you know? Is what do you know? And all these other people trying to sell to the casuals that this is undisputed. That's what I see. Yeah, I so agree. I'm a, so I'm yeah, a, so what, yeah, I'm a casual. Exactly. What I know, what I know is no. It's the other way yeah, around, man. They're trying, sell, they're trying to sell. They're trying to sell the casual. They're trying to sell it the other way. They're trying exactly. to sell that one nah. guy is the real WBC. Nah, because because nah, Lomachenko doesn't have nah, the belt. You get away. Lomachenko is a world star, bro. Come on, bro. No yeah, one's even talking the about Devin with, Haney. Dog. No, give hey, yo, dude. No one's talking about Devin Haney. You keep saying they're trying to push Devin Haney onto the casuals. No one's trying to push Devin Haney onto no casuals. They're trying to push Undisputed to the casuals. And us as boxing fans, we're like, hey, hold on. There's a, Undisputed means four world titles. And there's another guy with a world title. That's all I'm saying. And I think that yeah. Mauricio Suleiman has put a black eye and question marks around this Undisputed yeah. belt. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I think, I think the, but I think but the black guy fights on the WBC regular. My point. Yourself. My point. Guys, my, 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 but my you point. guys are saying yourselves that he gave it away. He gave my, the belt away to get elevated. You my guys said it yourselves. He gave it away. Yeah, but it's like it's, okay. Let me answer this question real quick. Real quick, he he didn't quit the job. He was elevated. He was promoted. Real quick, let me answer the Let me answer this. He didn't quit the job, right? He didn't quit the title. He was elevated. He was promoted. Now, if he was promoted to a boss, why would that make him any less of a, an employee? He got a, he, he got a higher ranking. He got a higher status. He got a higher but why position. Every He's part of the show. But why did every division? He's not no longer eligible for the per, for the employee of the awards then? Because then he wants his cake and eat it too. That is the, the whole point. He was the available. His for, is the promotion. The yes, promotion but, is but the, the award. award. The award, the undisputed, is for the workers. It's not for upper management. Oh, if there was a franchise <laughs> champion, <laughs> are you gonna give if us there was a franchise <laughs> If there was a franchise champion, if there was a franchise champion, I would respect him. Smoke's got a point there, bro. He's got a he got a he got a point there. You brought up an analogy. If there was a franchise, if there was a franchise champion, I give him that one. In every division punch, then I would recognize it. But there's not a franchise belt in every division. It's only two guys in boxing, and he gave those two guys the franchise belt because they've accomplished certain things. So I don't see how I don't see how these. Well, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. That's that if, if you look at the history of boxing, there's always gonna be a new belt. That was my that's that's why I asked y'all what what um who was the champion? What 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 did Floyd was the champion when he formed any Pacquiao? And and here and here's the thing. Now, if fans decide we... the real champion is Floyd Mayweather is not, because remember to become a super WBA champion, you have to defend it five straight times. So when he got elevated, ain't nobody called this is the fake champion when they and then they elevated Keith Thurman as a regular champion. He was still just a regular champion, but he had the official WBA belt. But nobody yeah, gave but, a damn, but, right? They we still yeah, see yeah, Thurman yeah, hey. as the champion. And that another thing too, everybody, everybody here, 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 everybody who do we see as champion? Now I know everybody's staying shut now. Go. Keep on talking. Oh, so what I'm saying is that everybody knows here that Loma is the man. He's the man at 135. We all know that. But there's just a discrepancy with the belt. That's all we're trying to say. We're not trying to big up Devin Haney. You know? It's not about that. But it's devaluing. The, it's devaluing. Just like the WBC. Yes, they're devaluing. Yes, we don't like the franchise. Yes, we don't. Nobody likes the franchise. No boxing head like the franchise. But we know 
Who's the champion? If if Canelo Alvarez Canelo Alvarez will stay Canelo Alvarez will stay in 160. And he was elevated. People say just people just want to hear about the drop, but he got elevated. Elevated. That means top. Like you're going up. Yeah. So so, so who's check the champion? This out. So, Charlo or Canelo? So so if if everybody hates the the franchise thing, why are we trying to trying to trying to make the franchise thing the the main belt? When we should be throwing that away. Because Lomachenko okay, didn't okay. lose to anybody for the WBC exactly, belt. That's man. the fucking like, uh, point, uh, man. What is we? Yo, yo uh, Prince, I'm about to head up, man. Yeah, but I'm about to go to sleep, y'all. Have a good night, y'all. I don't, I don't blame you, Guido. Have a great it's night, like, brother. It's, it's, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like, like this. It's like we're getting it, and then it goes back. Like y'all know the answer, but it's like you don't, y'all don't want to say it. I, but if you know the fuckery, then you know. Like we hate the franchise. All right, so take the franchise off. Then who's that dude? Who's the what, dude? What it, what, what it does, what it does is it decreases the fuck. Come on, it just say shit. Yes or no, ass or Loma, no, whoever, no, man. No, 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 it, it doesn't have an explanation, my brother. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? But no? why does undisputed have to have so many questions around it, Punch? That's we could, we could hear you so for me, for me, for me, for me, it doesn't have any questions. Well, hey, me, but, doesn't have any questions. Hey, but punch the dude is Lomachenko. Yeah, but yeah. I said, that, yeah, that's hey, it. the dude is Lomachenko. We know so, that. So, we, so let them. Know, so you know what? Not, let them. Let them. Fuck, so I don't think. Do I, don't, I don't think nobody's gonna deny that. I don't think so, nobody's gonna deny that. Lomachenko. So, all right. So let them. So let them do the fuckery with the casuals. Us hardcore, hardcore boxing fans know what the fuck is going on. This is a fucking undisputed about because we hardcore boxing fans know what the fuck was going on. That's my. That's what I'm saying. I know what you're saying, but it's, it's not. It, 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 it just sounds like Jamal Jamal Harry versus Okendo. It sounds like the same excuse that, that Jamal gave against Okendo. There's not one fight anymore. Look, 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 look. I, 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 I know, I know, I know what Punch is trying to say, right? You know, Lomachenko is the man. So if if Tio does beat uh, Loma, then Tio should be considered the man. You're right. He should be considered the man. We're we're not denying that, but it's not undisputed. That's the thing. He didn't have to fight that belt. Yeah, the distinction that you're looking for for Loma is lineal. That's usually what this thing is, is the real man at a di in the division. Even though you may not have all the titles or any of the titles, then you're the lineal guy. If you're the guy to beat in the division, then that's supposed to be the quote-unquote real champion. But that is a but completely he, different he distinction. He was elevated for the WBC as the, the man at the WBC. Or, so that is, but, but that's a different lineal account for the WBC. Champion, or even or, 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 a, a uh, sanctioned body title holder or or having all of the sanctioned by these titles, right? And that's what we're talking about when we use these, when these use these distinctions. When you say an undisputed, that means nobody can dispute it. That means you have all the recognized titles, oh, right? That's what that means. That's what undisputed means. So when you say undisputed, it's not just you make up the word as you go along because you feel like that's the man. The man is the lineal guy, not the guy with all the belts. I I'm going to see, like, it's going to be funny if Gary Russell beats Haney and then everybody gonna be like, uh, I want to see if anybody says, "Yo, he's ducking uh, Gary Russell," because everybody knows he's not ducking Gary Russell. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> you know that's gonna that's be funny as fuck, bro. Glenn, you nah, know nah, nah. Gonna... I, I just bet twenty dollars, bro. Twenty on my hard on fucking twenty dollars, bro. Come on, man. You're not gonna, nobody, nobody gonna be like, "Well, <laughs> Teofimo Lopez or Lomachenko is ducking Gary Russell." Too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. That that part. <laughs> y'all know y'all ain't gonna be saying that. No, but he got to fight Gary Russell Jr. Or he's not the real WBC champion. Yeah, yeah he's right. ducking Gary Russell Jr. Yeah, yeah, if he moves no, up to no, 140. Literally, he is not the real WBC champion. Like, Gary well, Russell, to be like, undisputed, you, if, 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 if Luke say, Campbell, if, if, if Luke, yo, remember, you got to remember Luke Campbell and Javier Fortuna was about to fight for that same title. They were. And, and you know who has it right now? And in, in his next fight, it'll be right there on box rack as a WBC champion. Yeah, and Devin nobody. Haney. And no, yeah, Devin Haney. You know who won't have it on their next fight? Lomachenko. Yeah, nobody was anyway. Have, 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 have Javier Fortuna was gonna win. Ain't nobody will gonna be saying, "Yo, but Javier Fortuna is the real champion, not Lomachenko." They would have look at they would have look at Javier Fortuna like a in, like like a the 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 regular like the like how we look at the WBA regular. Yeah. They would have well, never I mean, elevated listen, him if those Fortuna. You can look at Andretti however you look at Andretti, but he's still a 160 pound champion. You can say what you want about Triple G and Canelo and Charlo and how they did what how they got to where they got to. But guess what? Those guys are all champions. And to be undisputed, you have to collect all of those belts. Uh, yeah, I agree. They have to have all those four belts. 
And if they had so a franchise so belt every me, division, guys, I would respect so, it more. So you tell me, guys, do you respect lineal champions? I don't recognize them. I mean, I respect them, but I don't recognize them for undisputed. Do you yeah, recognize of course, them? Of, of, of course, we, of, of course, we uh, respect. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, yeah I respect, I respect. But they're not. That doesn't that, mean they're not undisputed. Anything to do with undisputed? Yeah, they're completely untethered to undisputed. But they do. But they do clarify who's the real man in division because you can have all the belts and still the real man is somebody else. That's my whole point about m making these distinctions clear. You can be the man and have zero belts. Canelo was the man at 160 and had no belts. I would Canelo have could these be issues the no matter the weight division, smoke. no matter the hey. fighters, I would have these issues. If, if hey. somebody trying hey. to tell me it's hey. undisputed uh, when I know Black better, Brown, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't agree. Canelo can be the man at 168 and he has no belts. At 168. Yeah, I was just saying. Like, I, I, you, you know, we, we can do, with this whole idea about the real champion, that's cool. We, and we can do that. There's a distinction for that guy, right? There's, a, there's the man to beat. There's the lineal champion. There's the undisputed champion. There's a unified champion. And there's just a regular old champion. And it sucks that this is what we have to go through as boxing fans. But this is what we got to go through as boxing fans. Yeah, so but real quick, man. But real quick, nobody, we all know that Canelo might be the, the A side. But we all know that he's he's not he's he's not the, the the true champion nowhere near the 168. We all know this. Let me say let, let me say one more thing too. Like just to, just to, to to finish off for me this argument. There's, there's the difference. You know, if if uh, when it comes down to it, right? Let's say after the uh, the shoulder injury, right? With his request uh, to to the WBC, they said no, fuck you, Haney. You're not gonna get uh, an email championship. Then it would have been up the uh, up in the air, and then COVID happened. Somebody would have had to fight for it, and it would have still been up in the air. And guess who would have been the fucking champion in the WBC? Without a doubt, Lomachenko. So the, I, I don't understand. Going on what like, like, yeah, but that's the a point. You guys are going on what ifs. That's the point. The point is that Lomachenko is the champion. Yeah, there's a big difference from any side of lineage. There's a big difference. You know, you are going, you're going on what is. There is no what is. We're going on what's 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 reality. The reality is that he hasn't had a fight since he got it back. He had he hasn't earned it. They're confusing the A side. Don't matter. I'm sorry. That don't matter. It doesn't matter that he didn't earn it. But yeah, you guys are boxing pugilists. You love the sport. You you you're so hardcore. No fuck that. To be unified, you gotta beat the champions. But yet he never fought anybody to get that championship. Oh my god, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yo, Glenn, 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 you, you, you already, you already, you already, you, 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 you already mummed them. You, you already mummed them when you said about if if, if Javier Fortuna or this person was gonna win. And nobody nah, said nothing. Nobody would be calling for that fight. It's, it's, the thing is, I mean, with Gary Russell Jr., nobody would be calling for that fight. Nobody, exactly. saying, nobody will be yes. saying that Teofim Lopez will have to go and fight a guy Rosa Jr. if he beats them. The, the, nobody calls him. Or Loma, Loma, or Loma, Loma, not just Gio, or Loma. I have the same energy. He gave it away. That's, that's what you guys don't understand. He gave it away. He earned it? Yeah. Is he going no, to... There's a difference time? between giving it away. Yo, if he was not yeah. elevated, yeah. if he was not elevated and the WBC... Yeah, said, if, if, if. Yeah, but we're not talking if. So we're talking reality. Yes, exactly. If, if, no, but if, they're, they're confusing vacating a title with being elevated. There's a big difference. That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. That's what no, I'm saying. he did vacate it, but he vacated the title mm -hmm. and got elevated. Yeah, he did. But both things happen. He can not get elevated. Either or. You have to vacate in order to elevate. Also, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's like saying you're. you're that's like you saying you're fired. You the title when you have the title. Exactly. Also, exactly. What you're missing is also what what you're. I think you guys are missing is if yes, if he didn't get elevated, he would be champion. But he would also have to fight Devin Haney to legitimize that championship because of the manner that he got it. That's what you're missing. He, you, you, you keep skip, skipping past the fact that it was Devin Haney's title shot that Lomachenko got. So in, in order to legitimize him as a WBC champ, he would either have to either become elevated or fight Devin Haney. Those and, yeah, out there, he was, and then okay. he was going to lose it, and then they, they stripped him, and they was going to make a fight for that belt, and then they gave it back to him, and y'all want to take that belt serious. Yes, when, that's when the belt COVID. that y'all want to take serious right yeah, now. Yeah, welcome to COVID. That's the world. Welcome that's the COVID. world championship. Elevated, and they're, they're, huh? one thing that they're forgetting, one thing that they're right, forgetting, when he got the title back, the the, 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 clock, the clock starts right there. It didn't start from when he had it back then. The clock starts from his mandatory a year from there. So it was when he when he got the title back, the clock starts clicking from that get go. 
So Lomachenko right, didn't have to fight right. him. And he, they, he, and they were, Lomachenko could have had a, and they had a voluntary and defense and then had a, had a fight Haney. That's the time correct. schedule, bro. Right, right, and right, COVID right. hit. So he, yeah, yeah exactly. And he chose to go for, for the undisputed. It's simple as that. Right. And the only the reason, hold on real quick, I'll, I'll land my plane. Was, hold on, bro, hold on, let me finish real quick. Let me land it, let me land it, right? And the only reason that WBC allowed allowed Devin Haney to get elevated was to, to allow the, the, the mandatory to have his shot, right? That was the only reason. That's the only reason, bro. No, the, the issue was the issue was that WB said, WBC said we're not going to call the mandatory, and that is against their own rules. That's why they had to elevate him, right? Because Devin Haney, I'm sure, would have been fine with him waiting in a mandatory spot. But they're like, yeah, nah, but he, he got a free shot. Yeah, but we're not even going to call he, a mandatory for you. And, and he, good for that, him. That, 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 he got a free ride. That, I mean, we're not hating right. for them, but we got we're acknowledging that that's what hey, hey, but, but the thing is, is vacated. He vacated and he got elevated. Or if he didn't uh, vacate, you don't get fired. You get a promotion. He got elevated. He got elevated. He would have had both. He would have had the other man. The other dude was on workers' comp. The other guy was on workers' comp with a shoulder's injury. He was he on was workers' comp. Then you get elevated, right? It's the same thing. He, he was on workers' comp with a shoulder injury. Okay, but when you get elevated, yeah, the but he still held his job. What? He still he still held his job. He was on workers' he, comp, but he correct. still held yeah, his job. Yeah, but 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 he, he was in a bad honor, and they took away oh, his title. Man, you're not following. Because you know why? Not they, they, they're not following, bro. He lost his okay, title okay. while he was on workers' okay. comp because they, they filled the positions. So yeah, it was okay. whatever position was open when no, he came okay. back. But then okay. he emailed them and you know talked to to the hot head honcho. Yo, come on, please, please give me my job back. Give me my after job back. Weeks, oh, okay. oh, you know what? After six weeks, every employer has a right to replace that injury. Exactly. Let me ask that question. Let me ask that question. Is Manny Pacquiao? Is Manny Pacquiao? Is Manny Pacquiao the real the the real WBA super WBA champion? Is Manny Pacquiao the real? Is Manny Pacquiao the real super WBA champion? Yes, he can't fight yes. no bet tories. He could do whatever yes. he wants to do. He yes, do he's, he wants a to do. Yeah, yeah. Hey, he's a real champion. Yeah, he's a real WBA champion. Why? Because there's he was a, a regular champion. champion. I'm gonna tell you because why. Because I'm gonna tell why? You why. Did he make five defenses? The many Pacquiao made five defenses. The many Pacquiao made five defenses. I'll tell you. Because there's a super in every division. The many Pacquiao made five defenses. Every division. The many Pacquiao made five defenses. I tell you how. I don't yeah, know what that question is. Manny Pacquiao made five defenses. Damn it, I'm asking the fucking no, question. No, no, he did I not. I don't know the answer defenses. to that question. No, no, no. All right, man, to become a defenses. super WBA no. champion, no. to become a super WBA champion, you got to make straight, five straight defenses to become a super WBA champion. Cinco. Uh, uh, can I, can I it's in the rule book. Uh, 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 it's in the rule book. Shut up, man. Answer the fucking question. Fuck the explanation. There's one other way. There's one other way, punch. Answer the question. Answer the question. Answer the question. I'm you. You're not the fucking talk, bro. You're not going to answer my question. I'm the fucking host. I, I didn't no. answer your question. No, no, no. Keep it real, y'all. Y'all want to talk about belts and shit like that? He ain't the real fucking champion no more, right? He ain't make I, no okay. five defenses. Uh, okay, can I, can I say something? He ain't make five uh, defenses, uh, right? Punch. Punch. But the, Manny Pacquiao was a WBA regular. Yeah. Keith Thurman was a WBA super. Okay. So when Manny was so when Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman fought, they were fighting for the WBA Super because he was a Why? Regular. That is the other. Why? That is the other way. Let, let me Why? finish. That is. Let, I, I'll tell you. Let, let me finish. That is the other it's way. It's easy to let, answer. Let, 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 let not an explanation. Bro, I don't want bro. any explanation. I don't <laughs> got bro, all the time in the I'm world, I'm trying to explain bro. it to you. Want not, to no, it's not. You won't let no, me. it's not. No, it's not an explanation. I uh, could, okay. nah, I'm not gonna let you. I want somebody to give me that 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 fashion. Not not. Ain't no one minute shit. Ain't no one minute shit, bro. I'm not giving no, I don't give me no fucking explanation. I know my fucking shit. I ain't no fucking casual, bro. I don't need an explanation of what's going on. It's reconnaissance, man. You gotta get the information quick. Matter of time. Hey, so I wanted to respond respond to uh Glenn. Uh when you said that guy went on workers' comp, right? He said he went on workers' comp and he got replaced, right? Who who replaced uh who replaced him with that belt? Who got that belt? Nobody, yeah, because it was up in the exactly. air. Exactly. So he and didn't then he emailed it. for it. No, so he, he emailed didn't for it. it. If nobody he emailed for position, it, nobody so it was yeah. Position, they would have made it. Made they would have made about it. They no, would have made about about it. You know what I'm saying? It, it was it was open for interviews. Put it like that. I'm not gonna say he was replaced, yeah, but it was open for interviews. How about that? You happier with that? 
No, yeah, what it is. You're happier with that? Because yeah, I've been yeah, a supervisor yeah, my whole life. Like, so don't like, talk to me about he, that. He didn't get replaced. Yeah, he, there was interviews, but he didn't <laughs> but, but, yeah, there was open for interviews, Yo, though. he can't complain, bro. Because yeah, think about it. If casuals, don't, if, if casuals don't know shit and, and us bo hardcore boxing fans can't be on the same page, and not as what the WBC do what they do. Because we can't because we can't identify the fucking truth, right? So let it them do punch. what they want to do. Let's not critique them no more. Let's it, not just, it sounds kind of funny that they allow... We don't know who the fuck Undisputed is because we're so fucking dumb. No, because Mauricio yeah. Suleiman plays too many bullshit-ass games. That's and why. we yeah. know that. You were so, blaming, right, so, so, so you were blaming him last yeah. week. But you were but blaming yeah. Mauricio Suleiman last week, bro, and that's what we're doing today, right? That's what we're doing today, right. but for I some am reason blaming today, the same you guys guy don't like it. I am blaming the same guy, Black. He, he's Black. been blaming him, bro. He's been blaming him. Bro. That's all I'm doing. That's and I'm okay, doing, and bro. I'm saying, all right. So take all the fuckery out the way. Who is the man? Who was the la who, who was the WBC champion? Hey, punch. Who earned the right? Who if, if, earned if, the right? If if the franchise belt is fuckery, why don't you why don't you why don't you choose to oh give rid of that God. instead of the WBC belt? Okay, you know, so, so, so simple question. Who's the, who's the last person? Who's the last person to actually fight and win the WBC championship? Who? Yeah, that question has you know no, what it is. You know what it is. Is that they're no, okay with Devin Haney? Oh, it has no bearing. Wow. They who's the last okay, person they, to fight they, and win the they, WBC? They okay I was about to say that they, because it's good that their favorite fighter has a belt. Exactly. That's, what it is. <laughs> that's that's crazy though, bro. I don't understand well, it. Bro. I was about to say that, man. It's, it's like they're okay with Devin Haney getting a free shot, no mandatory. You know what I mean? No, 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 no fighting for the vacant title. No, no, no. They're okay with that, but they're okay with the other way around. It was the other way around. I'm not okay with that. 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 I'm not okay I'm a mad at Mauricio Suleiman for introducing the franchise belt into the situation, and now we got Devin Haney sitting on the side with a fucking belt. I really can give, give a fuck less about Devin Haney. I'm mad about the fuckery with the belts. It ain't got nothing to do with Devin Haney. So, L dude, please stop yeah. saying, oh, these dudes are just happy yeah. their favorite fighter got a belt. That's not yeah. what we're yeah. doing right okay. now, bro. Exactly. That's not what we're doing. That's not what I said. What okay, I said was they were okay, happy. They were happy. Real quick, let me ask you that. No, no, I didn't no. say that. Let me let me ask you real quick, brother. Yeah, I no, said yeah, take your time, brother. Take your time. Take your time. My bad, bro. No, go ahead. That's no, cool. Thank you. What I said is that they were happy with the fact that when Haney got stripped, he was giving back his title with no uh, vacant title shot, no mandatory, right? Because what We're happens? Hold on, 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 Haney didn't earn his position back, but when he got when he was given the title, Lomachenko had one year to fight him, and he he also had a voluntary fight before he could fight him, and he went for the undisputed. That's, what's wrong with that? All right, let, let me respond. All right, let me respond. Who said they were happy with Haney getting that belt the way he got it? Okay, or, I, or receiving it? We never because said you that. Got, no, okay, but my, never, my, my, my whole point to them. Okay, let me let me let me be specific. Let me be specific. Let me be specific. No, let me be specific. And I'll get. I'll turn it back to you. You, you said yeah, you you're demanding demanding, demanding Lomachenko to fight Haney, but you're not demanding Haney to fight that particular vacant title shot that he should have had according to the WBC rules. All right, are you yeah, going to be talking? It was changed for Haney. It was okay to change the rules for Haney. Yo, I'll do it. I, I, I'm here. I'm hearing you. We all hearing you, bro. Let let, let Ray talk because otherwise it's just confusion and and nobody understands what you're saying. No, so so let, right. let, let so, him respond. All right. So your original comment, what you were saying is that you know these dudes are happy with the way they, Devin Haney got his belt with no mandatories and none of this and none of that. We didn't even mention Devin Haney first of all. We I can give a shit less about Devin Haney how he got his belt if he's a champion he's not the champion I I can give two fucks about that my boy. What I'm trying to say is that Devin Haney has the belt. The way he got, I don't care about all that other shit. I'm just saying that, you know, he has the original belt. We, we didn't even talk about Haney. I don't I care less about Devin Haney. You know what I mean? 
where uh, and 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 how he got his uh, how he got his belt is bullshit. Okay. That's what we're Ooh. trying to say. It, he, yeah, the way he got his belt it was bullshit. It, no, it I is understand. bullshit. I but he has the belt. I understand. I understand that part, but just a rebuttal. You care more about the title. I care more about who's the people's champion. Right. But the people's Yo, champion is a fake. Is a fake word. It's not a real word, bro. Okay, but, okay, but there's, no, there's no substance know, to people's hold on, champion. Hold, on, oh, hold up, because I would like to respond to and I think Bunch would like to respond as well. So, all right, cause, cause I, I got a, I got a point. So I, I think we all, we should all share the platform. You know what I'm saying? I know, I know, I know it's heated. I know it's heated. You know what I mean? But let me respond though. So, cause he's here okay. saying, uh, dude is saying that he cares more about the people's champion and the belt, right? That that we don't. What well, we, the thing is, is that the fight is being as undisputed, right? It's not. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the who's the real people champion and who's not the real people's champion, who's who's considered or not. And we're talking about the way they're making this fight go, and that's the WBC's fault. That's what I'm. That's what we're trying to say. We're not trying to mention Devin Haney's name, Lomachenko's no, name. I understand that, bro. You're on the title. You're just you're just talking about the title. I get that. You're talking about the title. And this is what I'm saying. saying. You're forgetting about the elevation. And this is what I'm saying. And this is what I'm saying. Us and this is what I'm saying. Us as hardcore boxing fans. That we create, we are a community that creates narratives. Then we need to create the narrative. If we come together as the community, we put that 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 force on the WBC, and we tell the casuals, we educate the casual that this fight that's going on is really an undisputed bout. Well, and if I if I may, as far as um, Yo, let's be the teachers. morally morally yes. Yo, yo, but not, hold, hold not, on, hold on. Let, let me respond though, because we we got we got to share the platform. That that's why I'm trying to like, yeah, I'm not trying to cut nobody off. I'm letting everybody talk too. I'm not trying to cut nobody off. So that's the way some way somebody says later, yo, yo, you were cutting everybody off. I know I got the biggest mic on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Everybody can hear me clearly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, but you know what I mean. Like uh, when it comes to the uh, Devin Haney, I'm, I'm not trying to specifically point out Devin Haney, but this is who is uh, uh, the title holder right now, and this is the conversation at hand. So what? What am I gonna like say? Uh, you know, uh, fucking Peter Pan, or I'm gonna say this person or that? No, it's it's fucking Devin Haney who has the belt. That's what we're speaking about. We're grown man. We we know what who we talking about. So let's just be honest and just fucking you know air out the elephant in the room. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm not hating on Haney. I, I've, I've said plenty of times that I like Haney, and I know he's got potential. But, but, but you, what I don't think y'all understand is, is that Lomachenko got that, uh, uh, that, that, uh, that belt because, you know what I'm saying, it was elevation, and that's why he dropped the other belt. He was the last person to beat a, another person for that belt. You know what I'm saying? Otherwise, it was emailed to Haney twice. And both times that it was uh, he was supposedly ducking Haney, Haney was, you know, on a uh, shoulder injury or had another fight lined up. So I don't understand what the, what the, what the problem is. And, and, you know, like, it, it is what it is. Haney was gifted with that belt. Yo, he was next in line. Great. Great job, buddy. You know what I'm saying? And just, just, my, just to add on, just to, just to, add that, that, just to think about it. Hold on, hold on, hold on it's my turn. Hold on, let me go now. Hey, really? But, Glenn, I think you're missing the point because how ha how Haney received the belt and what he has done with the belt since he got it doesn't matter. That's not our argument. Our argument is that other belt is out there and it exists. Now, the fact that they It should Haney be, though. It, it okay, should be the Haney. argument. If you were talking just about belts, it should be the argument. But we're but we're talking about we're talking about undisputed. We're talking about gaining what? all them belts together. We're not talking about how Devin Haney received it. Devin Haney got to give it to him for free. Oh, that's man, another bro. reason why I'm mad at Riso Suleiman. But if we're talking, bro, that, about that, that's like that's like if somebody if somebody left, uh, 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 oh, like man, you know the, the, the NBA. Be exactly because it has to be viewed like that. Why, Somebody leaves the NBA and exactly says, "Yo, here, yo, take take my title for this, yo. Now you're the center of the of the uh, you know of the L.A. Clippers. Here, here you go. This is, this is my 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 contract right here. I'm gonna transfer it over to you. All of a sudden, now now you're like the center of the. That, that doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. Like you yeah, know, you gotta you gotta real quick, you gotta real quick, yeah, Glenn, that. No real quick Glenn, Glenn brought up the elephant just a real while ago. It is, it is like an elephant, you know what I mean? They're trying they're trying to look at an elephant with a microscope rather than look step, taking a step back, <laughs> looking look, looking at the panoramic view. 
Exactly. Like, you got to take a step back and look at the panoramic view, right? If you just focus on the title, who got the title, this and that, the, the detail, like, you know, like, you, it's a microscope, bro. You got to take, you got to zoom out. You know Since I mean? when have we had to look at an undisputed bout with a microscope? Can you please just tell me that? Since when have we're we had to do that? We're doing it now, bro. We're doing, okay, we're doing, we're it, doing now. it now. Who got the title? Okay, Who exactly. got the title? That's all. Right? That's my only point, Punch, is we're doing it now. That's my only point. And I'm not blaming no fighters. It's the no first fighters. time that there's been a franchise. You, 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 you cut me off. You cut me off, bro. You cut me off, bro. My fault, my fault, my fault. Let me finish. My fault, Brown. What you said before that? My fault. No, that, no, because he cut me off. I said, we're doing we're it now, doing it but now. the only ones who are, who are voting for that are David Haney fans, are the ones who are opposing it. Are That's not true. Fans. That's not true. Well, we I'm are opposing split it. down the middle. We I'm are opposed. split down exactly. the middle. I don't know about the down the middle. We're, we're split down the middle on this shit. This whole community is split down the middle, whether it's undisputed or not. And but some you people include, can take it personal. But you gotta include some people media. can take it personal, then whatever. Some people can take it personal if they want to, but whatever. We have a, we have a strong vote, but mainstream media also have a strong vote. So we have to include everybody's vote, everybody's vote. All right, so let me yeah, tell you. All this. I'm saying is there's question marks around right, this on, fight. Hold on, hold on. You knew, I know you guys know morally it's undisputed, but technically, is it undisputed? Yes or no? Technically. Yeah, it is. Technically, it is, bro. <laughs> the, 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 word techni- the word technically, oh, yeah. the word technically means like technically it is undisputed, but on paper it's, it's not. Right. Okay. No, who, no, no, no. Who, I just don't see the, the point. I don't hold see on. the point. Okay. Who's the champion? Hold on. Hold on. That can wrap. Technically, it is. Hold on. 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 It's a championship belt. Nah, it's, it's, a, it's a designation. They're, they're recognizing this. It's a status. They're already whatever they're doing, but as of now, it's and not. And BoxRec is the, only the one source, by the way. Keep holder, in mind that BoxRec is only one source. Yeah, the championship title holder is definitely. And it's not an official source, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, uh, let's go down the line. Let's check all these websites. Let's talk bo- there box. There is no I, really like, official let's source. Let, let's. Oh, all right. So where? So what? So so if there's no official source, then what are we going by? Which which which? which yeah, that's which that's facts, man. Like that's that's, that's what, what I'm saying. saying. We all hey, have opinions. It's just a it's that's just what, a trusted hey, opinion. Hey, it's guys, a collaborative and opinion. That's what that I'm people, saying, guys. When, like, has, when has there been an argument like this about an undisputed match? That's my only point, man. That WBC created this bullshit. That's my only point. I'm trying to make. I, you, you, I, made, I, you made you made your point a long time ago, though. Like what I'm saying is, is that my bad punch. I, I, I apologize, bro. No, nah, I'm saying I was gonna say I was gonna say I was probably gonna utter the same thing. I've I've made videos about the WBC. The thing is, if we know what's going on, then we should be on the same. I feel we should be on the same page. That's what yeah, I'm man. saying. Uh, yeah, I believe that that um that we are in that sense. We all understand. That the the reason we're having you just asked a question, uh, black and brown. You just asked a question. When when have we ever had an argument like this about undisputed? Right. We all disagree with the what the WBC did with the franchise belt. However, what you're trying to do is demote Lomachenko and his franchise belt as if somebody actually took it from him. He's uh, still I, the I, WBC I, champion. I, I I'm think just not. The, I'm just not I, forgetting on, about I, I, the I, I, world I, I, championship belt. I'm not demoting Lomachenko. I think they're confusing, like, who's who's the best fighter or who's going to be the best fighter, Consider the best fighter with who's undisputed. No, but that, that's already been that, done. Nah, that's already yeah. been done We're in the WBC about sanctioning that, body. Yeah. No, no, see, they, they already did that in the WBC sanctioning body. No, no, so... so no, oh, the so WBC Lomachenko, already answered that so, question. So if, T- if, T- T- wins, if TOV Mo wins, right, he is probably going to be considered the best at 135, right? But it's not going to be undisputed, that's all I'm trying to say. No, but I was just answering your question to the first one, right? The oh, WBC or, or the WBC already put it to vote. Who is their number so one most recognized elite fighter, the guy to be, to, to challenge for undisputed? It's Lomachenko, bro. They already decided that. And I'm, I'm yeah, going to say one more thing. Y'all must have not been here. Y'all must have not been here when Tiafimo Jr. was here and said, if there's any doubts, and he's going to fight for undisputed. But if there's any doubts, 
then he'll go ahead and fight Devin Haney. That's out his mouth on this channel. And that's what I'm talking about. And that's and what that's, I'm talking about. And that's, and that's and exactly what the point is. He, that's but the point is he doesn't need to. But that's his oh, – him being a champion – no, he doesn't need to. He, him being a champion, you he, that's a his fan, ego right there. That? His ego, his ego, his courage is telling you that. But I'm telling you right now that me personally, I'd be satisfied if he beats Lomachenko. Exactly. I, I, don't fucking, I don't think Haney's gonna beat fucking Lomachenko. You ridiculous? Exactly. I, I, what? That's that's in my opinion, that's going backwards, bro. In my opinion, after if he beats Lomachenko, gotta go to to, to fight. That's moving backwards, in my opinion. See, this That's is where the conversation even changes to another whole aspect. If, now you guys if, don't if, want him if, to go wait, fight David if, Haney? If, if, if he moves up, if we can move up to 140 and fight and, and fight those other champions. If he's going to stay in 135, then yeah, fight David Haney. Yeah, take him out the picture. Yeah, of course. If he's going to stay in 135, but the talk of it, if, if after this fight, and he beat the man at 135. Yeah, the that's point it. is that he doesn't need to. Is the point that that's the thing, that's what I, I think everybody's mis misconstruing that he doesn't need to fight Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Like but he's you know happen, by beating Loma. But you know what's gonna happen, Glenn? When when Teofimo beats Lomachenko, he's gonna become damn near in the status of Canelo, man. Pay per view. He's gonna be yeah. a damn beat. No, I put it this way: this whole this whole thing started even before before he they even elevated anybody. That's it facts. started before they even elevated anybody. That's facts, man. That, that's what I was this, saying this, earlier this about the more, shoulder more injury, about the, that's the why two time emails. Bring, yeah, that's, that's what I was saying that's, earlier. Exactly. This is that's for what glory and everything. That's why we have to bring the Haney. The, and, the Haney, and, and, Haney. And, and, because this, yes, this, this was brewing before anybody got elevated. Oh, that he's going to, he, he, he don't want to fight this person because he's ducking it. It all started way before the damn fucking franchise. And guess what, dude? If Lomachenko beats Teofimo, guess what? I don't, I'm not going to consider him undisputed unless he goes and fights Stan Mahaney for the belt he gave away. Oh, that's your yeah, opinion. Go, yeah, I feel the same way. He has to go get his I'd belt like, back. I'd be I like, he undisputed. He beat the man. The, that's, the he franchise move to Jose. allows him. He, he, he want to move to Jose ahead. Ramirez? Psst. Go ahead and get that other. Go and become and, and become a, a unified. 104, go gun for 140 unified. Yeah, go I don't ahead. see Lomachenko moving up. I don't, I don't see Lomachenko moving up at all. Win, lose, no, or draw. No, he's no, he's no, gonna stay. If, 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 if he yeah, if he, if yeah, he might go down to one thirty. If Fimo wins, yeah, he'll go up. No, if he Fimo, will be a man, he he could move up. He could do whatever he wants. He'll get he'll nobody get in that resume where he need to prove anything. Down nah, there. man, he, he, he don't need he to prove that ticket. I, I think all these one thirty five youngers are gonna move up at some point, bro. Hey, let me ask you guys this, Elder. Let me ask you guys this: If if uh, say say uh, if. Um, Say what's his face? Uh, Lomachenko wins, right? Just for whatever reason, and you guys consider him undisputed, right? If he if he goes down to one thirty, right? And who who's the who's the WBC champion at one thirty? Uh, is it is it Burchell? Yeah, Burchell's down there. Okay, Burchell's uh, down there, right? Jojo Diaz, and then, I think, the man, and uh, say say he say he beats everybody else except Oscar Valdez. Is he undisputed? But Burchell has a WBC. Would 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 uh would uh, Lomachenko be undisputed without beating the WBC champion? See, right now he has a WBC. Uh, oh, you asking punch? My bad. No, I'm asking uh, El Dude. If oh, Lomachenko decides punch. to move down either without either facing Devin Haney, you mean? Yeah, either either one of you guys. Say, I'm just saying. For say, for instance, a Lomachenko beats Teofimo, right? He beats him, right? Yeah. And he goes down to 130. He's the franchise champion, right? If he, if he beats everybody down there except the WBC holder, which is say uh, Burchell, is he uh, is he undisputed champion without no. without Burchell? No, WBC no, no, yeah, no, no, because there's no franchise champion in no, that particular. No, division. I, 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 well, I, 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 I did that. I did this Lomachenko, I, Lomachenko would be the franchise champion. I did this guy. No, you're, 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 you're assuming that he will no, get elevated. No, we, we spoke about this before. We spoke. <laughs> we spoke. We spoke. I don't know if I spoke to you about it, uh, Raider, before. Well, I spoke. I spoke to this before. No. Yeah, trying to you, you because you're trying to the, the um you're trying to say oh because the franchise belt so everywhere he go and he wins and if he fights a unification but then he's undisputed no the thing is Lumachenko won the WBC in 135 stay to the stick to the division I know what you're trying to say but no it's not about if he goes to a heavyweight with the franchise and he beats uh, Anthony Joshua that come on man come on my boy oh, no I no. didn't say anything about heavyweight come on. All right, all right, but, but that's the same you're thing. A little, a little too far right there. I'm well, talking that's about the same thing you're trying to say. It's the same thing. 
if he goes to 130 and he has the franchise belt and he wants the unification yeah, belt, they be coming for so the same I mean. shit. So it's, it's, it's almost insinuated the same thing. If Lomachenko goes to a, to the heavyweight division and beats uh, um um Anthony Joshua, that he's and he, that he's undisputed. Nah, Lomachenko won his belt in 135, the WBC 135 in 135 pounds. Jose Ramirez second, versus Josh second. Taylor. One second, one second, one second. All right, so so the franchise, Yo, say, guys, guys, so, guys, guys, guys. Yo, if you move one or two, we're gonna have we're gonna have some clarification. We're gonna we, 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 let, let uh oh, me, welcome to yo, welcome. Let me let, let's get some clarification. <laughs> oh, I knew oh. it was coming sooner or later. Yo, what? Hola, saludos, mi hermano, cómo están? Welcome, hey, welcome, guys. senior. Hey, welcome. What's, 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 what's up? What's cracking? You guys don't let nobody sleep, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bro, questions, senior. We got first questions. Of, first of all, I want to I want to say thank you. you. You're you're a big inspiration to my life and uh, to everybody. A great father. You know, what I mean, keep doing what you're doing. I'm cheering for you, si se puede. Hey guys, it's like a big echo. Hold on, hold on. Everybody on mute. Amen. There you go. I was just saying that I appreciate, uh, he's, he's a big inspiration as a father figure, and, and we appreciate everything he's doing, and we're cheering for him. Y si se puede, we're going for Teofimo on this particular side, and mucha suerte, que Dios lo bendiga. Oh, no te escucho, vuelve a repetir. Que Dios lo bendiga, es una inspiración usted para nosotros. Gracias, gracias, ya sabe. Como, como padre, como hombre, usted es una gran inspiración, uh, a good positive role model for everybody, and we appreciate you. And gracias por todo. Thanks a lot, man. Y ya sabes, vamos a tener el primer latino, el primer latino americano en ganar eh, las cuatro correas en las 135 libras. Sí, sí, sí. So, we're going to have the first unified champion at 135 and the first Latin champion to unify four titles. I mean, four yo, titles. Please, And please, brother, because I, because I, yo, I'm a Puerto Rican Dominican, but I love your son, man, and I've been defending you on mad channels, bro. So please clarify, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm just defending you, bro, fighting wrestling listen, for, for you guys, bro. Listen, to tell you the truth, bro, I'm going to cut it like this, man. It started when Devin Haney found out that we was going to get a chance to fight Loma. So we was like number two. Devin was like number four in the WBC. It came to our attention that Loma was going a certain route, and we decided to go the same route that Loma was going to take because we wanted to get him. That's why I moved to the IBF. My son moved to the IBF for that reason. Not because we ducked in Devin Haney. It, we moved to the IBF because we knew that Lomo was going to end up over there. And he was going to try to get that belt. So that's the only reason, man. We played it smart, and this is why, where we at. And, you know, we got the fight. That's the only reason. And we deserved the fight because we beat the man to get the man. You understand? So, you know, Devin got a belt that was just given to him because he was trying to fuck up our... You know, you know, he was going to screw up Lomacheco's uh, situation because Lomacheco really wanted to just get the IBF belt. And that's why they moved him up, you know, to protect him. You know, nobody want to see that fight with Devin. Devin hasn't proved himself yet. You know, I think Devin needs a couple of fights before he can prove himself to, to, to this magnitude of a fight. And people just don't freaking want to understand that. And no matter no matter what anybody says, you know what I'm saying? It's a done deal, you know. Love it or hate it, but we fight. We're gonna get all those four belts, and we're getting that that ring side, you know, that ring magazine belt as well. So, you know, God put everything for a reason, man. He's giving the best man uh, that night the four belts, and and that's how it is. That's a, the way it's gonna go, no matter what anybody says. It's gonna be announced on Monday, so a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna be really upset. There you go. I appreciate that, brother. <laughs> well, hey, can I ask you a real question? Yeah, but it's under contract already. We're fighting for four belts. Hey, senior, if you guys win the fight, will you go after Devin Haney's belt? Listen, that's up to my son, man. If he could make the weight, bro, we'll stay and fight him. But we don't have to fight this kid because as long as as soon as we fight Devin, everybody's gonna think we're trying to go get that belt. We ain't gotta get go go get no belt, man. We we gonna beat the man to get all the belts. You know, you know, I hope Devin makes it, man. I hope Devin stays there strong and comes and fights us somewhere else. You know, in the, in the 140 weight division, we'll be there waiting for him. The diehards know who the people champion is. And right now, Lomachenko and Teofimo Lopez. Is We're not chasing nobody, orders. nobody. Well, listen, no. we're only chasing champions right now. And to me, Devin is not a champion. There you go. 
Yo, Fimo and Lomachenko, that, that's the fight that the fans want to see, man. That's the legitimacy for the undisputed. That's what yeah, the but that fight almost got destroyed by Devin. <laughs> no, Devin wasn't even thinking about freaking fighting for Tuna, bro. Why didn't he fight for Tuna? Yes, that's exactly. He was too busy trying to get this belt. You know? Right. He was calling Mauricio, please give me my belt, man. I want my belt. You know, but why would you do that, bro? Why don't you fight for Tuna, bro? When you had the fight, it, it makes him look bad. And to feel more legitimately. Fortuna even came up and said it, man. This kid, this kid was too worried about trying to get that fake belt they gave him. Well, soon I said that on the Fino uh, on the Fino um um interview. To feel won it by knockout. Lomachenko won it. These are the two the true champions. You know what I mean? I, I think only a hater is 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 trying to disrupt this particular no great, the, this history. What's going on right now in boxing is they they want this other other cats to make it. They don't want my son to make it, but my son has been. He's been fighting the best fights. He's been risking his, um, you know, his old fighting tough comp top competition. You know, like we didn't get it easy, man. We 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 fought whoever was in front of us. Estamos contigo. We believe in you. Yeah, I know, but you know, I don't really care what people say, man. And and Loma's not winning that fight. You know, well, he's so not. Know no, what he's That's what I'm talking about. This is my David Goliath. One, my son is not gonna let a 126 beat him, bro. Trust this me, D David and Goliath, right here. No, right on, no matter how much running Lomachenko does, he's we're gonna catch him. I see it. I see it. Yo, all, all I said, all, 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 all I was saying, if we if we boxing fans, not I'm hardcore boxing fans, and if we want to say, if people want to say that there's the fuckery with the WBC, but we know that Lomachenko is the guy. We know that, right? So it's this battle, no doubt, man. Whoever wins that, whoever wins that night. His, his life is going to change. You know what I'm saying? And it's going to be my son. He's he's fresh. He's new. He's a new image in town. Loma didn't do shit with seven years they gave him. So it's time for a new guy to come in and, 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 and make that, you know, <laughs> uh, put up top rank in the map, you know, like like big time, just like Manny Pacquiao did. In the media, Gus Lomachenko has been this big monster, the number one. So we know Teofimo Lopez is fighting the best. He's fighting the best. The number We're one. We're fighting the best, correct. And that's all that that's all that matters at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? It's the new kid in, you know, it's like a new, it's like bro, a young gun, you know bro, what I mean? Anybody could say, I want to fight this guy, I want to fight this guy. But when the time comes in, bro, they, they don't want to fight nobody. You know, we we wanted to fight Loma. We went after it. We 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 even didn't take that big of a paycheck. And we still, I told my son, don't let him go, bro. You let this guy go, we're never going to see him again, bro. So, you know, that was the reason why my son said yes. And, and and we're here, you know, when everybody was calling him, you know, that he was ducking or whatever it is, I was just laughing. Respect. Mm -hmm. yep. You know, man, I could put my, my son in there with Mike Tyson. He'll fight him too. He ain't scared of nobody. <laughs> <laughs> That's the clarification, you know, man. That's the, the, yeah, he got the skills to back it up, too, man. I'm a big bro, fan. Bro, listen, yeah, nobody's seen nothing yet, bro. You know what I'm saying? This kid's just getting stronger and better every fucking day. You know, Lomacheco shit, I got him a long time ago. He ain't got no chance today. Not yeah. this not this year. Hey, you know, can I ask you a question? Or? My, son, my son is hungry as hell, bro. He wants those belts. He ain't going to let that guy take it from him. Yeah, ready to ra go ahead. Ready, uh, um, go ahead. Yeah, hey, uh, how's it going? Hey, um, so uh, we we have like this big dispute over here going um uh, to see if this fight's on dispute or not. I was I was uh trying to inquire, you know, which one do you think is the recognized belt, the one that Haney has, or the one that uh Lomachenko's franchise? Um, I I don't agree the way uh Haney got his the belt. I don't agree with it. As it was bullshit. I I've said it before. But and he does have the recognized belt, in my opinion. Though, what, what are your well, thoughts? Well, that's on what Mauricio that? said. The recognized belt is going to be the WBC franchise belt, and they're they're making it right now for us, bro. It's going to be brand new. It's going to be a different logo in the front. He told me it's going to be nice. You yeah, know, but but they're going to have it ready by October seventh, something like that. I, I and uh, I heard that it's not up to uh, Suleiman. <laughs> Uh, to see if it's a recognized belt, that it's up to the other sanctioning bodies. Are there other sanctioning bodies considering that a recognized belt? I, I guess so because it's in the contract. They, you know, they, they, they recognize who they recognize, and they're recognizing. That's they're recognizing because they understand that Devin Haney has never fought anybody. This is good for boxing. This is good for boxing, bro. You know, you know, we can't let Devin Haney come and try to destroy this. You know, only because he wanted a 
take the opportunity knowing that that belt was vacant and he didn't have to fight nobody. Of course, he was going to go for it. You know what I'm saying? But it didn't work for him because they already had plans. You know? I mean, they even told me, bro, that this kid didn't stop, bro. He just, you know, him and um in the zone and Eddie and um Eddie Hearn and all, and Eddie, and everybody was against it, you know. But uh, but something happened and and, and it's going to be given to us on that night, you know. And I know my son is going to have it because uh, there's no way Loma. We're going to make Loma look so easy. People are just not going to believe it. The same way we did with Comey. Well, I agree. This is good for boxing. I agree this is good for boxing. I just think WBC kind of fucked up by having two belts and all these question marks around the undisputed fight, you know? Yeah, I understand that part. But, I mean, if Devin would have earned his WBC, then I could understand where you're coming from. But right now, as we talk, Devin hasn't done anything. You know? That's, that's what we all been saying. You know, his last fight, come on, bro. You want to fight Lomacheco? Fight somebody decent. Don't go over there and fight a guy that's num number 50 or something, you know? You know, we start fighting those fights like in our second fight. Yeah, man, I can't, I can't even ask a question right now because uh, my voice is hoarse from, from repeating the same thing that you just said like 20,000 times tonight, bro. <laughs> There's an echo. Yeah, I think there's listen, an echo. <laughs> at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because they're going to give it to us, bro. So no matter how much people talk and how much they hate, you know, at nah, the end man, of the day... I got to talk. Say. I got to talk. It's going to happen. Four bells. See if you're Lopez. Undisputed. The captain of the Undisputed. generation, baby. The captain you know, of the Tio generation. Fimo Lopez. And I said it. I said it before all this shit went around. My son is going to win all the belts in his 16 fights when he takes Lord Pacheco's neck off, bro. It's already written. It's already done. It's out there, bro. You know? And God gives me everything I want, bro. I don't know why, but I always get what I want. You know, I got the greatest fighter in the world, and, and this kid's going to just, bro, he's going to give you guys a, a real good show, bro. You know what I'm saying? Loma thinks we're going to go in there like Salido and try to break him down, bro. He's in for a big surprise. You know, my son don't like nobody telling him he can't box, he can't do this, because then he will do it. Nah, man, forget that. The, the go for the destroy, but, man. <laughs> yeah, no, he is. He yeah. is. Don't get me wrong, but when the time comes, you know, we don't go out there for the knockout. Everybody thinks that we go out there for the knockout, but if it shows itself, bro, my son can freaking catch you, bro. You're going down, and my son don't miss. So I don't know why people saying that this – this guy's the Matrix. He's never going to get hit. He's going to outbox him. He's going to take him 12 rounds the whole night. That's not going to happen. Yo, what but you I'm say? Getting, what, I'm getting ready. Yo, what you say to the people that says that is no that it is no way that Teofimo Lopez could outbox Lomachenko? What you say? Bro, I never see my, my son so hungry right now, bro. We start sparring on Monday. And, you know, we're bringing in the big boys. We're bringing big guys in, you know, just to, you know, work on, on, um, on power work on good movements with them, you know what I'm saying? Then then I lower it down to the younger, you know, to the to the smaller weights. So, you know, we could work on the speed. So we do this shit all the time, bro. We we already used to this. You know, we're doing camp here in Jersey like we did with Colme. And he's ready. I mean, I never seen him ready before time, you know. He's at 147, 148 right now, and he's hungry. I mean, I never seen him work. His work ethic is so great. This this camp, I see something different in him. You know, he really wants this. You know, he really wants this fight. Yeah, man. We want this fight, man. Y'all blessed us. Y'all blessed us. The only thing I don't fight. understand, bro, is every time that motherfucker hits me in my fucking hand, bro, it's just like a knockout punch, bro. So I know he's going to hit Loma, bro. And as soon as he hits Loma, everybody's just going to be like, what the fuck happened? Everything's going to turn around, bro. You gonna know, he, easy, it's going to be yeah. easier than Richard Comey fight. Yeah, because everybody's used to he, well, my check was used to going in and playing with guys, man. He's not gonna be able to do that with my son because when he starts doing that, he's gonna get cracked. You he know? Tried, and he tried that with Linares, and that's the way Linares cracked him. Yeah, but you can't compare my son to Linares. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Please. Imagine. Please. Linares got no defense whatsoever. He leaves his mouth out, out there, you know, fights with his hands up. You know, he's right there on the on you know on range with Loma. You know, we fight totally different, man. Loma's not going to be able to find my son. He's not going to find him, bro. You know, and that's when he's going to get desperate. Hey, uh, you hey senior. Yo, as soon as you hit Loma, bro, he starts doing all this fucking crazy shit. He don't like to get hurt. He you know? To push the head down, too. I already seen him, bro. This guy's a fake, man. He's already to the, the end of his uh, 
the end of his um career is over. It's over. It's coming to an end, bro. He's got to go back to uh one one twenty six, one thirty, man. If he wants to survive a little bit longer. You know, but I mean, he's fighting the toughest fucking 135 in the world right now. Hey, Cena, no. you said if you guys get past if you guys get past Loma, that you're not really looking at Devin Haney. If Ryan Garcia can get rid of Luke Campbell in a, in a you know in a respectable fashion, would you guys be looking at Ryan Garcia? Well, we fighting whoever, whatever makes sense. That's what we fighting, man. You know, but that's what my son does. We t I tell him who he needs to fight, and if he listens to me, he's been listening to me ever since. You know, I got him to get this fight done, and and we're ready, man. We're ready, and um, you know, and and it's my it's it's my responsibility to get him ready, you know. So I am. That's what I'm doing. You know, I'm working a lot in a lot of cardio on him. You know, just in case the fight lasts a little bit longer, but it's it's we just training like we just fighting another world champion. Yeah. Hey, dude, I, I bet money on your son already. Also, uh, I also predicted, uh, I, I know Punch Drunk was having an ill panel last week uh, saying if uh, your son could outbox, um, you know, uh, Loma. Uh, I was on the side uh, of that, that, that he could outbox him and he could crack bro, him. Take that bet too, we, bro. Take that bet too. He ain't I, gonna I, be I did it. Man. I did it already, man. It's already in the books. It's already in the books. But you know what I'm saying? Like, like, uh, like so, because I could see, I could see Loma coming doing his little triangular shit, trying to bounce in and out. But but when he gets caught, it's gonna be a lot harder than Lenaris. You know what I'm saying? And that's why that's why I'm going with your son. And a lot of people doubt it. You know what I mean? But I'll be staying here defending that shit, man. Because you know what I mean? Like it is what it is, man. I I, I see it. he already passed the eye test with Comey. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, yeah, I I I I, I, I think that. Uh, like that. Go ahead. You know, when my son fought Nakatani, bro, he wasn't dead. And I even told him, bro, listen, just don't get hit, bro. Do your thing. And to me, he won every round. There was not one round Nakatani had him in trouble. You know, he was scoring the the the, the most seen, you know, you you could see all his punches landing on, on, on the big guy. You know, this guy got so hurt, he went to the emergency room and, and, and we ended his career because he can't box no more. And you it know, proved I don't that know what stamina. It also proved that Tofima could go 12, 12 rounds, no problem, That's dominating. True. It's true. I you haven't seen you haven't fought again. Yeah, yeah but, you know, I, when I, people say that my son said that he's not fighting total fighters, he didn't he didn't say it like that. He said that as of right now at the 135 division, he had to worry about no total fighters because he knew he was gonna fight Colby and Lomancheco next. Yeah, I see a, a lot, I see of, a lot, of, people, a lot of people have been saying, you know, that, that, that uh, your son's gonna um knock out Lomachenko, you know, like with the with the shot. But um I think it's gonna actually be a body shot. That's going to be That's what uh, I'm scared of. That's what I'm scared of. I told my son, if you hurt him to the body, bro, I just want you to shift your fucking ass at him. Don't go down. Don't let him go down with that body shot. Crack yeah. him before he goes down. Yeah, I, I think it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a body shot. Uh, but I think it's a We're close fight. A lot. Close, We're close fight. A lot on, on a lot of different things that you know that that that's gonna show. Come October 17, you guys are gonna see this. Guy. My son is gonna eat this guy alive, bro. Cause and it's only gonna take about 20 to 30 seconds for him to figure him out. Hey. Lo Manchego does the same routine over and over again. Yeah, just you know, he got everybody man. lied to. He he got everybody lied to with that bullshit fucking stepping to the left that he does. You know, to the side, yeah, yeah. to the yeah. stepping to the side shit, yeah. Yeah, he steps to his right. You know, to our fighters left. So you know. He's, he's gonna come into a lot of problems while he starts doing that shit. Not you know, I don't see him, I, I don't see him engaging in the first round. He's gonna try to figure his, his power. He's gonna try to, you know, outsmart us. Try to really make us go after him. You know, I already know everything. And you, you, know, you already that, know he pity pats too, right? Am I wrong? Or am I right? And he thinks that shit's gonna work, bro. That shit ain't gonna work with my son. You know, but yo, am I right on the pity pat shit that he likes to pity pat like bro, like just to score points? Bro, the reason why I don't want to even say it, bro, but the reason why people <laughs> lose to Lomacheco, the reason why people lose to Lomacheco, I tell you one thing. One thing is they already lost before they even fight him. They respect him too much. Linares, Linares, when he dropped him, he he started boxing him like he like he didn't do nothing to him. You he know, for the kill, he, he let him go. My son is a different animal. He ain't going to let you go. Yeah. You know, my son smells blood. He's going to come after your fucking ass. Yeah, I see, I see I see Lomachenko trying to clinch, and I see I see your son, like, doubling up on his uppercuts and everything and, and with his free hand, like, no respect. 
You know what I mean? Bro, go into all my son's fight. Have you ever seen? I'm not, bro. You guys got me even smoking out here. But anyway, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, bro. What, what, what my son is gonna have you ever seen my son fight a dude where the dude is right in front of his face and it's not getting popped? Never. No. Everybody that's in front of my son's face, he's gonna crack you. You know, Fact. that's why. That's why I taught him the way I taught him. I taught him how to fight right in front of, uh, of everybody's face. That's the best way to catch somebody. You know, all those fucking little things, all those little, little taps that we that he's gonna throw, we're just gonna slap them off him and punch the shit out of him. Yeah. Hey, bro. And he knows it too. He knows it too. I can see it in his eyes. He's fucking scared. Yeah. This, is what I did, this is what I was when when I said that I feel like uh, that 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 Tiofimo Lopez could outbox Loma is that he doesn't waste no punches. He doesn't waste no movement. Bro, you don't think he knows that, bro? He knows that. He goes to the locker room because he thought I didn't see his ass. He goes inside Comey's locker room to go tell Comey that he's going to knock us out. That's how you know this guy is not mentally right, bro. <laughs> you know? He's so desperate. Like, he, want, he wanted Comey to win so desperately, bro, because he knew that my son was a nightmare. That's why he made us get some get a belt, bro. Why? Why my son? Yep, I feel like he going he, he's and he got a he got a lot of attributes. He got a lot of attributes that he probably haven't. I I, I don't think that your son even shown sixty. Well, he got like another fifty percent of something bro, that my son hasn't seen. shown nothing, bro. My son is yeah. still growing, man. Mm -hmm. He's still growing. I still got a lot to show him. You know what I'm saying? He's still he's he's got it, but he's got to perfect it. You know that catch and shoot that we do, bro. That's perfect for Loma right now. Yeah. Yeah, I, I wish Guido was here because that's what he be saying. The the catch and shoot. Yo, if I could ask a question, how how high do you feel uh, your son's? What, what uh, extent you think that he's gonna move up to as far as weight throughout his career? Well, I see. Yo, my son be beating up all, all different kinds of weight classes, bro, and guys that are champions. You know, at an early age of 13, 14, 15. You know, so. I know he got the pop to go in there with the big guys. So I see him going up to like 160 and even above. We never know. Dang. Okay, cool. Dang. You know, because of the way he fights. And he's yeah, he's, a, big, he's a big kid, man. He's a big kid. Yeah. But he's going to be more dangerous with the bigger guys because he's way faster than them and smarter. You know, so, you know, when my son fights, he's not going in there just throwing punches. He knows exactly what he, he needs to do. Yeah. You know. He sees all your mistakes and he and he memorizes them all. You know, that's what we did to Kobe, but nobody even noticed that. Yeah, man. I you know? That. Yeah. Every time my son threw that jab, Kobe would lean in with that right hand all the time. He just yeah. waited for the right moment. Yo, did they, 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 any, they, they, you remember um, anybody checked out the interview with Roy Jones Jr. when he was talking about the difference between... Bro, the, the, Roy the, the, knows the, what he's talking about. You exactly. Know what I'm At least we got somebody that got some eyes, you know? Nobody in boxing, a lot of people don't got eyes. They can't see what the fuck is going on. And they asked Floyd, uh, Roy who he thinks is going to be the next it factor in the next 10 years. And Floyd said, Teofimo Lopez. Yep. He also mentioned uh, Devin. Devin Haney. He said, yeah. they asked him, did y'all ever catch that interview? Anybody? Me well, personally, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see it. No, no, no. So, me a link so, so Roy Jones Jr. was asked, who's the, um, who, you, who, who you see today who's special? And he said, "To be honest, I don't see nobody special." No, I see yeah, but he says, fighting. "Who you think?" Yeah, he said, ten years. Who's yeah, gonna be reigning for ten years?" Yeah. And he said, "I see a great fighter in Canelo Alvarez, but he said a special fighter, somebody that could that that could do things that you can't that you can't teach, is Teofimo Lopez." And and then he said, after Teofimo Lopez and this and this kid Devin Devin Hayden. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah. But you know, these are cats that know the tricks. They know what they are looking at, you know. And um, and I can't wait, man, because this is gonna change my son's I, life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he he said the only the, the only shows the showman that he see that there's not that there's no showman in boxing that the showman is is Teofimo Lopez. Exactly, because look, yo, bro, we got 15 fights, right? You talking? We talking like my son already got like 30 fights. You know, my son only got 15 fights. Look how much he accomplished already. You know, we're going to break records that night. You no, know, he'll be the first uh, boxer in history.
to get all four belts in the 135 has never been done. Perno Whitaker got close, but that's about it. You know, so that that's great. That would be freaking awesome to have that. And then for him to be the first Latino to do it, bro, that's even better. Yeah. How does it mean? How, 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 how does it mean for Honduras? Mm. How bro, does they it... don't even know what the fuck is going on, bro. <laughs> that country doesn't even know what they have, bro. You know what I'm saying? But um, <laughs> we're going to remind them after we get those belts, you know. Um, I mean, the president and everybody's been trying to get us down there, but uh, we wasn't, we couldn't make it because of the COVID. Yeah. But um, yeah, well, once we get those belts, man, everybody's going to be waiting for him. We're going to show them out there and, you know, try to open up some gyms in Honduras too, man. Because yeah. a lot of kids are looking up to him right now. Hey, I, I got a question for a senior. Hey, senior. Hey, um, do you do you know if that that new belt you said that the WBC is making is that going to be uh called a franchise belt or something else? You, you got know, it. That was, a, that was a great question. Yes, it's going to say it, that's the way I heard it. It's going to say, uh, you know, the WSB, and then it's going to say franchise in big letters. So it's going to be nice. He says that they they're making it. He's going to send me a picture as soon as it's done. But, um, yeah, man, they, we're fighting for this. I mean, Mauricio Suleiman is trying to get into the bubble right now. He's trying to get some permissions. So I spoke with the man, you know, and I spoke to the man after I heard Top Rank had told me about it. So I called Mauricio and I asked him and he said, yeah, the, 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 the belt is on the line. Bro, I told bro. Mauricio, we was in the Wilder fight and I told Mauricio, he was there. And I said, yo, how you going to, let me ask you a question. When we knock out Lomacheco, how are you going to have a franchise champion when, we, when we're when going to knock him out? And then, you know, they started thinking. It was like, you're right, man. You know, we can't have a loser as a fucking champion. So they have to give us that belt. You know? I never heard of somebody having a belt, fighting it, and still keeping it if it's on the line. Yeah, you know, no, senior, it's, hey, it's, senior, just, it's just confusing because, uh, you know, Mauricio kept saying that it was not it was not a bell, that it was just a designation, that's that, that's where, that's where the confusion comes in, you know. I don't know, but uh, all I know is that Monday everybody's going to find out. Yep. Hey, you senior, know. if you guys win, if you guys win and get past Loma, do you guys have plans on moving up to 140 or, or, or are you guys just going to play it by ear? Like, like I said before. If uh if whatever my son wants to do, if the fight makes sense, we'll fight anybody. It doesn't matter who. The money you know? gotta make sense too, for sure. Oh yeah, after this one, he's a money cow. Exactly. You he know, will be. Yeah, he will that's be. That's why I told. That's why I told my son take this fucking fight, bro. Hey, um, yeah. senior, I have another question. Be chief, right? Yo, can senior, you imagine? I, can you imagine if 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 he he well, he's gonna beat Lumachenko. Undisputed, and then move up to 140 and become unified, and all in the span of 12 months. I, that's what I see. Yo, bro, <laughs> that's exactly what's gonna happen because I already know that that Josh Taylor's gonna beat Jose Ramirez. Ooh. So you know, I don't know, Jose, senior. Jose, I don't know. I, I don't know, know, senior, about that one. one. Hey, but I want, I want him to win because Jose Ramirez wants to bounce out. And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to fight for no. Hey, you know, senior, one more, one more question. Um, uh, is there a rematch clause with Lomachenko? Yeah, I don't know about that. Mm. I don't know. All right, that I can't answer because I don't know. I haven't seen the contract. My son already signed it, so but I, I never got to see it. Senior, uh, a message for the parents with with children to uh, make them be champions in, in their life. What can we do man, better? Listen, you start something, don't finish it, man. Just keep on going. Doesn't matter what happens. You know, USA Box is very corrupt. Me and my son never stopped. We kept on going. We knew we were better than everybody, you know, and we proved it that last year when we 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 won everything in the United States to get that spot. And, they, and it wasn't given to us, you know, which is that's why when my son fights like that, my son fights with a lot of heart because of what they did to him, what they've been doing to him. You know, we're tired of it. Yeah, you. you it, it's, it's like it, remember everybody that get played by the USA team, they come back as being probably the greatest fighters. Roy Jones, oh, Floyd Mayweather, everybody that get played in the USA, yeah. they come back. Bro, it's always been like that, bro. But you know what? <laughs> bro, people keep on believing that shit with the fucking Olympics, bro. That's why I don't got no respect for this guy. 
He was the poster boy for Aiba. He was the poster boy for fucking USA Boxing. Of course, he's never going to lose. Mm. And you know how hard it is to knock somebody out when you're like a 118-pounder in the Olympics or 122-pounder? Mm. It's very hard. So, you know, it was easy for him to get all those wins. Mm. You know, but, you know, I even told him, bro, throw those two, throw those two uh, medals there, too. We'll take them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, tell her to put it on the contract. Let it let the medals be on the line too. Hey, throw, go ahead, throw, yeah. throw, throw, man. This is all marbles right here. Hey, I have another yo, question. Yo. Bro, I'm bro, full of questions. Yo. You know, do you I, know got a, I got a question yeah. after, after Raider. Raider, Raider, Raider. 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 After you, I got a question. All right, Raider. All right. Is the location already set? You guys know where you guys are fighting? Yeah, we fighting at the MGM in the bubble. Oh, sweet. sweet. Is there any chance right. it's gonna be a ticket sold? Oh what shit, man. Any idea? Are they gonna sell tickets for the fans? Bro, listen, man. Bob is still optimistic, man. He's thinking like maybe if there's a cure before the fight that he might do something, you know. Uh, you know, maybe ten thousand spectators at the MTM, or maybe at the even at the what you call it, the new Raiders uh, gym. I mean, new Raiders Stadium they opened up. So, you know. so with, with with my Las Vegas Raiders hat. Let me ask you this other question, right? You know what I'm saying? Um, hey, um, what do you think about – because because there's a lot of skepticism, and I'm a big fan, and, and I just want to know from from a real, you know what I'm saying, uh, a dude that's in boxing and, 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 and raising up a son that you care about, you love, uh, you know, and, and holding dearly and trying to look out for his best interest. What do you think about Verdejo, and how far do you think he's going to be uh, in, in this game? Bro, I tell you the story, bro. What happened was – when when we was coming, we was beating everybody, right? Um, mm -hmm. uh, Berdejo was like, he was like the son of top rank. They loved this guy, right? He was going to be like the next Bob, uh, Miguel Cotto or whatever. Yes. Yeah. And I told my son, you know, um, they gave us the opportunity to fight a guy that he had fought and went the distance with, which was William Silva. And this was only like my son, maybe my son's eighth fight, something like that. And I told my son, let's take William Silver. Fuck it. And William Silver's never been dropped or anything, never been stopped. So I told my son, you beat this dude, bro. That's it, bro. You're the next one. Because at th th that night, um, Berdero had lost to that dude. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah, top yeah. rank was really upset at him. And I told my son, this is, this is our opportunity to take over top rank now. And bam, we beat. We beat William Silva in devastating fashion, bro. And that's it, man. After that, Top Rank just started jumping on us and giving us our fights, whatever what fights we wanted. You know? So look at that shit. That was a random question. And, and that, that was great information right there. But, you know, I, I feel like uh, he's coming back now, though, uh, Verdejo. Uh, yeah. But, but I, I don't think he's going to, like, jump up levels like your, your, like your son. You know what I mean? Like, Verdejo, I know I know your Verdejo, son's going up. Verdejo's a good, a good fighter. He's a strong Good, strong fighter. It just it's, he's not mentally right. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to like uh, setting up punches, like setting up punches and stuff like that, he's not too smart. He just throws combos and, you know, hoping they land. And that's why, you know, he could just go as far as he can. You know, um, you have to learn how to adapt to every fighter you fight. If you can't do that, you're not going to make it big in this in this industry. You got to adapt. That's that's the, the the key word right there is adapt to your fighter. You adapt to any fight style, you're gonna be world champion. And my son knows how to fight everybody. Yeah. So uh, do you think Salas is helping him or no? Like like that he moved to Las Vegas under Salas. Bro, what has Salas done, man? You know. Yeah. Okay. Well, I respect well, your opinion. Then. I, I'm listening yeah, to you because you're in the game. Wish, you know what I mean? <laughs> I wish him all the. I wish him all the. You know, all the blessings and everything, bro. But that style that he has is not going to get him nowhere, bro. You okay, know? got you, bro. That, listen, I know a lot of people say that you got to fight with your hands up, bro. But that's the worst position you could be in, bro, when you're fighting guys. Because you're 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 in range to get hit all the time. You know? And that's why I show my son how to fight in the outside. You know, he's, he's never in danger. You know, he, he keeps away to a certain level where he could hit you, you can't hit him. And come October 17th, it's going to be easy because this guy got T-Rex hands, bro. There's no way he's going to catch my son. My son's too fast, too smart. 
So that's why, you know, and 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 I've never seen him this explosive in my life, man. This this kid looked like a monster. I can't even believe he's one he's he's a, a 135 pounder. He looks like a 180 pounder. And he's already at 148. I don't know where the weight goes. It's in his legs. You can see it in the videos. That boy carries weight in his legs. Your boy got no, some thick ass I, I, legs. I appreciate on. your response, though, bro. I appreciate your response, bro. Yeah, but you know he's still in, bro. You know, let's see what happens. No, I think I think that, that this is what I was saying. I always said I always been saying this, and I said it earlier. I said it earlier today that there's you got the fighters. You got the fighters. Let's say. These young dudes, you got you got Shakur, you got Haney, you got the Virgil Tees, you got Boots, you got Javante Tan Davis, your son, right? But I see your son and Virgil and Tank as dudes that got special attributes, like like God given power. With with the other guys, they have to work for power. Like your genetic, the genetics of Teofimo Lopez don't have to work for power. That's just like God given ability. That's why things separate Ciofima Lopez to the other guys of then Shakur, who is good technically, Sam, or 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 Devin Haney. But for me, it separates his God his his his, his God given power. You know, you know what will be a good fight for Felix Bedell who will be Devin Haney. He should go for that. That's what I said too. Right? That's what you think, fight. Black and Brown? Bro, I actually be, before Black fight. and Brown, before before you even go, I actually went uh, on uh, somebody other's uh, somebody else's channel and talked to Bill Haney and said that, and he he like dismissed it. Like, why would he fight uh, Vidal? And, and yo, I straight up said that to Bill Haney. I was like, yo, that's a better fight than Gamboa. Yeah, and that's a better fight than the last guy he fought. Senior, have you guys decided on the gloves, the brand, or the weight on the on the gloves that you guys are gonna be wearing for the fight? I think we're fighting with the grants. That's the only that's the only gloves my son uses. Ever since he broke his hand, whatever lasts. Mm. Okay. I want to see Devin Haney fight Nakatani, to be honest with you. I want to see what Devin Haney does with Nakatani. Nakatani's out, bro. Yeah, he hasn't fought. Yeah, he hasn't fought since. His, my son fucked up his head. Something. I don't know what happened. I think because, I, I I think I think a, a Haney and Richard Comey. Richard Comey is available. Um, um, Vedejo is available, yeah. But call me once a tuna fight, yeah, before he fights anybody, you know. But I mean, if Verdejo wants to jump up in the man, he's got the opportunity, he just gotta ask for it, you know. You know, he's gotta tell Bob, 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 give me one of those guys, I'm ready, you know. And 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 when he beats one of those guys, bro, he's back, you know, yeah. that'll make him come back. What you think about what you think about Haney and Gary Russell Jr.? Uh, what? Who will win? Yeah, because they they said that I, they might fight. I mean, the, the styles, the way the way Devin Haney throws his punches, uh, the way he throws the long ass punches and stuff like that. If Gary, if Gary can get into inside of his body, bro, I got Gary winning that fight. You know, but uh, we haven't seen Devin fighting with a with a with a real guy. You know, we got we, we yet to see that man. You know. And that's what's gonna show everybody if this kid is the real deal or not. There you go. I, I agree a hundred percent. A lot of people is putting this kid on a pedestal that he can't even freaking. He can't even. Why can't forget? Boy, stop worrying about belts, man. Just get get a fight already. You know that's what people want to see. I want he wants to see him fight. Everybody want to see this kid fight a good fight. You know. I agree. I agree. I want to see Devin Haney fight. I think there's a lot of people available. But we're going to see it, though. They young. So, so what happened? Fortuna's fighting. Uh, so who's Fortuna fighting? I don't think it starts with uh, his last name starts with a T. I forgot. But it's still it's still not a done deal, though. But what I, about um, Luke Campbell? Luke Campbell, Ryan Garcia. Yeah, what happened with that? They're going to be fighting. They already what signed to the fight. They, they signed the contract? Yeah, November. Oh, that'd be a good fight for. That'd be a good test for him. Yeah. Even though I don't see it like a good test because because Luke Campbell is always thinking about losing. You know. Oh yeah. You know, every time, every time Luke Campbell is like on the spotlight where this where the fight's gonna make him big, boom, he fucks up. You know. Yeah. Do you think? Do you think Ryan Garcia has to get him out of there in five rounds, spectacular fashion? Never. Impossible. You know, because of the way Luke fights, Luke Luke doesn't go in with his head in. You know, 
So, you know, um, once Ryan can't catch him with that left hook, it's going to be a long night. Mm. You got Campbell winning? You got Campbell winning? I got Campbell winning by decision. You know, if Campbell moves and, and boxes him and, and, you know, I think he's a smarter fighter than Devin is, you know. Well, then Ryan, gotta, then Ryan you know, is, you mean. Then, then Ryan is, I mean. I mean, you know, uh, Ryan hasn't fought anybody as well because he's always fighting guys smaller than him. So, you know, he, he needs to show something as well, you know. We already we already above that shit, man. We already thinking about yeah. other things, you know. So that's like we can't go backwards, man. That's that's you know, how I see it. What, that's, what, what, what do you think about Tank Davis? I think my son will murder him. I agree. <laughs> and, and, and Tank will never Tank will never take that fight with my son. He he, he will never take that fight with my son, especially what we're gonna do to Loma right now. Never will take that fight. How do you see the fight with Santa Cruz and uh and Davis? Well, he better he better not go like he looked with Camboa because he's gonna get torn apart. You know, he's got to be in shape for that fight. Yeah, man. He's durable. Leo Leo Santa Cruz is durable. Leo doesn't stop. You know, he throws punches from all different angles. So it's going to be hard for him, you know. I I think he's going to miss weight on purpose. What? I doubt that. Because that way he won't dehydrate himself because the contract's at 130. It's too much money. Yeah, I doubt that guy is going to make the weight, bro. Tell you the truth. Yeah. I doubt it. it. He's going to be like two pounds over. Yeah, that's what I that's what I said. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make the way for this fight. And then um it's gonna make him look bad. He doesn't really care because oh bro, this kid, bro, they they making his career. They they spoon fed like like Luis Calazo. Luis Calazo said what well, yesterday that they all spoon fed. Of course, bro. They they you know, we have to do it the hard way because nobody gave a fuck about us when we when we when we signed with Top Rank, nobody gave a fuck about us. We had to do it on our own. I had to use my mouth, you know, because I believe in my son, and my son had to back it up. and And it was an easy, it was an easy tax to tell you too, man. We got to the top really fast, really fast. Senior, does it matter to you what kind of traditional uh, heavy bags you use or water bags? No, nah, we use any kind of bags, man. It mm-hmm. doesn't matter. We use the water bags, you know, for uppercuts and stuff like that. Okay. You know, um, heavy bags we just uh you know, getting him to, to hit hard. That's why we, we, we bring it in. You know who's going to be in our camp on Monday? Josue, Josue Vargas. You know him? Josue Vargas. I, sounds sounds familiar. Joshua Vargas. Josue. Is he, is he one, Puerto Rican? Yeah, he's the one that uh, Tank was coming out with tapes and uh, Floyd came out with some tapes, you know, uh, sparring him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds very, very familiar. Then there was a big noise out there because uh, they said that uh, uh, Floyd said that he beat his fucking ass in sparring. He's seventeen and one, I think. And they, 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 they had a little video of it and they posted it up. And that's when Joshua Vargas left uh, Floyd because he was signed with him. You gotta know this cat. He's Puerto Rican. He just fought last week or two weeks. Yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was Remember asking if he was Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't let his father in because the, his father went outside to smoke, and they didn't let him back in. And he had a fight without his father. He almost cried after the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, just, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was too late to see that fight, but I that, that's why I was saying it's man familiar. The sound. Yo, what did, let me ask you, you remember, you remember the fight. What you think about that Roley, Roley Jackson, uh, uh, Marines fight? It was just, I mean, like, it was just, you know, I knew that was going to happen uh, to, to, um, Marine, to, Marine. Wanted, to Roley because uh, Roley needs to start learning how to, like, move around and, and, and set up his punches. You know, he just, you know, he just wants to knock everybody out, you know, and then, you got to get guys in there that know how to box, know how to move around, know how to get away from the punches, you know. And uh, basically, that's that's what went wrong in that fight. Yo, you know? did, you, did you see the fight tonight? The J- Jamal hearing? Her- no, I did not see it, bro. But let me tell you something. When I, when I, when I, I just got up to the point where they were going to announce the winner because... They said it because of a headbutt and stuff like that. I, I, I that's that thing was chifty, bro. But the way they did it, yeah, you know, because the the kid. I mean, he didn't even have a cut. You know, Apparently, um, right? No, he didn't even have a cut. I think because I didn't see nothing 
no blood on him or nothing like that. Nah, he and, had a uh, cut, but it was it wasn't no JoJo's Diaz cut. It wasn't like a cut, yeah. bro. Like, like my son's cut. Remember when he got cut, and my son, my son fought like five rounds like that, and he didn't even give a fuck about his cut. Man, I he, I, I, I think the, they all quit the the his corner and himself. Yeah, they they they, they caught a, a a strong guy coming forward, and nobody knows how it would have would have went if they would have let let it go. You know, it just it's just I don't understand, man. <laughs> That's boxing. It's weird, bro. So That's fucking boxing. weird. Yo, I hope they don't play that shit in in, in you fight, man. I hope they don't play none no, of they that. Can't. But they can. Don't worry. My my son doesn't headbutt. You know, we try not to get hit with heads. You know, we try as hard as we can. And um, no, not the butt, not the headbutts, but the corruption. I hope there's nothing like that, bro. Oh, we ready for everything, bro. We ready for everything. I told my son, bro. They could even fucking lie about the testing. You know, <laughs> the coronavirus. Just oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I think that too, man. I think that too. You know, Senior, how long, how long is your uh, daily training? Like eight hours, seven hours? Maybe like like sessions, like right? Six, like six to seven hours throughout the whole session, throughout the whole day. Okay. You know, we spend more time in the gym, though, in the boxing gym. We do about two to three hours, and then um, then we do a, a light workout, you know, because I do, I, I, I'm also in physical training, so I do two jobs, you know. I get him conditioning ready, and I get him boxing ready. So I do two jobs. I've been doing these, my two jobs, ever since he was born. So I've been in his corner. I've been, I've been his, um, uh, his uh, physical trainer, and I've been his trainer. I don't let nobody touch him. Hey, what's his weight at right now? What's what's he weighing right now? He's at one forty seven, one forty eight. He's skinny, he's slim. Oh, all right, cool. Yeah, he only got to lose 12, 13 pounds, twelve yeah. pounds. You know, it's like and it's too early. It's early, bro. And then. He's got like maybe seven pounds worth of water inside his body because he drinks like two gallons a day. So, you know, that's like mostly of that is that, that's all water, you know. And then we start cutting it down like a week before the fight or fight week. And he drops that shit real quick, you know. So I've never seen him this at this stage like we so early because and with Comey, he, he was probably like at 154, 155 around this time, you know. Because we still got three, four, I mean, four to five more weeks, you know? So uh, the weight is not going to be a problem. He's got, you know, we want him in there strong. We want him in there strong. So we're going to cut the weight before the fight so he could go in there comfortable, you know? And I don't know why these people saying that my son is just going to try to get take advantage of the weight. Bro, the IBF. It's 10 you pounds. Have, you can't. You have to fight 10 pounds or less. Yep. You can't go over the 10 pound limit. And yeah. people don't understand that fight night, my son's gonna be as small as Loma. They both gonna be the same weight. Exactly. Yeah, this you know, my son, my son doesn't hydrate 12 pounds, 11 pounds, you know. He does maybe nine or eight. So everything gotta be in perfection, bro. You know what I'm saying? And um, and we we we, we hold a gym, bro. Uh my training is like it's like so simple and shit, you know, like we have this. Training that thing that we can't go overboard because that's what a lot of fighters do, man. They mess up, you know. And I don't want to say nothing right now because I want this dude to mess up too. But <laughs> you know, um, there's a lot of things that they do to these people, you know. I mean, Lomachenko got physical trainers, he got psychiatrists, he's got a guy that holds his book, a guy that holds his his penis when he takes a piss. <laughs> You know, he got everybody, bro. He got a whole entourage, bro. That's not me, bro. He, he said, coming to America. The royal penis is clean. Uh. <laughs> bro, I've never seen a dealer like that in my life, bro. <laughs> I guarantee you, you can't even go inside and see this guy wherever he's training at. You know, they got that shit locked up. Senior, do, do you guys eat meat? Are you guys vegetarian? Do you guys eat fish? What do you guys well, recommend? I, I eat everything, bro. You know, my son got to watch his food because he's got his own uh, nutritionist, you know, perfecting athletes. They're the ones that take care of Crawford. They take care of this guy they just fought, oh, uh, cool. Jamel Herring. They take care of the other guy that fought today. How did this guy uh, kid do, Steven Nelson? Steven Nelson. I heard he was oh, a beast. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did good, man. He got cut. 
He got cut. He was losing probably the first three rounds when I was doing the comment, the, the live commentary. But then he just came strong, bro, and he just knocked the dude out. Yeah, he always does that. He's always, yeah. he's always doing that. But he yeah, needed, so. looked like he needed to get that cut and get hit. And then he came after that. He was strong, man. He looked yeah, like a I, met, I met Steven Nelson at, up at the Olympic Fighting Center when we went down there. Yeah. You know, when, when, they, when my son was in the USA team. So he was out there for 14 days. Mm. You know, it was it was just crazy, bro. Because you know why? Gary Russell was there. Antoine, Antoine Russell was there with my yeah. son. And they're like great friends. They're good friends, right? But they brought them in to help the Olympic team. Yeah. So... <laughs> My son comes, fucks up the 126 pounder, fucks up the 135 pounder, fucks up the 141 pounder, fucks up the 147 pounder. <laughs> and then um Gary comes in and Gary's telling me, yo, take take, man. I want I want to get some tape for my father. So I, his father's on the phone, but his father could only see. So one of the trainers that was training there uh came up to me, he goes, Yo, no camera. I said, Man, they didn't say nothing about no camera, they said about no coaching. And, and I'm coaching him. His father's not coaching him. I'm yeah. coaching him. He tried to take the camera off me. And and, and, and Gary just came running and just grabbed the camera, gave it back to me. He goes, yo, film him. Film me, bro. And he's fucking this dude up in the, in the fucking rope. Pow, 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 pow. He turned around looking. Pow, pow. So the guy gets pissed off, takes the camera from us. I fucking go sit down. And 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 then I, I, I didn't want to say nothing because they told me I got to be quiet. And I got to be respectful of this shit. I said, man, fuck this shit, man. <laughs> you guys, you all you guys are going to lose, bro. And then he goes, oh, how, how are you going to say that? And I said, because we're kicking your fucking ass. <laughs> you know, we're kicking the whole team's ass. So how the fuck are you guys going to win? You know, that was when they, when they went to the Pan American Games, I think it was, the Continentals, and they all lost. Uh -huh. All of them. You know, <laughs> they didn't win shit. So, you know, um, that's that's the last time I, I had any talk with, with uh, USA Boxing, you know, after that, man, it was just like, we won everything, he won the Olympic trials, and they fucking did him wrong, bro. They didn't even give him his jacket, they didn't yeah. give him the trophy, they gave him shit. Yeah. All the nine, the, all, the, all the other nine fighters, they all got their shit, they didn't give myself nothing. Mm. That's when I decided, decided to put him to fight to, with Honduras, bro. And you know, look at us now, bro. There's nobody from the Olympics doing what my son is doing. Senior, have you have you, have you guys ever thought of making like a biography, a movie, a story, a book? Bro, I like will fucking I will like this a fucking movie, bro. Because um, any other father, any for any, any other father would have fucking gave up, bro. The way they were doing us. Oh yeah, you know, I never gave up. I told myself, fuck these people, bro. You know, just yeah. you know, God, God. God sent him to the Olympics for a reason. You know, top rank saw him in that fight, and they they, they, they got him. Just write you a know? chapter every couple years, yo. Every couple years, write a chapter, bro. Mm -hmm. So you get everything in. We're doing a Netflix yeah. series. We're doing a Netflix series. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, hey, so I mean, yeah. Novela, yeah. Novela la, la gente, yeah, because a lot of things, yeah, a lot of things is happening to him that 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 doesn't happen, bro. Like, you know, him winning the Olympic trials like Floyd and everybody else has not been able to fucking represent the United States since 1904. That's never happened. And that happened to only my my, my son's weight division. Mm. It was crazy. Hey, Senior. Yeah. Hey, let's, let me ask Senior a question. Hey, Senior, how do you feel about the lack of promotion that ESPN gives uh, not just you, but a lot of their fighters? Because I feel like they have a young superstar on their hands and they don't promote him very well. Well, the promotion is going to go out starting Monday when they announce the fight. That's when they're going to start all the promotion. Yeah. You know, right now they just wait until Monday so they go announce everything. Well, that's what they were, That's what they told me. I don't know. It's all right. After the, after the fight, after the fight, we talk about that ESP. Right, right now you got to be you got to be on that good boy guy. <laughs> Hey, Steve, Man, what I, round you got? Hey, what yo, we'll round talk, you got yo, your son? We'll, we'll talk for you on that on that point. The promotion. I don't got him. Listen, if Lomachenko fights the way he fights, I don't got him going past five. If he runs, let's see what happens. You know, but he won't go past five, though. Senior, have you guys decided, like, on your intro song or something on classical, maybe a cultural or maybe a... What, what the song he's coming out to? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. He makes that up, like, close That's to the fight. That's the least of your worries. I'm going to hey, senior. hey, senior, if Loma stays in the pocket with your boy, what's going to happen? 
You're going to get knocked the fuck out. That's what's <laughs> Bro. He don't want to get hit by my son, bro. I, I tell you that much. He don't want to get hit, and he knows it. He knows he's, it. Bro. Any man seen. that goes in there with a guy that can fucking punch is scared, bro. I don't want to hear it. He's scared. They all scared. <laughs> he just got he he just got stuck with this fight. That's what happened. You know, he couldn't believe it. He could. He never thought my son would get a belt, bro. He never thought he could beat Comey. You know, so. If he's wrong with all those predicaments that, you know, he predicts these shits and, 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 and they don't happen, that means we're fighting a guy that doesn't know shit what he's talking about. I can't respect somebody like that, you know? Being sneaky enough to fucking go inside and tell Comey, you're going to beat this dude, this dude, you know, try to motivate Comey, you know, because he didn't want it, my son, at all. Make it personal. Make it personal. Yeah. You're definitely hey, uh, fighting the number one. You're definitely fighting the, the biggest guy in the, in the division. Exactly. Exactly. That's what, exactly what we're doing, bro. And and you know what? That's why I don't fucking I close my ears every time somebody starts talking shit at all. You're not you're not gonna be able to fight the boss if you don't fight Devin Haney. Who the fuck is Devin Haney? <laughs> you know? One thousand. Yeah. I agree with that. He hasn't done hey. anything, bro. Hey, senior, how happy are you about how, like, your son, how he's his career is going now compared to, like, Carlos Barteras when you guys were, like, you know, at the, at the same pace, you know? Bro, now your son's is, way up there and Carlos is not doing anything now, you know? He just lost. I, but I told everybody, and they're calling me a hater. They say, oh, he's just hating because he wasn't able to fucking, you know, do anything in the Olympics, you know? And, and, and it wasn't hate, bro. I could see the fight. I could see him fighting. He was getting in trouble with guys that nobody even knew. So I even told him, I, I was on tape like three years ago. I mean, when we started, I told him, listen, man, I hope you make it, bro. Because the way you're going, bro, I don't think you're going to make it. You know, and look what happened. Yeah, he lost. Yeah. Because why? Because he took a fucking, he took a position he wasn't supposed to take. He should have fucking said it. You know, I don't deserve this position, but I'm going to, I'm going to do the best, you know, to do what I can over there, you know, for the United States. At least, you know, but no, he's saying that he, that he made, you know, that he made it there, man. You can't, you can't make it to the Olympics being number fourth in the WSB. You know, they gave him that fucking push. Yeah, because I, I saw, I, I mean, I've been on the on, the, on YouTube and I, I seen all the sparring matches. Well, not all, but some of the sparring matches you guys had. You know, you, you and uh, Carlos, that was good, good work. You know. Yeah, but like, wait. listen, but um, those the sparring matches. You know, when there's a, there's a scene where my son slips and goes on the, on the ropes, you know, and then all of a sudden they have that shit up on, on video saying that he knocked him down and, and all this. But, you know, he got shut up, bro. You know, and a dude that nobody or nobody knocked him out. You know, and so he got his payback, bro, you know, from all the suffering my son went through because of his ass. How's let me ask you how how's how's it different now that with the uh, you know restriction y'all got because y'all can't be close to people, not a lot of media because you know the 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 pandemic the coronavirus and stuff like that. How is it different training your son now in these circumstances than? No, that? it's the same thing because the gym is only open up to the to the to us and anybody that wants to see him or interview him they have to get the COVID test done. Okay. Yeah. So, but we good. We good. You know, we were just locked up over here in the in the hotel, not going nowhere. Just playing it safe, man. We can't let nothing fuck us up, bro. Because this is history in the making. We can't let this fight go. Thank God you said that because I thought I thought that you was in Puerto Rico because I thought I heard Coquis. Oh yeah. But that's crickets, huh? We in Jersey, bro. We like a, and over here only like two, <laughs> nah, that's only that's like, that's me. That's me, yo. I get you know, I, I got a bunch of crickets, bro. The good oh, okay. thing about the good thing about where we at, there's only like two cases. Yeah, Yo. you know. Well, I'm at the, yo, I'm the, the cricket, cases. the crickets, man. They love me, man. Yeah, man. Ever thought about coming to California and train, senior? Of course, of course. You know, we went over there once to spar with uh, Hector Carajera, Tanahara. I don't know if you ever heard of that fighter. Yeah, bro. Uh, Robert yeah. Garcia. Yeah. Yeah. Robert He's Garcia right. was He's talking very well about you guys. Yeah, Robert Garcia was talking very well about you guys that you guys uh, put into work. Yeah. Senior, how do you feel about Hector? 
Well, he's a good, he's a pretty good fighter, but um, you know, he just. I don't know. I mean, like he, he's not he's not in our level, you know. But uh, the kid, the kid is pretty good, you know. Uh, timed out. I want to know if he thinks oh, if Hector's on the same level as Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. What was the what, what she was going to ask him? I want to know if uh, he thinks uh, Hector Tarhanara is on the same level as Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Probably he probably could. I think that th I think there is potential and hype around around Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, in which in reality they should be in the same level of other people, you know. But then that's our job, right? That's our job as as boxing as as hardcore boxing fans is to really know. It's yo, it's cool to have hype. It's cool because those are fans too. You know, those are your fans. Your fans are the one that puts you up there as well. Ryan Garcia has done a wonderful job in social media. He built his fan base. That's why he could call the shot. That's why he that's why he knows how much he's worth. And Oscar De La Hoya and Golden Boy, they can't, they can't. They they trying to like give him this this notion of how much you're worth. But in reality, I build my fans. It wasn't you, Golden Boy. I build it. You built it for Canelo, but I build my fans. You know, so and these guys, these young guys, they know how to build, you know, their fan base. So I think it has to do with a lot of great potential and hype. And also Devin Haney, who's the, the people he was around with. Can you OK, how, do you can you imagine if Devin Haney was never around Floor Mayweather and all these guys? Would you know who Devin Haney really is? Well, me, myself, Punch. You know, you know that I consider myself a casual, and I know about Devin Haney because of what I've seen him do in the ring. I didn't hear about his whole relationship okay. with Mayweather until after I started paying a lot of attention to Devin Haney. But I found out through uh, about Devin Haney through highlight clips of what he did in the ring. Yeah. Hey, can I talk to Raider real quick? Yeah, can I talk to Raider? What's up, Raider? Hey, hey, Raider. I think that um, we just got bodied. I think that we have to, I think, just get. <laughs> That's the ultimate get body on board. right there. <laughs> I, I, I think we just got to get on board, bro. <laughs> I, 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 yo, black, black, black and brown, like black and brown, hey, black and brown. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I appreciate yeah, you being yeah. a man, bro. Let me tell you no, hold on, hold on. How do we get body? <laughs> How? What do you mean? I'm seeing him, bro. <laughs> like, oh, come on. <laughs> you, get, you got your I mean, the way the way you're breaking it down, like. Like, if they're making them a new belt, if they're making a new belt and they're going to transfer that belt in the middle of the fight, bro, I think that we have no choice but to just accept it, bro. Accept it. Accept it. That's it. It was one more to go, Raider. One more to go. <laughs> Jump on the Yo. boat, baby. And, and Jump black, on hey, the hey, black and brown. Easy, black, it's, easy black. To, it's easy to argue with Glenn and Punch. It's hard to argue with Senior, bro. <laughs> it's hard. Yo, <laughs> black and brown, bro. You know black and brown. Hard. I pre I appreciate you being a man about that because uh, actually Punch been trying to drop gems uh, uh, like over the last few weeks. He already said it was transferable, and but nobody was listening. You know what I mean? I, I've been picking up on that. You know what I mean? Nobody I, ever I, I, wants to take Punch's word. Yo, I know. I know. Hey, <laughs> so he brought the source to you. He's like, oh yeah, like exactly. But Yo, but no, I pre I appreciate you paper. coming correct like that, bro. And, and uh, I appreciate him. He also enlightened other things like uh, Verdejo versus Haney, which was trying to be disputed on other channels, bro. And, and you know what I mean? Like it's coming from the for, for, you know the, the the horse's mouth, bro. What, what can you say? You know what I mean? Hey, if what he is, says is, is true, is, then we got to accept it. But no, but it is. The WBC already in, already said that. The WBC said that. But I've been saying that for, I've been saying that since day one. I said, because, remember, I was saying, it's, it's only make logical sense. Do you think WBC, they love to stick their nose on everything? Even if there's a fight that has nothing to do with WBC, WBC will show up and they have a Mayans belt. Or a gold, a uh, diamond belt, or a, a, a copper belt, whatever. They just want to show up and be part of a big event, right? They'll try. They'll try to stick their nose in. You think if they fight and Lumachenko loses, you think the WBC says, all right, that's it, Lumachenko loses. He was our franchise, and we, we want no part of 
Teofimo Lopez at 23 years old to represent us? No, what you're saying makes complete sense, Punt. It's just, I guess, like L Dogs, L Dude said earlier, they're changing the rules. This is new shit. And I think we're being forced to get on board, Raider. I don't know. What do you think, Raider? Well, I, I saw a couple of days ago where it said, uh, no, don't put your fist up yet, punch. I saw an article where um, uh, it said that uh, the the belt was going to be on the line. You know, I, I saw that a, uh, a couple of days ago. But I, I, I just don't, I, I don't know. I just don't think that the other sanctioning bodies are gonna consider that belt, uh, the recognized belt. I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, can I, can I, can, can I, I say one it. thing then? Can I say one thing as far as business is concerned, right? Uh, so uh, the WBC is gonna do whatever they have to do. If they're already saying it, they're already uh, in cahoots with them already, and it's gonna happen. Like, like you know, all it is is just everybody agreeing. And then, you know what I'm saying, like, WBC also has to agree with them. It's like making a deal in the NFL where, you know, I, I, you know I'll give you, uh, you know, my first round pick if you give me this dude. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just like negotiations you know, so for future events. So, so yeah, I, 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 mean, that, I mean, don't don't get me wrong. No, my bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm going for Teal, but I, I just think – I think uh, Loma is going to win, you know, like slight, slight edge, you know, 51, 49%. You Loma. ain't ask you, I ain't say for, your I'm point of you. view when the man was here. Huh? Why what? you ain't say that? Huh? What? That you that think what? that Loma Chico is going to win? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. No, I can't. I can't disrespect a guy like that. Like, come on. That's not disrespect. I, 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 I don't. I don't think. Oh, hold on. No, I, I don't think I'll ever tell another another dad. Hey, you know what? I think your son's gonna lose. Uh, I, I don't. I don't get. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, out, that of respect, out of respect. Out of respect. Yeah, yeah. I, I wouldn't. Do, I wouldn't do that. Would you do sure. that? Would you do that to an, tell another dad? Hey, I think your son's gonna lose. No, no. He told Bill Haney yeah, that. Exactly. He t- he told t- Bill Haney that. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I, no. I won't say. I, I, if I do say, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. I'm gonna tell you like this. Trust me. Trust me. People love when people do keep it real, but it's not. But but it's not on some. You know, on some crazy dude saying, "Yo, I think he's gonna win. I lose and stuff like that." Look what I what I said about when the Colazo interview. I said, "Yo, I'm gonna tell you like this. I was going for Keith Thurman to win." But then you almost got my man with that body shot. Yeah, no, don't get me wrong. If he if he would have asked me, if senior would have said to me, hey, who do you think we think my son's gonna win? I, I would have told him, you know what? I think I think Loma's gonna win. That's what, that's what I would have said. You know bro. what it I'm is? I'm not gonna I, throw out there and be like, hey man, your son's gonna lose, bro. No, but I he kind of did answer that question. It, 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 or, no, right. no, but he he did answer that question. He said that uh, a lot of the opponents they don't have that um that belief that they're gonna win, so they're they lost before they enter the ring. So he doesn't. Have, he don't. He don't even care because in his mind, he's so confident. His confidence of they're already won, like they they see it in their mind. So it, it, they they're not even seeing the negativity. They're seeing nothing but the positivity. So it, he's kind of projecting nothing but uh, positive vibes and and confidence. And you could see it. There's no doubt in their mind. There's no fear. No doubt. They they're, they're so confident that they're gonna get the mission done. In my in, in my opinion, this is yeah. This no, what and, it is. And, and then also too, you know, I, I'm a, I'm tripping out. What are, what are they gonna tell? Devin, uh, Devin Haney, like, hey, dude, your belt is not, you're, you're not a, you're not a real champion, you know? and they're gonna have to do the same thing for Jamal Charlo. No, 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 no. That's the, that's why I always say there's the difference. See, this is, this is, this is the same reason. This is why I said it. That black, you want to know why I said it? Because if the WBC currently are making the belt, they already, they already says transferable. They're fight. They're, they're fighting. They're, no, they, they're making business decision with the other Bell federations to make this a undisputed. Yeah, right now it's not official, but they're talking to the other Bell federations. The WBA have stated that the WBC and the WBA are talking amongst each other, and they're on the same page with that, right? So let's say the IBF. I mean, not, yeah, the IBF and the WBO. So I'm saying this. If we know that, that they're making this decision to make this an undisputed belt and it's already a transferable belt. Devin Haney should look at, hold up. Why is the WBC making all this move? Then what, what the belt that I have, how much does it weigh? What, what, the, what does it consider? That's why I made that video of him 
dropping that shit in the trash. Because at the end of the day, the WBC still trying to, you know, make to go into business and make it this to, to be a certified undisputed bout is a slap in the face of Devin Haney. Thus, drop the fucking belt in the trash, like I said, since day one. Yo, Punch, look at Peacekeeper Boxing. He, he just dropped a comment. Highlight that real quick. Mauricio said it was a designation and not a belt. So, so, uh, or are you, which one are you talking about? Because I would like to hear that. Like, uh, you know, that's 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 what I said earlier, uh, Glenn. I said that Mauricio Suleiman said the franchise uh, uh, is a designation. It's not a belt. Right. So there's a but, status. But, that's but, what I told. But, that's what but, I was telling. Him. That's what I told but, Senior. But when it started off, was you? But what the Senior? But what the Senior said? What the Senior? Exactly. Said. It's transferable now. That's the point. You know what I mean? Because it could have been. It was supposed to be. For, for moving up to whatever weight class and getting an immediate championship fight. That's what originally they were designated for. I See, said so that. I said so that. I, 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 that right? Look, so look, look. I, I, I seen you right. I, I told him, hey, uh, the WBC said it was a status, not not a uh, not a championship. I mean, uh, it's a status. It's a designation. And he says that they're going to make it a belt. That's what he said. That's what I'm right. saying. Why? And, and okay. I, I, I've been consistent with it. This is a big fight. You think the WBC is not going to make a belt? Yeah, well, so I'm saying we didn't we didn't know all these all these you knew, you know, cuz you have inside inside thing but no, we didn't know. No, 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 no. See, no, no. Don't don't say that, Raider. No, I didn't. You got to okay. go back to my videos even before uh, I'm seeing you ever drop. I've been consistent with it. No, 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 but what I'm saying is that I all along we knew that the, the recognized belt is the one that Devin Haney has and the one that that uh, Lomachenko has is not a belt. It's just a designation, a status. I even told you earlier before Senior came on. I yeah, but it was since it, since 1994. You know who said it first? It was Biggie Smalls. He said, and if you don't know, now you know. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially in the next few days. In the next few days, if we start seeing that belt that gets made, that fresh new franchise belt, we see that belt on Instagram, Raider, then we know, yeah, there's a new belt floating around, and this is what they're and, – and Devin Haney's belt now is worthless. Punch, you got to drop a video as soon as that, that, that shit comes out on Monday, bro. Why? I already yeah. dropped so, – how many so, videos I already dropped? I know, I know, so, I know, but, but that, just for clarity, so, I'm, I'm on board. Senior I understand, but just drop it, bro. Senior said it's going to be called the WBC franchise, right? Something like that. That's what he said it was yeah. going to be called. It is the WBC franchise, but remember, it used to be a status, but now it's a belt. Now it's a title. And what did you and what and what did with with, with, with um Junior said? He said it's we fighting for four belts. He said it on my interview. He said it we fighting for four belts. The thing is, sometimes we don't want to listen to the sources. It's something mm -hmm. is it's something if I'm saying it or we're saying it, but we want to hear it. That's the right. The, the man was here. Now we got to take it into consideration. He pulls up, homie. Senior pulled up. He's like, well, I'm right here. He's just trying to pull up on you guys. <laughs> like like a horror movie. He was listening to you, Black. He was listening to you to Radar. He couldn't take it anymore. He and that's why, it anymore. No, but that's why I had to clarify, man. It's just my only issue with, with the belts, not the fighters. I wanted to continue clarifying that shit because I knew he was listening. Yo, but you know why? Because even though that yes, it's, 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 it's the thing is, at the same time, we're make y'all making sense because I know I know what y'all saying. All I'm saying is look at the moral side of things. Just like who pulled up on me? I was on on world box um world combat sports. Who pulled up? Oh, I came here to talk to you, um Devin Haney, uh, um Bill Haney, and he. I wanted some clarifications. At the end of the time, I don't, I don't think y'all got buried. No, no, no. The thing is, the business is a secret society. What did he say? He said on the contract, it said we fighting for four belts. See, what's the contract? Something that we don't know, that we never know. But then the senior comes and says was in the contract. But in boxing, nobody says was in the, in the contract. Nobody likes to express the business side of things. And only... Boxing personnel could give us those answers. So I could say, yo, it's both four belts on the line. Nah, nah, nah. They saying it's on the contract. And whatever's on the contract 
It's the truth. Yeah, but notice how Senior was also very uh, positive and, and focused on the mission. He, like, I was... He's very was transparent. They, no, no, but, no, but yeah. not only that, but, like, when I asked him about the song, he's like, I don't care about that. Like, basically, like, he's, he's focused on the mission. Yeah, you know I mean? so so Monday, he said Monday the news is going to come out. So oh, the, I, the promotion, I, the promotion, the, 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 um, the press, I wanted to do a video, but he came and, 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 and said it already. But, oh, yeah. They're focused. They're ready on to Monday, go. On Monday, is the, the, that's when the promotion the, is going to be, I think, on the, on, so, I think uh, so we're we're we're, 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 we're gonna see if if they're gonna um how they're gonna announce it undisputed or whatever and I guess if if it's undisputed and all the sanctioning bodies are uh, are with that program then I'll jump on the ship because they're recognizing it and then they're gonna uh-huh, hang you're and- drowning man I don't got no more donuts left huh no no I'm just saying if they, if they get they, on the belt and save yourself you're acting like. <laughs> Or, or get off the ship and 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 hop on the luggage like a Titanic. Yeah, you, you remind me of the guy that's keep on. Yo, you know who you remind me of Radar right now. The guy oh, that's playing the violin in the Titanic. <laughs> you stop playing the music. Get the fuck out and see you in a sinking ship. Get out. <laughs> Going down with the ship. Hey, I was thinking. Boy. Hey, a, but the reason I, I started I, asking him so I'm many going questions down, I'm going down with that shit, homie. I'm going all the way down until I'm wrong. Oh I'm wrong. man, you go. Oh man, all right, Leonardo. Hey, if hey, well, there's I'm, a parachute hey, right there, he don't want to jump out the plane with the parachute. He wants to go down with the plane. The reason I was asking so hey, many I'm, Ryan I'm, Garcia I'm, questions, I'm, 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 I'm fucking, I'm a fucking stubborn motherfucker, homie. <laughs> hey, hey, the reason I was asking so many Ryan Garcia questions is because if this is true now, right? Ryan Garcia is fighting Luke Campbell. The winner of that fight should not want the Devin Haney fight. They should want that Tiafimo or Loma fight, right? Because Devin Haney's bill oh, is worthless. Oh, so who, who wants to go fight for that bill? You might, and you, both of them guys already have earned shots at the top guys. So why stop at Devin Haney? If Tiafimo doesn't move up, hey. I'm not mad at that. Black and brown. I'm not mad at that at all. Hey. We, what, we what, see you, man. What? Thank you, thank you, thank, thank you, um, for sh- for for showing us love, man. We show you love right back. Gracias, senior. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Buenas noches, bro. hermano. Buenas noches. Yeah, Have a great night, brother. You got a lot of training. I know you gotta be. You're already up. Yo, we support you out here. We support you. Bendiciones a la familia. Hey, so what weight does does Haney, does Haney's belt gonna have now? Who's gonna want yeah, who's, who's gonna want that belt? Oh my God, guys, yeah, that's what I've been saying all along. <laughs> I want Devin Haney to get out the Titanic. That's all, man. Listen, the winner to the Ryan, the winner of the Ryan Garcia fight, though the winner of the Ryan Garcia Luke Campbell fight, got to be next in line. Hey, you know what? And maybe that's what they're trying to make it. They're trying to make that a legitimate fight, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. You know that's the fight that we... Even if you're not going for Devin Haney, if, I mean, even if you're not going for Ryan Garcia, you want him to win. I want Ryan to win. But now I think this conversation, this is when what Glenn was saying earlier and El was saying earlier. Now this is when we can, I think, talk about who Devin Haney has fought. Now... Does he deserve the shot at the title? Does he deserve a shot at the franchise? Or does Ryan Garcia deserve a shot at the franchise? Who deserves their shot? Ryan Garcia is going to end up being Luke Campbell. No, man. You know why this is this is this is what it is. 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 All right, guys. What do y'all, y'all heard? They said they moving up to 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 one to one forty, right? You heard him, right? He said if they if, if he could still make the weight, meaning like, you know, yeah, we can make the weight, but maybe we want to bait. We, we, he's still growing. He said it's up to his son. Exactly. It's up to his son. Right. But he's he's not looking at really at Devin Haney, but Junior will fight him. Teofimo Lopez Jr. He will fight Devin Haney. But females like, uh, um, but the but, but Pops is like, we're going to bigger and better things. We're not looking behind. Right. So. Him for, for so okay for Devin Haney for me to throw it in the garbage, then it doesn't make as much sense because if it's if that's the plan that they're gonna move up, then okay, I'm all right with the franchise, and then I'm all right with Devin Haney with the belt because they're gonna move up. You still gonna need a champion 135. Ryan Garcia is fighting the interim, and then boom, because Tio, if he wins, is gonna leave anyway, right? So why have that belt, the regular belt? If they're gonna leave anyway, and Lumachenko is gonna go back to one thirty, maybe that's what it was. You think Tio? 
You think T.O. takes the franchise belt with him to 140? Yeah. I don't see why he not. Does. Yeah. He does. I don't he see does. why not. Yeah, yeah. he does. That but, was the whole but, purpose originally. It was it was to, to be able to move up and down in weight classes and be able to fight champions no matter where you move up or down to. That was the whole purpose originally. But originally, the, the whole thing that was confusing was originally it was not supposed to be transferable, but apparently now it is. Hey, Glenn, so so now that you said that the, the franchise belt can go up and down, what what is uh, Jose Ramirez's WBC belt? That's an that that that's see that's an official. That's why I said earlier because yeah, Jose, that'll become regular some shit like that. No, because the thing is, Jose Ramirez he won the belt at one forty. That's what makes him a legitimate champion. We won't look at Teofimo Lopez as the as a as the uh the the legitimate WBC champion at one forty because we know that's what I was talking about earlier. We know Lomachenko is the WBC one thirty five champion because he won it there. If he would have won the franchise, if Lumachenko would have won the franchise at 130, but then come at 135 and say he's the champion, and Devin Haney won that champion, I'll be like, hell no, Devin Haney is a champion. Don't we come over here to this division with that bullshit? Interesting. I'm saying this because Luma, we know Lumachenko won it in that division. Yeah. For example, okay, uh, uh, um, who's the WWE? No, I get you, I get you. I get you. It's a pickle, though. It's, 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 it, it definitely deserves dialogue between us, and that's what I was trying to say earlier. If we can't figure it out on this channel, as much as we talk to each other, with 17,000 fucking subscribers on Punch Drunk, then who the fuck is going to figure it out? We need to like like understand this, because it is confusing. Don't don't get me twisted. I, I, I've been watching boxing my whole life, and, and I'm just like, what the fuck did they just do? You know what I mean? So... I get and it. It's a, and it's a good it's thing fun. that uh, Punch, Punch, you're establishing your order and control of your own channel. That way you could uh, have these particular interviews with, with, with the main source rather than right. uh, having someone try to, uh, like you said, try to take from your plate. Yeah, sabotage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey, Punch, try, try to get uh, Bobby in here too, you know? Oh, no, gonna, we need uh, Mauricio. Nah, we Bobby, need Mauricio in here. Bob, Bob Aram. You crazy, man. That dude, that dude dance around questions like I never seen nobody dance before, bro. He wouldn't even answer. He'd be like, <laughs> I know. Hey, 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 Mauricio, hey, wh why hey, did hey. you, wh wh what's with this franchise? Why is transferable down? transferable? Eh, points. The <laughs> thing is, the, the, it is transferable. And, you know, this is a huge, a huge fight. But what would Patron say to Julio? Lomachenko. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo, points. you're changing the rules again. The new rules will mean T.O.'s the true. Nah, nah, you see, that's what I mean. Y'all want to fight. Y'all, it's everything is not always on some hardcore debate. We know. Okay, who's the WBC champion at 175? Hey, is he saying that if Tio goes up, then Ramirez becomes the franchise and he becomes a regular? Kind of makes sense, though. No, what I'm th this is what I'm saying is is that us we we know that Jose Ramirez is WBC champion. See, if Human Lopez moves up to 140 as a franchise, we know he's he's that's it's just the moral part. Like the W the franchise is there already. We hate it, but it's there, right? It's there. But I don't have to go with the bullshit. I know who's the man. I know it's Ramirez and Taylor. I know. And I know in the, the in the 130, it's Teofimo Lopez and Loma. Yo, you know what I think would be a simple solution? It, that it's mandatory that if the, you have the WBC franchise belt and you move to a different division, the first fight in it has to be the other WBC champion. And, and that that is transferable right there. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe Loma told, maybe Loma, or people told that the only fight that I will have left in 135 is to be undisputed and to go after the winner of Comey and Lumachenko. I mean, the, the winner of Comey and Teofimo Lopez. That's it. And after that, like I've been saying to people, I'm, I'm speaking if I'm, I'm Lomachenko. I've been saying to people, I'm really, really not that comfortable at 135. I'm going to move back to 130. So if y'all want to, or if you want to, give them the, the, the this mandatory because I'm not chasing mandatories. I don't got enough, a lot of time left. I have 400 bouts in the amateurs, and I'm, and I'm already 30, 33. 
I don't got no time to face no fucking amateur that haven't pro- no, no, no amateur. I mean, no mandatory that really haven't proved anything. So let me go after accomplishment because that's what Lomachenko been doing since day one. Going hey, for accomplishments. Hey, Punch. You know what? What I'm thinking right now, if if they they announce it as undisputed, Devin Haney probably would fucking uh, give that WBC back to the Marcus Suleiman. Nah, he's not gonna probably say, "Hey man, this shit ain't shit. Fuck it. Nah, Here's your belt. Give it back." Then I got. Nah, I mean, like, cause now, not even while we talking, I, that's what I was. I'm thinking about that. That if you know, cause, cause that's what I'm saying. If we listen to the, the to them, if Senior saying they're gonna move up to 140, then I understand. Don't drop the belt because they're moving. They're still gonna be an, a champion, and it will be Devin Haney, and they already got a fight lined up with Ryan Garcia and Luke Campbell. So I don't know. And then uh, also they're their own promotional company, so that's leverage right there having a belt, uh, whether you dislike it or not. You know what I mean? So so it's, it's uh, it may money, be a little bit of leverage. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The purse is different. Yeah, but hey the- Raider, that was a Raider. That was a good question though. If there was if there was uh. About the draw in the contract, a rematch in case of a draw in the contract. Oh no, you just asked. Mm-hmm. You just asked about a rematch, mm-hmm. rematch clause, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did. Clause. Mm-hmm. That was a good question, bro. Because I got to fight into a draw, mm-hmm. and then I got to fight in a rematch. Yeah, I think I gave a couple of good questions myself. I think you, know. you didn't give a good question. <laughs> Softball <laughs> question. <laughs> Now, I think actually you everybody know. on the panel yeah, showed yeah, their true grit, bro. Yeah, Every, I think everybody, everybody gave some good questions. Everybody question, gave bro. a good question on the panel, except, except the Sonya coming out with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the violin? Yeah, we'll just throw, throw some out there. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to ask if she was going to come out like, with some cultural <laughs> stuff. Like, uh, no, I love you. Like, no, I heard you a rapper. El was going to ask, uh, and El was going to ask, and I think El Du held himself. He said, hey, oh, oh, what kind of, you should do a novela. I heard you. <laughs> he did say it. He did say it. Hey, for, hey, that's it for everybody. Are you really going to ask the Noela question? I, I, th- I thought he was going to ask uh, uh, for the address to send his mixtape. You know what I'm saying? So it could be uh, him yeah. doing the intro. You know what I mean? No, I just had a book, a biography, everything. I threw it all into a movie, everything. But even a Noela I, 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 I appreciate y'all, man. I appreciate, I appreciate you, Punch. For real, man. Yeah, yeah, thanks hey, for everybody. letting us stay on. Hey, thanks for letting us stay hey, on. Hey, for real, for real. Hey, I thought you was going to hey, kick us uh, off, man. Hey, I'm not going to lie. Elder, Elder, Elder I was Zale. this, no, no, no. I, I, I was this, I was this close because, you know, I, I, I really want, I wanted to ask him, you know, if you, if, you know, you never know what's comfortable because, you know, but then I'm like, I know, I already know who's in the panel. You know, feel me? It's not no fucking the jefe and all these, and, and all these dudes. So. Hey, El dude is all like, hey, you should do a novela like uh, Rosa La Salvaje, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just threw a lot in there, bro. Yeah. Now, nah, but hey, let me father son, son, father son, father father son. Son. It's because there was a novella in Chavez. Chavez hey, had a you guys remember that shit? Let me ask y'all. Let me ask y'all. Let me now. Let me ask y'all a question, right? Because I feel the same way. Like as fans, we 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 debate, we 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 argue, we talk about this fight or this, this fight or that. But then when you're in the presence of them, you be like. Okay, all right. Like it, now, it's like it, 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 it humbles, right? It does humble. It, it gets real. It gets real is what mm-hmm. it is. It, the it, the uh, the your words carry more weight. It gets real, and um, yeah, it's a different vibe, definitely. Yeah, yeah. That's how I yeah. feel. That's how I feel when I talk to when I was speaking to Peter Quillen. I was speaking to man. Then I was speaking to Luis Calazo on Victor Ortiz. Like you know, you know all the hate that Victor Ortiz get, right? But then when you're speaking to him, you'd be like, yo, you forget this dude is a fighter, bro. He's a fighter. Yeah, man. He, and, and 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 thank God he didn't whip his kid. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he said that it was, he took it back. You know what I mean? Yo, nah, that nah, was that's, a, that's an inside got... joke. <laughs> yo, that nah, was... Nah, I love Victor Ortiz, bro. <laughs> that, was a, that was raw and cut. Bro. But it, it... Nah, but, but, but yo, I appreciate the fact that, you know what I'm saying, when, like you're saying... Like when uh when, when we talking here, we're debating, we we all have opinions, you know what I'm saying? And then somebody that's actually in the mix comes on and like, yo, they just air it out. You know what I mean? Like like here, here's what it actually is, you know. So it's not up to opinion. This is what is actually happening. See what I'm saying? So so we could put everything else to rest and move on. That's it. But yeah. the, the here's the thing, man. Um I'm eating the cookie too. But the thing why the way I mentioned the novelas because and Honduras. Novellas are very popular. Cesar Chavez Sr. just had a novella like last year. I mean, we're talking about millions of dollars. 
You know what I mean? So uh, social media is one is one for the making money. Newspapers, Mar magazines. So Mar and people, so Mar yeah, they got a good story. They got a beautiful story, very inspirational. And and coming to them into America as in, you know what I mean? And and with um, roots of, of Honduras, I mean, Mar they, they, could, they could transition, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, stories, <laughs> books, magazines, everything. Mira, Mari, Mar. Right. Hey, hey, um, Raider, you know you, sound like, you know you know you sound the Chavez novella one. Come on. Nah, I I, I never saw any novellas. To the be Chavez honest, one. The Chavez I novella. Oh, you the saw only... Mari Ma. You know, so you saw Mari Ma. Nah, my mom. You know you watch Jane. Me. You know you watch Jane the Virgin. Hey, that one. Hey, we Maria la la del barrio. I see Maria la del barrio. Dos mujeres un camino. Hey, oh, I remember that one. Dos mujeres un camino. That's old school, man. Wait, what's his name? Hey, which which is that one? Because he said, Vale, ma. Yo, I used to be like this. Like, to the crib, and you go to the crib, and my mother was like, watching novela, and I'm like, damn, why well, you got to watch novela? I want to watch the game. And then you stay stuck watching a novela, and this uh, uh, hour pass, <laughs> right? Don't have it. Yeah. You, you hate hey, which one's that? Which, which one's that one where Chente comes out and he goes, Vale, ma. You know, and then the novella starts. Oh, no. I, remember, I remember Maria La del Barrio. I remember her, bro. I remember just the one of the Dos Mujeres. That was Talia. That was Talia. That oh, was Maria La del Barrio. All right, let's go back to boxing. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> became a fucking sister. <laughs> Dos Mujeres is, Camino is old, dude. That shit is fucking damn. That was, was a player, though. Movie. That was a player right there. Yo, bro. imagine somebody yeah. would have tuned in, like, 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 just would have clicked on the set. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking uh, Bronco. Like, you sing that song. They would have think that they would have think that there was this. This was El Pajaro's channel. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that's what the, for uh, anybody uh, just tuning in. We're talking about Estrada. having a book, a biography, some magazines for Teofimo Lopez. That's a Eric, movie, Eric Estrada, a that. documentary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> With a little bit of a, a little bit of ass action from Talia. That's what we're talking about, bro. Modern day gladiators. Yep. Just looking at the word gladiator, you remember the American gladiators? I remember all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what was the name? Saber. Oh, oh the American gladiators. <laughs> I remember that shit. Yeah, right. that's old school. Nitro. Yeah, they used to have to, to Nitro, drop them. Really drop them. Yeah, Nitro. they used to have to drop them off the top with the jousts. Remember the jousting? They used to have to hit the, uh, like each other off, like the 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 thing and fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be like, damn, they be always having some weak ass dudes up in there, man. They never, I want to go over there. Like when I was young, I'm like, man, let me go over there, man. You always be some weak hey, ass dudes. You guys, over there. you guys remember the Richard Bay show? Richard, Richard Bay, what was that about? That was like a kind of Jerry Springer, but it was back in those days called Richard Bay. Now you guys remember that? Yeah, I remember Richard Bay. And then, and then Ricky Lake came after. Yeah, it was I remember Ricky time. Lake. I remember Ricky Lake. Yeah, I remember Maury. I remember Ricky Lake. I Sadly, don't remember Richard Bay though. Yeah, I remember. I remember Maury though. Yeah. Nah, nah. Uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? The young chick. Christina. Kelly. Jen no, no, not Kelly. No, 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 there was Jenny Jones. There was um um. Yeah, Ricky you Lake. Christina. Ricky Lake. Ricky Lake. I, Ricky Lake was Sábado, Sábado Gigante. Yo, bro, I went to Sábado Gigante in the crowd. I went to um Cristina in the crowd. And I actually went, they flew us to Mexico um, for Cese. Remember Cese? Mm. Cese, nah, they flew us to, Cese uh, was a, a Mexican guy and he was out of Mexico City, bro. That's how I went to Mexico City. And they flew us out there because we were talking about my, my mother killing my father. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, um, yeah, you know, I, I, like they try to play it all earlier, the, the trolls or whatever. Like, I, it's a sensitive subject, bro. I'm a 40-year-old man, bro. I, I dealt with that shit when I was, like, 13. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I'm completely over that shit. You know what I mean? Whatever happened, apparently my, my, my father was abusive. My mother shot him with his own gun. He was a cop. And that's that. You know what I mean? I'll tell anybody on the street that I, it's not, like, personal information. So, you know, when people try to, like, play that card and, and, and talk about my family, I'll let you y'all know that. I'll talk about it on my own channel. It, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? No, I respect to you. Yeah, uh, man, you're, you're a role model, man. Trust me. You, nah, can, you, you, know? you could talk, man. You could talk in this channel too, man. You could talk about it in this channel. Yeah, man. Yeah. The only thing is, but, the only thing, the only thing is, this. I feel that's why I like, I like, I like talking about you know things like, like other than boxing, but the también the sometimes that, the crowd, the the people. 
That's what that that's why people was mad the other what was it yesterday? Yo, why why you only had certain people on? There's gonna be some days I'm just gonna have the people that people that I just feel is just gonna keep it strictly boxing. I could open up the panels, but and and or, or just be by myself. You feel me? Hey, right. you know what's a trip? I think everybody here is around the same age, man. We don't have any youngsters here. That's the yeah, man. When I and you and you notice when we enter the youngsters, one who's the parents? We're the fucking parents. Because I'm That's I'm true. 39. I'm gonna I'm gonna be 40. How the hell are you guys? Hey, I'm 40. About to be 41. 36. Me too, man. I'm in the, I'm in the también. What about black and brown? How old are you, black and brown? I'm 60. What? Stop! Stop lying, bro. He's 40. Hey, you are. Hey, we living in a world that you could be whatever you want to be. If you want to be 60, nah, he's 40, man. You know he's 40, bro. <laughs> if, if, you 60, wanna, bro. If, if you want to be a <laughs> Hey, if you want to be a woman, we're going to call you. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. I didn't go Okay. I said I was 60. <laughs> We're living in the world today where if you want to be a frog, you could be a frog. Hey, uh, hey, in junior high, did you guys wear uh, Frisco bands? Ben Davis, like me, or not? This your bitch H. Bummy misses the zone. Just a little intermission. <laughs> You guys didn't wear no Frisco pants, solos. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't. I, I didn't live in San Francisco. Yeah, I didn't live in San Francisco, but I, I did wear like Puerto Rican uh, the 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 beads uh, around my 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 neck. You know what I'm saying? And um, you know, sometimes I used to hang out with Zulu Nation. They used to give me beads too that were like different colors and shit like that. But then some people used to use it for Santeria. Some people used to use it for blood. Some used to, some used to use it for Latin Kings and shit like that. So like, I got off the beads real quick. You know what I mean? Yeah, out here in, in Cali, man, it was that was a thing wearing these big fucking humongous pants, dog, in, in junior high and high oh, school. Oh, the pants, know? yeah, with, the with pants, yeah, definitely. With steel toes, uh, Chuck Taylors or Vans? No, nah, I had I had Nike Air Max. I had Air Force Ones, bro. I, I grew up in the Bronx, bro. Like, yeah, that was Air, Air Force, Force Ones, ones. too. Yeah. I, I guess what we're don't you think? Don't you think that I'm my, my fault? I, I, my fault. I just went. Out of it. I'm just looking at the rank. The 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 ones that we used to wear the steel toe were like the Hauser dudes. They used to wear the big pants with the with the with the steel toe shoe or uh, boots with and then they used to sand the sand the, the front out so you can see the steel toe. Remember that? <laughs> that was like the punk rockers. Like pick them. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rebels came out after that. Yeah, we were doing Timberlands and, and you know what I'm saying and, and Air Force Ones and you know. Sometimes Jordans, if you could afford it, but but definitely baggy pants, baggy shorts, baggy shirts. You know what I'm saying? Everything was like extra, extra large, bro, for everything, yeah, bro. I, I, do, I, was, I, I hear everybody had a Nike Cortez, too, man. Those yeah, I was about to say. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I used to wear those, too. The Cortezes, hell yeah. Because the, the, of the swap, me, man, we used to just shop pretty much there and get the Converse, the yeah. Nikes, or the Vans. Yeah, man, those shits, man. You wear those out here back in the days? Good luck, man. You fucking get shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yo, guys, I'm about to time out, man. I'm getting hey, gracias, Punch. Yo, I appreciate you being yeah. on seven hours and 41 minutes. I know you didn't even oh, expect shoot. this to go on right. live, bro. You didn't even expect this going live earlier, so I appreciate you having me on the panel. And, and yo, God bless all you brothers, man. I know we started off on, on, on a delicate foot arguing about shit, but I think uh, Tia Fimo Sr. just came through and squashed all that. You know what I mean? So, yeah, God he, bless he, all you. He, 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 he buried black and brown and, 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 and gray. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, where where, where I, you I, had to go there, man? Where you I, had to go there? <laughs> I'm gonna wait till Monday. <laughs> oh, hey, it ain't the first time. It ain't the first time I've been bodied on this motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> it, 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 like, and it ain't gonna be the last time. And it ain't gonna be the last know, time. You know, you know who I was. I set y'all up. I was like Paul Bear, and he's like the Undertaker. Who go get him? You knew he was coming. Hey, you knew he was coming. Fine, you should have. You should have rang that bell. You know that bell that <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> Yo, matter of fact, matter of fact, thinking about that, I'm gonna get that sound effect now. Do you <laughs> and that's gonna be and that's gonna be like yo, like the surprise guest. Oh, that should be dope, dude. <laughs> you hear that right. bell? 
<laughs> Salute to all y'all brothers, man. Y'all have all a right, great night, man. Love you guys, This is what real boxing talk supposed to look like. Yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Right. Thanks much for having me on. All right, guys. Peace out. Thank you very much. Buenas noches. All right, my brothers. Hey, love and respect to everybody on the panel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Punch a holler at you later, man. All right, brother. Good looking out, man. Good night or good morning. <laughs> I see y'all, my peoples. Thank you for tuning in. It's been what? Almost eight hours, just like a regular job, you know, putting that nine to five, man. I'm here for y'all, man. I'm here. Thank you for the people, man, that's uh donated to the channel. Y'all mean a lot. It's, it means a lot. Very humble by it. Thank you very much. Also, check out, I'm about to drop a new episode on my podcast, a new episode. I think it's the 18th, 18th, 18th episode. No, the ninth, it's going to be the 19th episode. Um, The Smelling Salt Podcast. Um, Also, the merch is there. Cop the merch. You know, it's going to get a little cold, man. It's going to get a little windy. So get that sweater, the punch chunk sweater. You already know. Help the Help the channel. Smash the like button, share the videos, man. Help the visibility. I love y'all. God bless. And on 